Hi guys. It's being generous. Oh, were you guys uh were you guys still cold today? I got a new coat and it's actually like honestly it's perfect because it's like just it's like I don't have to put the heating on but I'm not too hot, you know? So I decided I'm gonna wear it. Yep, yeah, I have a coat. I bought three. I bought three jackets the other day, because I've just been a bit. I've I've I have like a few jackets I never wear, and I just wanted a few different ones for different occasions. You know, I, I like having a like a middle. This is like a middle solution where it's like it's half a coat, but it's not. You know, it's like for when it's a bit too cold to just wear a hoodie, but it but it would be way too hot wearing a coat. So I so I got this. No, there's no snow. <laughs> I just uh I just didn't want to put my heating all the way up today. Like figured uh figured why not, right? Try it out. But yeah, this will be uh this will be my solution to like when I don't cause sometimes when I go walk in the dog, I get a little bit hot in a coat, but in a hoodie I'll just be really cold. So I'm gonna wear this. That's my solution. I also got two other jackets, but um, one of them arrived, one of them didn't. I got one of them farmer farmer jackets, you know, the the quilted barber jackets. I got one of those. And then I have like a tan, like suede one coming with like a fur lining. That one, that one should be good. I got them all at bargain prices as well. So hopefully if the quality is good, they'll last me years because uh, I don't wear jackets that much, to be fair. So it's nice to have a selection when when I do want to. So yeah, that's why I'm wearing a coat inside. Interesting story, I know. Um, how are we all doing today? How's it all going? How's a patch day for you guys? How's MSQ? Are you guys all pumping it out today or are you kind of waiting a little bit? What's the plan? Farming for tier threes. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, shit. We uh it's about that time when I can put the partner plus uh, thing on screen again because it's like last 100 points. It's on um what's it on? 257. Old. Uh, two fifty-seven. This is the last month, baby. Oh, I get rid of the done thing. Right. Um. Yeah. 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 First bit looks good. Yeah, you guys like halfway through it and stuff. I have a busy day. Hopefully I can get uh get to it. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. If you got work and stuff to do in the day, then you know can't be can't be too uh unimpressed with it. Uh doing the trial. Nice, nice. Blind trials, honestly, are insane. I guess uh you quit the game before I did all my trials and stuff, right, DJ Doyle? Like I did uh I did the whole of coil I guess you missed some stuff. Like I did the whole of coils blind. That was fantastic. I did all my uh, extreme trials blind and everything um, with stream chat. It was good stuff. Like, uh, really, really enjoy that style of rating, to be honest. So, oh, you watched it on YouTube? Nice, awesome, awesome. Um, I'm supposed to be working, but I'm logged into 14 uh, at the end of the first MSQ. Ooh, uh, I mean, maybe you're just. Thing is, right? Is it better? Is it better for you to like do it a little bit at a time, like part working, part MSQing? Wickedsons, thank you. Happy Patch Day, Happy cult, patch day club. cult Club people. Kek it's it's a club only. Nothing cult about it. Okay, nothing cult about it. Yeah, we have a VOD enjoyer. Awesome. Uh, sport doing uh. IRL glam. All right, enjoy your sports. Enjoy your sports. Have a great day. Got five months or so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like. I guess I guess if you all rushed it on the first day, I think most people probably will. I don't know what's like the uh, what's like the norm in Final Fantasy. You guys like on patch stage, you just rush all the content and then you're like, right, well I'm done with the game again for for a little bit, or are you um, are you like spread out over over some time? What is up with that font down there? That's weird. Nodders, yeah. Even you, even you free free. Do you stream it? Also, hi by the way. How's it going, man? My little sweet peach. Mwah. How we doing, man? How's it going? Um, yeah, like, like, cause I, I heard as a streamer, patch days are pretty rough, cause like you can't really MSQ, cause no one wants to watch you do the MSQ before they do the MSQ. Like, so do you wait a few days? 
Yeah, yeah, for a few weeks. I think a few weeks is fine. Because, like, most people, I reckon, like, two weeks is a good is a good spot, right? So you got to kind of sit there, do other stuff for two weeks, let everyone, you know, do it at their own pace, and then you can be like, all right, MSQ day, baby! And then everyone will come back like, yeah, maybe I missed something. I'll, I'll catch something. I don't know. There must be, like, a point. It must be weird, because there must be, like, a point where... um. People are like, all right, I'm going to start looking for a streamer who's doing the MSQ now. But you don't want to wait too long. Otherwise, people will have like got their fix from streamers. But you don't want to do it too early or people will be mad at you. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure what's the best play. For me, at least, I don't have to worry about that because I'm still in Heaven Sword. So, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. How are we all doing today? What's up, uh, Cry Force? How are we doing, uh, Hina, Mean? All right, I'm going to go from the top down. I'm going to go from the top down here. <clears throat> How are we doing today? Pop a little alu in the chat if you're lurking. Pop a little alu in the chat if you're not lurking. And um, happy patch day, everybody. Wicked Sins, thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. What is going on? Alexa Mari, Rocky Ham, Nerve Berman, Tongue Kneeve. Satiri, Cafe Spindle, Princess Kunti, Azeri, Pini. Uh, we have Amatoria, Imodna, Devil Bird, Wicked Sins, Opusman 99, Frexor, Serpent, Beard, CNED. Um, we have a WC, Dial Wolf, Kalazarin, Tierra Sinclair, Mutant for Hire, DJ Doyle Official. Um, the Girl Cage, how are we doing? How are we doing? We have uh, Dragon Frezza. We have Raviol Prime. By my calculations, based on the, tr the stream time, he was at least a few seconds late. Look, we're going to count this one as the first time in 2024 that I have been on time, starting. 16 days in, I don't think that's too bad. Hello in large people. The f I said seven times in 2024 I'll be on time. I said at least seven times. So to hit my quota, I only have to... Be on time six more times for the rest of the year. That's is, that's is pretty good. That's pretty good. One down, one out of seven. Um, Surf and Beard, thank you very much for the uh, five months. Alu, enlarge PP, thank you for the tier one. Going towards that partner plus baby. This is month three of partner plus. If you ain't subbed, why ain't you subbed? If you're if you're not tier three. Why aren't you tier three? Okay. No, uh, thank you so much for guys for keeping your subs up for these three months, especially all the people that upgraded to tier three, but and like converted over from primes to tier ones, gifts to tier ones, etc. You guys have all been super helpful. We're only 16 days into the month, and uh, that thing's already looking pretty good. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to make it this month. If you would like to help out, the best way to support the stream right now is to tier one sub or higher. Um, but yeah, you guys have been smashing it. So thank you. Thank you, Surf and Beard, for the five months. Right. Also, we have in the chat. Uh, let's have a look here. Smaller apple pie. We have Hori, Hori, Lobosaurus. Uh, I think I said Tierra Sinclair, but you get a little extra one from me today. Mwah! Okay. What's up, uh, Cryfos Evat Broadcast? We have. Um, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Ooh, the sub streaks. Yeah, I wonder how many people broke their sub streak yesterday by like going and doing IRL stuff on patch day or being like, nah, I don't really want to watch Dark Souls or something. <laughs> Imagine people breaking their 45 streaks. That that's kind of crazy that people even had those. Um, what is up, uh, DJ Doyle? What is going on, Velufa? How are we doing? How are we doing? Um, let's see, did I miss anybody here? Hawkeye Q. We have uh free. We have Kumuru, Hina Flower, Mean Cupcake, Genesee J, um, Pularillion, a little bit of Cozy Rosie, hello, 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 and Alice Wreath, and I think Rocky Ham as well, and I think, I think we got, and UK Berry, and I think I called everyone that I saw, so apologies if I missed you, one out of seven done, exactly, one out of seven done, um, only small ways to go till you're in 7.0 with all of us. Only a small ways. Honestly, dude, I'm glad I don't have to stream the expansion release. Or like, I don't have to, to be at the current expansion when the expansion releases, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to think about the whole mind games of being an FS stream at that point. I'm surprised. I don't know. 
I'm so, do, do streamers just take time off then, or do they just sit around doing like crafting or something, or like dungeons or or what? Like, what the fuck do you do when the expansion comes out? It's an awesome thing. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that I don't have to deal with that kind of pressure. What's your plan free for that kind of thing? What's up, young young uh, Yugo Mania? They wait until the Savage Day comes out, then stream the prog. Mm, when when does that come out? How long after the expansion? What's like the the because like uh in WoW it's like two weeks I think we have we have like two weeks where it's just like okay you level up you do the story <laughs> WoW story right uh you do dungeons you gear up a little bit and then in two weeks the raids come out oh it's a month right Jesus okay we're gonna be gaming baby all classes to top level cap. So are you going to level without doing the MSQ? Yeah, you're just going to you're going to level all the classes but but like through dungeons and stuff. Okay, I suppose that's not too bad. I suppose that's right. Yeah, yeah. So you just kind of find other ways to game it up cuz like I assume people will still be watching streams, they just don't want to watch MSQ streams, right? The final relic weapons? Yeah, yeah, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I haven't really looked through uh, relic stuff. I should I should do the relic weapons uh, reacts at some point. That they, they would farm. They would farm for sure. Um, expansion launch two weeks normal raids another two weeks savage. Oh, so wait, yeah yeah yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I think we have. Oh no, they changed it in WoW now. In WoW, it used to be two weeks was like normal heroic, and then one week after that mythic. But I think now it's everything just comes on day one, which I think is a bad system personally, but. It is what it is. 30 and counting. What's up, Dr. Mux? How we doing? Praying server infrastructure is better than during Endwalker. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard about the horror stories. I'm going to have to wake up like nine, put myself in the queue, um, go back to bed. I, I, I mean, obvious solution would be I just go to bed earlier and wake up earlier and wake up at nine and stay up. That would be the obvious solution. But I'm not an obvious person. So for me, it'll be more like wake up nine, go back to bed, wake up in time for stream again, make sure I don't get, hopefully you don't get logged out. You know, hopefully I queue in while I'm sleeping. Yeah, I heard Endwalker was particularly bad though. Particularly bad. Um, In the point two point four patches, they released Normal and Savage same day. Um... It's so much better. Yeah, I think it's better that way as well. Oh, it's a six min vid. Um Okay, I will uh we'll, we'll, we could do a little bit of react. I haven't done some react in a little while. I really dislike the YouTuber, but since this is the only showcase. Wait, why do you dislike them? I mean, don't they just show uh I've seen this channel before. The spurious. Then they just show a bunch of uh models and stuff. Isn't that mainly like what they do? It's like news slash like data mining. I know what have I done to my mouse sensitivity? Oh god. Alright, there we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. Uh yeah, preparation. Oh, it's like a yeah, it's like one of these kind of channels. It's like news slash yeah, it's mainly like news. <clears throat> it's like um we have we have some channels like this in in the well niche as well. The good thing is like <clears throat> these kind of videos get a lot of views constantly, but they also get outdated extremely quick, right? So they have like a shelf life of only a few days before everyone's kind of seen seen them most of the time. So you end up you end up having to constantly pump out stuff. But look, I mean over time, look at this. Oh shit. Uh yeah, this is fine. Like the relic ones, I mean they seem to do pretty well over time, you know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, one second, guys. Boom. On the plus. All right, nice. We'll keep we'll keep that up for a, for a bit now till we hit it till we hit it and then we're fucking done. Then we cannot. Then we can officially announce the secret 
uh, next month's shenanigans for hitting partner plus. We just need to hit it first. We just need to hit it first. Um, here's a concise Imga album. Oh shit. Oh wow, the gifts and everything. Damn. All right, all right, all right. Uh, where did I, where did I put the actual? Oh, here it is. How long to hit PP? We have until the end of the month, so uh, two weeks, two weeks ish. Uh, yeah. So hopefully we'll be good. I I think I think it's decent. I think it's fifteen days. So I think January is January thirty one days or thirty. I actually don't know. I don't know my days of the months. Five Mondays this month. Oh, <laughs> January thirty one. Good. You know what? Today I actually had a coffee, guys. The good thing about coffee is I drink it much slower, and I don't mind if it goes cold. It still tastes kind of nice when it's cold, whereas tea does not taste as good. It tastes like way more bitter. No, well, like less, maybe less bitter? I don't know. But like cold coffee seems fine to me. But I can't really drink cold tea. It's pretty disgusting. I don't know why that is. Right, the game is patched. Uh, we can do a very quick, a very quick, quick react to the relic weapons. So let me um, boop. Let's see, here. let me make sure I get the sizing dump dimensions correct. Nice. Okay. I just want this PP hit. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. God damn it. Why is that going to be at the start of the segment? <laughs> no. Wait, nothing in here is spoilers, right? It's just cosmetics. Like, I, I don't think I'll, I'll get spoiled in anything here. Try to show off basic cat girl and generic glams way too much. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, I trust you to obviously not put that kind of stuff in there. Cool, cool. All right, then we'll go, we're going to check out a few of the new Relic Weapons, which came out today, yeah? Literally. Patch, what is this? 6.58? Is that is that what this is? 6.58 or 6.55 is this? 6.55. So last patch of uh, Endwalker. All right. Let's see what they got. I haven't seen many relic weapons. Only what you guys have shown me in game, really. Okay, well, this is a good start. That looks sick. Dude, you're gonna look swagged out when you are in that new city with this, right? The one that we saw at FanFest. The, like, cyberpunk looking city. Hella nice. It's like, game it's like a gaming one. Yeah, this is a fucking jammer as well. Big ass sword. Oh, this, so this is gonna be the theme of the whole set. Oh shit, it's like a whip. Oh, that is so cool. Reminds me of um is it is it Soul Calibur? Like there's a champion called like Ivy or something. Where she's got like a whip that turns into a sword, I think. It looks like that. This is, this is gum this is a gunbreaker thing, right? That was cool. Just like a big chunky uh, bunch of hexagons. Oh, these are so futuristic and gamer. Pink! Purple equals win! Oh, that looks hella good. Yeah, she's the booba queen. <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> oh, that one looks nice. All right, all of these I think are going to look really good. nice so what kind of like without spoiling what kind of stuff do you guys have to do for these it's like is it like long grinds and stuff right yeah these are rgb yo the is that dragoon that looks hella good dude oh my god you know what the more i play dragoon the more i think you know what i think i could be a dragoon main at max level but i need to try reaper right Okay, never mind. I'm a Reaper main. Never mind, I'm a Reaper main. Sorry. Sorry for even doubting it at all. 
Nah, it's that's it, dude. That's right, it. Yep. Dude, these all look so good. Mandevillus knives. I do need to try ninja. I like how they're like simple and then they just turn on the glow. Rather than being glowy at all times. It's kind of a nice little touch. Fisty cuffs. So they're literal gloves. And then they go like Tron. And they, they like grow out themes. That's cool. That's pretty cool. It's a nice cat girl too. Ooh. Look at the holster thing. What's that called? The sheath. Holster. That's for guns, isn't it? That looks so cool. Whoa. Whoa. This one slaps. Holy shit. Bard mains. Eat your heart out. That looks nuts. That one's insane. Look at the little like gizmo y things here. As well. And obviously, because it's got like the glowy spinny bits. And how it opens up. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty cool, actually. I like, I really like how they're like simple when they're on your back and then they just turn the RGB on. Look at that chamber, dude. Oh, uh, the uh, spinny revolvery uh, gun bullet magnum. Is that called a chamber? Dancers. The barrel's like the, the bit that the bullet flies down, right? The chamber's like the... Or maybe not. Dude, they all look so good. Mandevillus Rod. Okay, so is that a white mage or a black mage one? What does the rod mean? Or is that both? Do they have like a similar one? That's black? Okay. That's a white mage. Wait, no, it's the same one. Dude, I thought because it's got like the... It looks like a globe at the top. Okay. Dude, all of these look really good. I love the blue, like light blue into pink. And like there's like a slight bit where it goes dark blue into purple right in the middle, you know? It's like a really nice hue shift. Oh, oh, that one looks so good. Holy moly. <sighs> Need. I think, yeah. I think I'm going to be a Reaper slash Red Mage main. I think that might be my... Those might be my two main jobs. Red Mage Mage eating good. Yeah. Red mages and bards are eating good. I mean, reapers, reapers, dragoons, and um, samurai also look really, really good. And, like the source as well here, just like a ball of glowy RGB. Oh, this is the this is the white mage. One. That's pretty cool. It's got like flowers. Oh, it opens up. Oh, that is sick, actually. Okay, that one's... I think they didn't do a bad job on any of these. This song's kind of a jammer. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Yu-Gi-Oh! mains. You know what? I think this looks cool. But I feel like they... They dropped the ball on the cards. I don't know. Like... It, it's kind of jarring in a little, in a way. I feel like they could have made the cards be like RGB squares of like blue and purple and pink or something, right? So like they could have flown around, maybe like alternating in color, and then they could have shifted hue like in reverse. That could have been cool. I don't know. I guess I guess if you like the contrast of that, I just feel like they look a little bit out of place. 
looks a bit simple compared to the, like this massive glowing robotic gizmo thing. All the cards are on that. No, I think they could theme the cards around, like even just giving them like different card backs, you know, to like kind of match the weapon a little bit more could look cool. But maybe it's like hard to code in or something. I still I was on time today. Okay, they work pretty good for Sage though. When it's all about laser beams and like little spaceships and stuff. Dude, they barely showed Sage. Thanks to my patrons. I was thinking one day I might make a Patreon. And like actually put stuff on it. Maybe the YouTube enjoyers can write in the comments if I should. Make the OnlyFans? No, 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 no. This was good. This was nice. All right, let's give it a like. Look, guys, you know the drill by now. You give it a like, you hit share, and then you click copy. And even if you don't pick, like, you can paste it to your friends. That's great. But even if you don't, YouTube's like, oh, they shared it with their friends. Because YouTube don't know if you if you pasted it in the Discord or, like, a chat or something. Okay, so make sure you hit like, then copy. And I will paste it to you guys because I'm nice. Go give it a like. All that good stuff. Very cool. I think uh, they barely showed Sage, though. It looks good. It looks good. But, like, they just showed that in the animation. I guess there's not too much to show, right? Yeah, fires. What's up, by the way? It's essentially like double liking. You can like and then click share, and it will register in the YouTube algorithm, like, twice, you know? So, um, yeah, it's really, really good to support, like, not just me, any any of your favorite YouTubers, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that works the same on all social medias as well. Uh, as a Star Wars fan, I like them. Yeah, they look like uh, little spaceships, don't they? I think all of these look good. My favorites are probably... Um, let me see Dark Knight again. I mean, this one also looks really good. I like the edge. The edges on this one look sick. I just feel like it's so simple. It's almost like having a stroke on it. But it's just slightly transparent or like translucent, I guess. And you get like the hexagon pattern. I'm trying to think like what it reminds me of, but and then obviously like the whipping it out with the ivy thing was cool. Looks ill. <laughs> What's up by the way, boss? Yeah, I think most of them look really good, to be fair. The only ones I'd say like they kind of miss out. Like the Paladin shield looks sick. Let me see the blade on the Paladin. Okay, this also looks really good actually. Yeah, Paladin looks sick. Dark Knight looks pretty sick. Dawnbreaker, I think, looks really good. Warrior looks really good. Dragoon looks insane. Reaper looks insane. Monk. I mean, there's only so much they can really do with, like, small daggers and, like, little gloves. But I think they made gloves look cool here, you know? Samurai looks insane. Especially, like, the sheath. Bard looks giga nutty. This one is insane, dude. This is my kind of weapon, like sleek black with a bunch of purple and blue, like they're like two, like probably my two favorite colors. It's, it's like, it's like the, these were made for me, you know, so of course I'm going to like them all. Machinist one I thought looked a bit like meh, but I think it actually looks kind of cool. I like how on your back, it would just be like a big chunky sleek black gun, right? And then you pull it out and it's all like glowy and shit. That's cool. Bard relics never miss. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I, I don't think I've seen like a bad bard weapon even, really. Like, he that looks hella cool. Like, this actually looks sick. The dancer ones. Uh, I mean, I think they look good. They don't, they don't flow as well as some other things, I guess. Or oh, I've seen some other really cool dancer weapons, so. But I suppose if you got like a robotic kind of looking transmog on, like I bet all of these would look so good with that Power Ranger glam, you know? And then Black Mage looks good. Summoner looked okay. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a book. 
Red Mage looked nutty. Absolutely nuts, this one. White Mage was honestly really cool. I like how it opens up. It's really awesome, actually. Yeah, the only one I'd say that I feel like they dropped the ball on was Astro. And that's purely based on the cards. But if it's, if the cards look like that with every single Astro weapon, then I guess they're just coded that way. As like a, they're like coded differently to the weapon. So like this, this part counts as the weapon model and that just floats around regardless of which model you have. I feel like for special stuff like relics, they should like, they should put a bit more effort into the card backs. Like either the card backs or I think this would, pers personally I think this would look nuts if these were just straight up like, like literally just translucent rectangles. Which were like this color blue, you know, like this this hue of blue here, and they floated around, and then they would switch to purple as well, or they could like alternate, um, and maybe have like a few of the little hexagon patterns just like kind of just like shimmering off them a little bit. I think that would look sick. Kind of like uh, do you know that um, Underworld Twisted Fate, uh. You know the skin in League? And he's got like his, his cards are kind of like spectral, you know? Come on. Pro show me the animations. Like he has like spec. Not those. Yeah, like those are like spectrally kind of looking cards. I think that would look cool for stuff like Astro. Gangnam Style? Yeah, I have that skin as well. <laughs> Although I really don't like Twisted Fate as a champion. Uh, yeah, and then obviously we got the gifts here. That one looks good. Yeah, they all look nuts. I, I really like how they're like sleek black on your back. This is like perfect glam for them as well. Like, like having like a metal arm. That looks sick. You know what? The more I look at it though, the whip thing, I feel like it, they could have done it better. I like the idea. Actually, it does look cool. From that angle, it looked sick actually. Yeah, this one's just like round. I don't know. I guess it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Yeah, I really like the sleek black design. And then it just changes into RGB. Is this a samurai? Yeah, they look cool. They look cool. Thank you for sharing that one. It was good. All right. Shall we play the game, guys? Is it time? Is it time to play the game? Yeah, the whip, it seemed a little bit like it could have been smoother. Yeah. No. Well, tough shit. We're playing the game. Tough shit. Um, Odyssey goes hard. I'm not even sure which one Odyssey Twisted Fate is. Where's my sounds? Boom. Boom. Let's see. Uh... <sighs> do -do -do. It's time. We're going to do some Heaven Sword MSQing today. You know what that means. You mean watching plates for two hours? Actually, today, I figured I wouldn't do that. Today, I figured we might actually get straight into it. I'm going to I'm gonna swing by the guild real quick. But we're not opening plates for two hours. I feel like... Now, obviously, I enjoy doing that. You know, I enjoy hanging out in the guild. I enjoy opening the plates. I enjoy seeing all the little jokes. I enjoy seeing the glams. However, I do feel like we have been doing it a little bit too much recently. And we got some banging MSQ to do, you know? What a treat. <laughs> I feel like every, when I look back through my VODs the other day, like, because I was I was uploading all the VODs and I'm like, man, I am like just spending half every stream doing doing the plates, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, for example, when you've when you've done all the MSQ and, and done all the content you want to do, but I actually have content I want to do as well. So too much. Well, maybe not like too much, but but as in I would like to do more story too. You know what I mean? Not, not necessarily that opening plates is bad, but I would like to also spend more time doing content as well. You know what I mean? 
I'm not going to cut them, okay? I just might not do them every single day. You know what I mean? Yeah, I could make a plate timer. Uh, on some slow days. Yeah, like... Jesus, that's loud. Like, I didn't necessarily mean like slow days. I meant just more like... I might check them a couple like a couple streams rather than every single stream, you know what I mean? MSQ is banger. Yeah, like it's it's not that I don't like doing play checks with you guys. It's that it's more that I really want to play some MSQ. <laughs> like I'm getting into it now. I'm enjoying the zones. I wanna I wanna I wanna kick that whale primal's ass. I don't know where that guy went. It's like the whale came out, it disappeared, and we just kind of forgot about it. And then uh what was he called? Um uh, Ravana, Ravana came up. We insta killed him. Like within like two minutes of seeing that he even existed. Was the whales just knocking about somewhere? So we'll see. Yeah, he's up in the clouds, I guess. Russ has been replaced by AI. My plates were so bad he cut the whole segment. No, guys, it's not like that. Okay, it's more that I think there's also a portion of people who probably don't want to see plates every single day. And I want to try and please both both crowds, you know? So we'll do a mixture of both. He's hooked, lads. We got him. Ravana. Yeah, he was really cool. That was my favorite trial so far. Heaven Sword gets yet another one. <laughs> another one. Uh, right now, Cheese Commoner, the dungeons I have done are... I've done two. Uh, Dusk Vigil, I think it was called. And then, like, that was one of the optional ones. And then, um, I can't remember the next one, but it was, like, when we're going up the mountain to get to... Yeah, Som Al. Yeah, Som Al. People that don't want to see plates are heretics. Yeah, I like the plates, guys. Look, maybe I'll open five plates today. DJ Khaled! <laughs> Five plates, I know. Shocking. Shocking. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna do what feels right. If I feel like if I feel like uh plates are the play, I'll open plates. If I feel like I want an MSQ, I'll do MSQ. But what I was doing before Like this this is the only difference. Banger. What I was doing before was like I was making myself feel bad if I wanted to like cut plate checks a little bit early. Like I feel like with the amount of people who are like skipped my like, you know, sometimes I go to the guild and then I'm just like opening plates randomly as I'm talking. And then people are like, oh, you skipped me. And then I feel like obliged to open every plate at that point. And then I feel like it adds it, it like takes an extra hour than I was intending. So like I feel like I just want to get to a point where like some days I can go along the line and open every plate, and some days like I can just open them at random and not have to feel bad if I don't open every single one. You know what I mean? So that's that's like where I wanna where I wanna get it to. Also, guys, today today is the day. Today is the day. The return of the aura. It's the return of the aura, baby. Finally. I can go back to my bay. Return of the aura, baby. Yup. Yup. No more Angie. <laughs> Take a look at that face. The PP is so close I can taste it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, the partner plus is going good, guys. 257. Not bad. Not bad. Goodbye, cat girl. She might come back. She might come back another time. I mean, she almost definitely will come back at some point. Because uh, I feel like that Wheel of Fantasia is going to be a thing, you know? At some point. Sometimes we might just do a do a quick Fantasia. Sometimes we might spin the wheel if we're not sure. If there's a few options, you know? Um, creative is good. Same joke. Every day is boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, exactly, Cage. It's like it's more like because I really like doing the plate stuff because I feel like you know it's like community building and bonding and stuff, um, and like people do enjoy it and I enjoy it too. Don't get me wrong, but it's more like if it's every single day, then um, oh, I actually logged out in the guild, Poggies. 
then I feel like some people are probably like, all right, like I won't bother tuning in at the start because he's going to be doing plates for this and that, you know. Meow. No. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye, meow. Hello, Pepegon, arrive. Please make the Angie Cat Girl a retainer. She must live on. <clears throat> I could make her a retainer, to be fair. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to have. I think I have one Elizabeth, and I think I was going to make a... Uh, was that a Lala Fowl I was going to make as my second retainer? I'm not sure. When it comes time to hit Partner Plus next year, will we be subbing to fund the PP extension? <laughs> Uh, I guess technically, yeah. Like, so if we hit the partner plus this month, it will start in Feb, which means it will end like January 2025 will be the last month, right? Which means that we'll need to start aiming to hit it again. January, December, November. So in November 2024, we'll need to start increasing the subs again. The tier ones, twos, threes, of course. I mean, hopefully by that point, the stream has grown even further um and we might just hit the partner plus naturally over time especially if some people just decide they like being tier three subs um and then just keep it up if they can afford obviously and want to um if people like that and there's like a few people doing that there's no reason to say that we can't just naturally hit 350 without me having to push it which would be fantastic that would just mean that we don't even i don't even have to ever talk about it we'll just have it for for eternity well not eternity but you know what i mean indefinitely at that point um but yeah we'll, we'll have to see when the time comes otherwise no uh it will be november when you, yes we have to start thinking about it for the pp extension like you said yeah um i see what you mean cage yeah 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 true 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 <laughs> extend a thong dude extend a thong extend a thon yes 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 um Tell me I'm so lame and not funny at all and how I'm good for nothing. <laughs> Guys, I don't mind the sussy plates, okay? I don't mind the sussy plates. But yeah, I probably just... I, I just it's, it's, it's more that I don't want to um, force myself into... Like, it, it's a me thing. It's like I'm guilt tripping myself into feeling bad for not opening every plate. You know what I mean? Also, um... I need to do the uh, giveaways for the uh, sponsor last week, right? I said we'd do some giveaways for the people that hit um, the level 11. I wrote down everyone's name. I checked as soon as the thing finished. I checked every single base. I wrote down all the names. Um, there was a few people that I didn't know if they're from the stream or not. So those people were named in that game. B Bobby. Aila, Evan812, Ghostney, uh, Bosco, Blob233332. <laughs> uh, yeah, those guys. They they hit it, but the honestly, I wrote down everyone's name in bold, who I knew was from the stream 100%. And it did add up to literally the number of the things that counted on the sponsor. So... Those people that I don't know who their names are, I like, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm not sure if they're from the stream, but I don't want to like count them out without them having a chance to say or whatever. They might just be randoms who were just like in our in our thing, right? But it, it means that they just joined the alliance randomly and that they just played with us, right? Rather than like going through my link or anything. The all the people like the number that went through my link and got to that level, uh exactly added up with the amount of people that i recognize their names from the stream so i think i think it's drayon mintia volps colonel dubster follow me uh dragon freza safi tara sinclair um girl cage bumble beaver amatoria fenrir rocky amahora floozy solitaire doula peep alexamari kenzif elena tan phg cocktail uh uh, Shreeth, Dr. Merx, Rudav, Kami, Trucky, Reggie, Greeny, Tina, and T-Fish. And, and I added me, but one of, one of them didn't count. I think it was Kami's because Kami's not a new player, but I'm just going to add Kami into the giveaways anyway because 
Tommy was like giga chatting and like leading the whole alliance and stuff. So I feel like he deserves to, and he leveled up and stuff as well, right? So I feel like he deserves to kind of like be in the draw, <laughs> personally. So he can have my spot. What what was what was gonna be my spot, you know? Um, how was my day? What's up, uh, Wonini? Um, yeah, it was. Every, my day's going good at least. Hopefully these guys are are feeling the same. Are feeling similar. Um. Just tell them in the COD chat to come on stream and sub. <laughs> I, I mean, like, a few times people were like, oh, yeah, like, it was that thing from the stream, but no one ever said anything. No one even, like, asked, like, stream or anything like that. So maybe they were just random COD players, you know. Are, are any of you guys still playing? I haven't personally uh, played in the last, like, three days, but I played it for a few extra days after it finished. But then I was a bit, like, people started leaving the Alliance, and I was just like, oh, what do I do now? Like, if I'm not going to play it long term, I, I guess there's not too much point. But it was a fun game while it lasted, I think. Personally, I might do. I might get a. Uh, I might get another one. We'll see. We'll see. I. I had. I have a another decent-ish opportunity for a sponsor game. But it, again, it will be a mobile game. It's a Star Trek one. Um. So I don't know. It and it can be done on PC or mobile or a mixture of both. So I guess that means it's like open to, to more, potentially more people. Um, but I didn't want to take them like too much back to back. But I don't think I'll take any sponsors next month unless they're like giga insane. Uh, just because we got like subathon and all that stuff, and I don't want to be shouting out sponsors the whole time during the subathon and stuff. So I think next month probably we'll, we'll pass on sponsors. So I might just grab a, a second one this month. You know, we'll see. Uh, yes, that's the one, Safi. Have you played it? Is it good? I, I I I've started doing a little bit of research on it. Like I want to research these potential sponsors before I take them. Um, I looked at the Star Trek one. It didn't look too bad, to be honest. Like, it's kind of similar vibe. I think you make, like, a guild or an alliance or whatever, similar thing, um, but it's set in space. Um, and then you can, like, do... I think you can do, like, missions and stuff as well, if I could look. Yeah, it's Rock Slash Cod in space. I mean, that's fine. Rock Slash Cod, I, I actually quite enjoy those kind of games, and it seemed like a lot of people enjoyed them as well, the, the, both times I've done them. So maybe I'll take that one, to be honest. Um, I might take it like something next week in that case, like maybe next Monday, and then we'll let it run for a week or so. Um, Star Rail sponsor when? Dude, I, if they if they want, honestly, my inbox has been a little bit dry with the emails with sponsors recently, so that's why I'm kind of taking the mobile stuff because it's they're usually my backup options. But um, if I don't get if I don't get many sponsors coming to me, and I've tried reaching out to agents so they can sort me out, but they don't get back to me either so <laughs> it's, it's harder than you think and it's pretty stressful actually trying to negotiate sponsors because uh people always try to like really really massively rip you off um the bear raid was the only time i felt like i wasn't just clicking red circles yeah fair enough fair enough i get that i get that um yeah a lot of it i feel like a lot of the interaction in uh in cod was like the scouting you know welcome to january yeah, maybe, maybe after Christmas. Yeah, I've, I've noticed my ad revenue went like really, really off a cliff as well uh, since since New Year as well, which is which is nuts. Spent so much time. Yeah, like it really keeps you going, like tabbing back into the game like every two minutes or so, doesn't it? If you're if you're scouting like with a purpose, you know. Mod check. Look at these cuties. I haven't seen Tater Tot as much recently. Trucky, what happened to Tater? Are you just enjoying Eleanor again now? We got pets from Sil. Hell yeah. Pet the mods. Got a couple of QEs. Alright, Bumble gets the plate check. Alright. How do you make a pool table laugh? Tickle his balls. Oh, she's in MSQ. I see. I got you. I got you. Tickle his balls. A pool table laugh. <laughs> I mean, hey, I guess it works. I guess it works. <laughs> How do you tickle a ball? With the Q? Balls, balls, balls. I also need to make Alice change her hair. That's a nice little glowy sword. Simple. Dude, that must have been the easiest model to make. This is what they did. Let's make a rough sword shape.
And then they just went like this. And then they went, all right, now let's give it a glow. Well, they obviously made it white, but you know what I mean. It works though. New NFT? <laughs> Bob Russ, baby. Emissive value 200%. Dark squad? Yeah, yeah. I do need to get Dark Knight. I do, I do need to unlock that at some point. Not In the not too distant future, I suppose. Fine, we'll look at this plate, but it better not be sus. See? Welcome back. No hit MSQ. Dude, that clip. Unbelievable. Why are these clips uh, mature? Unbelievable. Look, I dodged this. Look. He firstly, I rolled here and it followed me. He turned mid swing. Secondly, I'm here. All right. Yeah, I got hit. Look, and here, rolled. Bruh. Whatever. Unbelievable. He rolled early? Maybe. I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay, so wait, is my uh is my mature thing off now? Stream language content. Uh rerun branded. Yeah, I think we're good. It doesn't say mature audiences. Is it just Dark Souls? You have to be a mature audience streamer for Dark Souls? Interesting. Oh shit. The aura's back now. Oh hell yeah. The aura's back, baby. We do enjoy the tongue the tongue kneave aura. Q aura. Oh, that reminds me. I need to drink my Fanta, guys. Okay. Split. Where'd it go? All right. It's time. It's time for me to become the one and only legendary Russ just stole in original aura. You know? We'll see what happens. Okay. Let's go. Boom. I'm drinking it. I'm drinking it. Guys. Say goodbye to the cat girl. Cat girl goes goodbye. I will strip. I will strip down. Uh, unequip. She was, she was a good cat girl. I did enjoy her. You know, she was good. However, I think if I, if I go cat girl again, I might, I might change like either the hair or the face or both. But everything else about her was great. You know? <laughs> Booba? Strip down and consume the changeling fluid. The fluid, the blue fluid has been drank. Guys, did you enjoy the cat girl? I personally preferred the cat boy, but she won't, she won't too bad. Oh shit. Silent already has the scythe. Wait, how'd you get this? Wait, how did you guys get these already? How did you already grind a relic weapon? I thought they were hard to get. Did you say it was just costing tombstones? You can switch hair without Fanta. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I want to go back to my aura anyway. So next time I'll just do it on the character select. Yo, it looks so good. This one looks so goddamn good. Wait, they take two minutes? Oh, so is it just ARR ones that are a grind? 1.5k that you can farm easily. Are they special ones or are they literally the ones I have here? These. Homestone of Poetics. I have 2k. I'm still capped out. Green. Oh, these. Comedy and casuality. Discontinued. 
astronomy. Oh, okay. Running through the Mandeville story. Grinding? Is that saying you're not enjoying it? Oh, look, here we have one as well. So you just straight up, you can just walk to the vendor and buy it if you pre-stacked. Casuality. Wait, ca cause... Causality. Sorry. Uh, look, you know there's that thing... Look, it's just the U and the S the wrong way, right? You know there's that thing where the human brain looks at the first and last letters and then it scans everything in between and reads it like that? Like if I type a... Uh... What happened to your gears, Strummer? Is this new meta? Okay, wait. Hold on. I'm trying to write a word and, like, fuck it up and to the point where you guys will read it wrong. But I feel like the word I typed, you know, you just be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, if I say, like... See? You just read that as Mandeville at a glance, right? But obviously now you're going to be looking for it and be like, no, that says Mandreville. But like, if you were reading in a rush, yeah, you, you just read Mandeville, right? You know what I mean? There's, there's, it's a literal thing. Zogzord, thank you for the four months, by the way. What happened to my gear? Oh, I'm literally about to change back to my aura. So I took it off. I took off my, uh, my gear. All right, guys. Goodbye, everyone. That's such a casual wave. The cat girl is out. She's out of here. I will log back in an aura. Not me. Yeah, of course. How's chat coping without the moon? Oh yeah, shit is Dalman down. Dalman's gonzo for today. We really hope this was one off thing and that uh, that they don't discontinue. Yeah, so you mean you prefer them being uh, easy like Endwalker relic, the relics, yeah? Okay, re-edit character. Yes. 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 What is this game doing to me? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, what's this one? Backup of my cute aura. <laughs> oh, I lost. Holy moly. God, I forgot how good she looks, man. You prefer the grind? Right, right. I forgot how good she looks. Hi, Fenrir. What's up? What's up, wait? How we doing? Hi, Flicky. How's it going? Look how good she looks. Dragon gang, baby. Dragon gang. Yes, I am satisfied. She's back. Oh, look how amazing she looks. We're back. We're back. Yo, Kami. Hello. How's it going? What's up, Masaruk? Hello. How, how are we doing today? All of you guys, welcome, welcome. We're about to get started in some MSQ. Only one hour and nine minutes into the stream. And we did react today. That's pretty good. That is honestly pretty good. Dude, today is a pump day. Yep. We did. We chatted. We did react. I came by the guild. I opened a couple plates. I went aura. MSQ time. Insane. Stream speed run. <laughs> We're back to content. Content is back. Aura gang. I have arrived. I have arrived. Oh, look. I like Cocktail's new glam. Where are you going? Where are you off to, Cocktail? On an adventure. Look. Sleeping bag. Lantern. That is a cool backpack. That looks hella nice. Ready for an Arctic adventure. He's cracked. She's back, baby. Yeah, the Cannon Warrior of Light. She returns. Efficiency. Efficiency. 
All right, let me just put some uh, armor on real quick. Oh. Dude, I forgot how cracked I am. I forgot how good I look. Yep. I can even put my cozy glam back on now because it's winter time. This will be some good old Heaven Sword questing glam, you know? Or we can go like this for the drag. Oh, yeah, I, have, I still have some dragoon job quests to do, actually. Do, 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 do. Oh, she looks good in this glam as well, man. Look at that. Oh, she's perfect. You know what? I really like this glam for some reason, but I didn't like it on the cat girl because the ear things, like, the ears came out like that. And it wasn't even her ears. It was, like, the marks. Like, it modified the hat, you know? It was weird. Right, I think I'm going to run with, um... I'm going to put this on for today. Wait, actually, I, I want to see the eyes. Yeah, we have... Oh, look at her. Look at her. Astinian got nothing on me. Finally, he isn't cringe. <laughs> what color are her eyes? They are orange. Uh, Actually, they look kind of like brownish with orange, like outsidey bits you know like limbo well they're called limbo rings i think they're like a dark orange in the middle and a light orange on the outside you know nomeo and juliet yeah here Cree is a perfect example exams like they can't read and understand messy text exactly exactly i think yeah it, it's harder on like s smaller words like four letters and stuff. But you can read it, right? And it's not it's not hard. Here is a perfect example showing that you can read and understand messy text. Like it's very uh so that's why I just read it and I was like, oh yeah, casual casuality. But it's like causality, right? Yeah, maybe a little caramel. Little caramel. How do I get a closer look? Do I have to go up against the pillar? Wait, where is can I bump the camera into the pillar? To, to make it zoom in more. Maybe the wall over here. Ugh. Right, here we go. Oh. Yeah, like. Let's see here. We got like. Hmm. It's like a brownie dark orange. Yeah, like caramelish. Honestly, that's a good description. Stay warm. Thank you. I've got my little. I've got a little. Uh. This is my new jacket I got today. It's sleeveless. I guess they call it a uh, puffer jacket. or a, The posh word is uh, a gilet. A gilet. So I got one of these. And uh, it's actually nice. It's keeping me a good temperature. When's new adventure? Oh, true. True, actually. I need to make my plate. Let's have a look. All right. I'll make my plate. Then it's MSQ time, okay? Uh, let's see here. French plate cannot be viewed. Um, yeah, that's fine. Nice portrait. Dude, I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like it. Uh, stare. What are you looking at? <laughs> nice portrait. All right, nice. Okay, perfect. That's going to be it for a little bit. See, now no one can say I'm sus. Okay? No one can say I'm sus now. Because it's just not happening. It's not posh, it's French. Oh. There you go. I'm wearing a gilet. Yo, Zevo. How's it going? How's it going? Creme brulee eyes. Liquor. Caramel. Liquor. Are we fishing today, Mari? Is it fish? Falls. Oita. Oest. Rewar. Fool. 
Oh, fish. I see it. It's a word search. That's pretty clever. Fish. I got it. We worked it out. Wah. <laughs> yeah, at the end. L wa. Lats. Yeah, there's lats. Fish. What else can we find? Fool. Um, hmm. Oil. Damn, this is a good one. All right, there's oil. Fish. Fool. Lats. Uh, let's see. I guess you can't do it backwards, can you? A O O A T D. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Stall. Wait. Yeah, but no, it has to be the right way. Like that's not how a word search works. <laughs> what is lats? These muscles right here. Latissimus. Oh shit! It's new picture as well. New picture on the Murray plate. I just saw. Very nice. You look very posh. Ready to party. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's up, Amahara? Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, nice little word search going there. Okay, guys. Shit. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna open every plate. Dude. Jesus, that is horrifying. Those eyes. It's those goddamn eyes. Lance is stall backwards. Oh, that is oh, that is true. That is true. Your full spin. Good glam. Yeah, it is. It's just like I was like trying to see the eyes. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, guys, we're going to do. We're going to Dravania. We're going to Dravania. I heard Minnie. Wait, there she is. I see the feet. Uh, you know what? I heard the laugh. Then, then I saw the feet, guys. Okay, not that I would recognize the feet, but I mean like, you know, I saw little legs. And uh, then I saw little shoes. And then I was like, oh, that looks like Minnie. Like, I saw the white dress. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't recognize Minnie's feet. You know what I mean? So cute. Yeah, no, sorry, Minnie. I, yeah, you know what I meant. You, you know what I meant. Like, they're cute. Like, because cause they're cute, you know? Yep. Stay warm, Russ. Thank you, Flicky. Um, I would be there, but going to do some patch content. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, you guys do what you got to do. It's patch day. You got to play the game too, you know? But I'll I'll be here doing my MSQ. Okay, fine. We can open this cute plate. Eepy go in a wakey world. No longer a chin rest. Stuck at work. Please free me from this hell. I'm sorry. I'm also stuck at work right now. Um, oh, luckily, my work ain't hell. My work ain't ain't hell anymore. Well, ain't hell anymore. It hasn't been for a while, but yeah. Well, actually, actually, it kind of was when I was <laughs> streaming. Well, <laughs> um, but yeah, here we go. I'm here. We're chilling. Then he gone. Yeah. Oh, then he gone for a couple weeks. No. Who will be Thenny's chin rest now? Well. I guess, uh, I guess Minnie's here to be a chin rest, but then he's gone. There is no chin to be rested, you know? Who will, who will rest their chin on Minnie is, is the better question. Sludge. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Poor Minnie. All right, you get, you get a pat from the original Warrior of Light. Look, Sil's going to take care of you, okay? The original, the original La La Fell mum. Right there. Sweep away the sus. There is no sus here. Look up. Oh, wait. that, that I contradicted myself. Never mind. Never mind. Mini M&Ms. Mmm, M&Ms are good. Look at these QEs. Oh, look. Orion. We have a, we have a La La Fell... An extra Lala fell plus one, baby. I'm missing the Lala line. Yeah, Voss, what the heck, man? Come on. 
Increase your Lala in... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the word I'm, I'm thinking, but I can't think of it. Like, percentage... Like, when it flows through you. You know what I mean? I'm trying to think of that. Wait, is this the new dance thing? <laughs> oh my god, they're in sync. Latitude? Yeah, the la la -ness. We'll just go with that. Dude, why do they shake their ass into the air so high? <laughs> it's kind of good, though. There's a lot of different moves in it. Lelacity. Yeah, lelacity. That's a good one. What, where is this dance from? You guys were saying, like, you can't unsee this or something. But where is this dance actually from? Is it like a TikTok dance or something? It's gonna, it's gonna become quite popular. No smile. Oh, is it like a K-pop thing? It's an Endwalker. Th oh, okay, okay, okay. It's kind of good, actually. It's got a lot of different moves in it. Oh, and you get the little uh, smile thing. Let's see. I want to see when they do this. Oh, it's not from anything. Okay. Oh, nice. It's a good little dance. Cool. All right. It's time. We are going to, uh, we're going to Mog Home. Oh, dude. I'm so fucking hyped to do the quest in this zone. Hey, guys. What's up, Made by Mato? How's it doing? I think this is my favorite zone so far, the Churning Mists. Just based on the music and the vibes. Gotta do lots of Moogle voices. True. True. Listening? Ah, it's good to be back, baby. You can churn my mists, ooh woo. <laughs> Starting MSQ when you normally start stream. I do not start at 3.23 normally, okay? I usually start at like quarter to three. Let's be real. But it's never after three unless it's like kind of... No, no, no. It's, it's never like after three. I don't think I've started after three in a really long time unless I specifically said I was going to be a bit later. Normally it's four. Yeah, yeah. Okay, in your time. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's normally like 2.45 my time. So it's like 3.45 your time, you know? It's different. There's a difference. It will never be after 4 your time, maybe. Kind of, you know? Look at that ship. Look at that alien ship. That's cool. I've never seen this. Is this new? That's a cool mount. Oh, dude. Patch day is cool. There's so many new cool things in the game. Okay. We're at Mog Home. We got to go uh, inside, I suppose. Leaving Mog Home. Yeah. Dude, I'm so hyped to hear the, the other music. Oh, wait. Where, where the hell is the entrance? Aha. Oh, good times. It's been two months and Russ is still at Heaven's Ward. <laughs> I'm not even that far in either. I think I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good though. I've only done like three or four sessions of MSQ and people said I'm like 30% of the way through, which is pretty good, I'd say, you know? Okay, Moghan. 
Am I doing... All right, only for... Only Kuplo Cop gets a Moogle voice, okay? Morghan is ready to lead you out of Morg home. Well, uh, I expect you're eager to be on your way. Did I mention your friend was looking for you, Kupo? If not, Alphanol is looking for you. I'll be outside, waiting, stretching my wings. Let me know when you're ready to depart. Well-paced degeneracy. Yeah, I think the pacing has been okay. That's why I just want to... Yeah, I want to balance it. Degeneracy and, uh, and, and content, you know? Looking at the quests. Oh yeah, true. I'm on I'm on level 54. That is not bad. Level 54. Almost halfway. And then obviously there's post stuff. And the raid and the trials and the extremes. Oh dude, there's so much fucking content to go. Hell yeah. To the best of my knowledge, we have all we we have all that we need for our trip to Zenith. And I believe the elder Seedseer and her retinue. We'll soon be making the journey back to Gridania. It would be remiss of us, I think, not to not convey our gratitude to them prior to going our separate ways, shall we? Okay, Kani. Hello. Let's have a little look. Surely it's voiced. That was a joke, by the way. That was a joke. Alphino. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Alphino. Russ. I do humbly thank you for what has been a most enlightening experience. Were it not for your pioneering spirit, the existence of these Mughals might never have been revealed to us. Tis we who should be thankful. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Tis we who should be thankful, Aldacetia. Were it not for your timely diplomacy, they would never have chosen to reveal themselves at all. And twas your presence, Kuplo Cop that ultimately won us their trust. It must have taken great courage to leave the Sanctuary of the Twelve's Word, and we are exceedingly glad that you did. It was my pleasure, Kupo. I've made so many new friends, and have so many fantastic tales to tell my King's Moogles back home. And it is to our home that we must now return. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal, my friends. Well-paced degeneracy, he agrees. I do, yeah. I mean, it's not its not that degenerate, guys. Real voice. Safe journey, Elder Cecilia. We too must be on our way. Grace Velga awaits. Oh, shit. Yeah, we still haven't met Grace Velga, man. Let's go. Surely today. Surely today we meet Grace Velga. Surely it won't be the literal last quest of the whole expansion. Warrior of Light, pray attend closely to your companion, Sir Estinian. Beneath that stoical fade, facade, a storm of anguish seethes unseen. Nodders. Oh, dude, I look so good again. Yes. Yes. I'm Aura. Hell yeah, baby. Okay. Let's go. Moghan. Uh, where's the way out? Up here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boom. Vor Dragon hype. <laughs> God damn it. The Vor Dragon. The poor Vor Dragon, man. Poor Shiva. You know? Wait, where the hell is the way out? Oh, it's up here. It's this rock thing. Okay, nice. Blue quest? Yeah. I'll come back for it. I'll come back for it. I wanted to do a little bit of MSQ first. Moghan, hello. Have you said your goodbyes and dabbed away your tears, Kupo? Then we are indeed ready to go. Oh, yes. Guys, I don't mean to alarm you. But that's one quest done already. Already one quest done today. I am alarmed. <laughs> I don't mean to, but you might be alarmed. Easy clap. Time for a break, baby. <laughs> Yo, tick. 
Don't get cocky, kid. That's one down. You know I'm going to say another one every time. Okay, Morgan has volunteered to lead you to Zenith. Take us to Zenith, Morgan. As Chieftain Moglin already explained, the shiny instrument we gave you is the best means of grabbing Hrace Velga's attention. I'll come along and show you the way to Zenith. That's that big place where you need to blow the horn. First things first, though. We need to make for Asar. Oh, and watch out for rampaging dragons. Hmm, maybe that should have been the first thing, Koopo. Rampaging dragons. Hey, look, it's the vape. It's the vape cloud up there. So, beneath Stinian's stoic facade is a rampaging... Uh, what is he? A rampaging who now? There's another blue here. Road to Asa. Alright, we'll come back and do the blues at the end. Oh, dude. Best music in the game. Hour and a half to complete the first MSQ. <laughs> Yo, Risto. Yeah, but I only, like, realistically, I did the first MSQ in sub five min, you know? Oh. <sighs> Come on, dude. Come on. Why, why you gotta be like that? I'm trying to, I'm trying to vibe here. Oh shit, I have the new ability now, don't I? Dude, I was trying to vibrate there, man. Okay, here we go. Give it back to me. Give it back to me. I want, the, I, want the, I want the background music to be louder and the footsteps more quiet. Is that sound effects? Okay. Nice. Good times. All right, here's the rampaging dragons there on about. Mm -mm. MSQ happy. Okay, I do actually need to put the... Uh... There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hello. I have returned. Oh, shit. Wait, what's my... Is it shift to? Oh, dude. I forgot. I changed all my keybinds. So now I got that uh, hanging claw. How's it going by the her way, Hristo? I haven't seen you in a bit, man. Oh, dude. I keep forgetting it. Oh, I'd, I'm not used to having more, more buttons. I have more buttons now. Okay, there we go. Okay, then I do this. Then I do this. All right, nice. So now it's just one, two, three, four. One, two, three. You play FF actually, Hristo. Yo, Telfindos. Yes. We just we just got back to it. It's MSQ today. It's MSQ time today. All right. Um, I guess we're going up and then and then to the left. Is the 1409 broken? Uh, no. So now it's 1, Shift 2, T5. <laughs> and then 1, 2. So, so my opener right now is, uh, is 1, Shift 2, Shift R, T5, Shift E. What is this? Oh, fuck. Uh, G some point in there as well. So it's probably one, 
Shift 2, Shift A, G, T, 5, Shift E, 1, R, 2, 3, Shift Q, 4. That's it. That, that must be it. Oh, yeah, this is a flank ability. Maybe actually Shift Q3 then for. Most scuffed opener. Look, in my head, it works wonders. It works wonders. Moody Moogle. Oh. Dudes, I got, I got, I got wokage by so many different things. You hear something coming for that creature's belly. I could swear I heard something. All right, look. One, Shift 2, T, 5, Shift R, G, one R two Shift E Shift Q three Oh and then it died. I didn't even get to finish. I didn't even get to do Fang and Claw, you know. It it like I did too much damage. That's how perfect my opener was. Oh and at some point in there as well I'll I'll chuck a little six as well. It's honestly it's not scuffed, guys. It's actually a perfect opener. Bang and claw, baby. May have forgotten 9-8. Uh, no, I don't have anything on 9-8. No, 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 no. I could never forget. So, 1, 2, T, 5. Beautiful gameplay. Oh, shit. Here we go. 1, 6, 2. Shift Q, 3. Walk to the flank. Boom. Look at that. Boom, baby. Yeah, it is what it is. You might not like it, guys. But this is what peak performance looks like. Etc, etc. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me have it. <laughs> Let me have it. Come on. Play a little FF when the big shift of WoW's FF happened, but I didn't get far. Yeah, do it. Do it for sure. When when you can afford to, Hristo, definitely recommend the game. 100% more than uh, I recommend WoW, for sure. You just got to stick with it for good... Like, I know people say, like, a game's not good if it takes, like, how many hours to get into it. But I genuinely don't think it takes hours to get into it. It's just... It's, like, it's fine. It's easy to get into, and then it just gets really good after a certain amount of hours, right? It's not, it's not like you have to shift through like a bunch of bad hours. But I give it to Russ. He makes Black Mage sound easy comparing to his opener. See? Wait, am I keybinds scuffed? Like, what, what are your keybinds then? Tell me your Dragoon opener keybinds for someone at, for something at my level. I want to see if they make more sense. The Russ Black Mage level 90 rotation. <laughs> How many buttons do they have? Surely Dragoon has more, right? One, two, three... Okay, but why would you put the combo you only press every 30 seconds on such key keys? On such important keys? Easy to access ones like one, two, three, right? Just play a tank, one, two, three. One, four, five, one, two, three. See, that's what I had. That's literally what I had. But now I have Fang and Claw. I had to switch disembowel. That is literally what I had. One, four, five, T, five. That was it before, right? One, four, five. I would press T for True North if I'm in front of it or not if I'm behind, right? So it was 145123. That was literally my rotation. But now because I have Fang and Claw, which I got pressed much more frequently than Disembow, I, I had to move this right to Shift 2. How to avoid clipping video for Russ? I need a how to avoid clipping video? Uh, No, I know, right? You only press... You only press... Uh, well, I think I know at least. You just press off globals after you do a normal global, right? Instead of before. Isn't that how it works? Um, you can actually get into it before the end game. Yeah, hundred percent surfing beers. I agree. M two M five F one five M X M five X M five F two F three one. M9, 2A4, 3A1, A3. Okay, wait, hold on a sec. Mouse 2, mouse 5, F1, 5, mouse 5, X, M5, 
Sorry, mouse 5, F2, F3, 1, mouse 9, 2, Alt 4, 3, Alt 1, Alt 3, mouse 2, Alt 1, Alt 3, R, R. That can't be real. Dude, what kind of rotation is that? That sounds so scuffed. There's no combos in there. What in the... <laughs> that, is that actually your opener? <laughs> Wait, why did you press R twice? What's on R? I think people quit ARR because they're only doing MSQ and they don't know other content. Yeah, I think so too. I think that's why it was good how I play the game. Because I just delve... I, like, I'm so open and willing to get distracted by anything and everything. That it just means that I dive into, like, every corner of the game. So I'd never get bored, you know? Like, I haven't got bored of this game, like, at all. Um, yet, you know? And I've been playing it... You know, well, every I only play it on stream, so what, four days a week? Um, but yeah, I can see people that just spam MSQ, like thinking like, okay, well, especially coming from like a WoW mindset, where it's like, okay, I need to like leveling's a chore that I have to get through to play the game. So they think like this is just a really long chore that I have to get through, rather than actually like taking a step back and be like, oh. Wait, it's not a chore if I enjoy it, you know? Playtime? Uh, yeah. Playtime. Oh, I can't do it because I'm in a cutscene right now. But I will in a sec. Black Mage opener. 1, shift 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, shift 2, 2, T, shift 1, 1, 1, 1. I mean, that sounds pretty easy, guys. Honestly, that sounds a little bit easier than mine and Mari's opener. Distracted by anything and everything. Yes, we know. <laughs> Do a gamble on the playtime. All right. You guys think my playtime is under or over 30 days? 20 days. 30 days? What do you guys think? Take some guesses. I actually don't know what it is. I haven't checked recently. I also do go AFK quite a lot after stream. Over? Over 30? I actually don't know what it is. Start prediction. Is Russ's playtime over or under 30 days? Over, under. All right, go. I've been playing this game for four and a half months. I believe. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be over. I actually I actually don't know. I think it's going to be quite close. It's been so long since Gamba. We had some Gambas yesterday on Dark Souls as well. Astrologer opener. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's this? Astrologian. Correction. One, two, one, 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 one. <laughs> All right. While you guys do that, <clears throat> things were a bit bitey there for a while. But we've arrived in one piece, Koopa. I, I wonder... What's the, uh, sorry, I wonder what has the dragons so awfully snappy? I mean, the bad ones are always bad, but they seem worse than usual. Uh, let's see. Should we get the tank stuff or rogue ninja? Googlist, answer. I guess we get the tank stuff. Another one. Another quest complete, baby. Yep. Yep. Two down. Do you leave the game open while you react? Uh, sometimes. You, like, okay. So, usually, I... I turn on stream. We do free, free bird. Then I chat for a bit. Then I either do react or open the game. If I, if I do react, I won't open the game till after the react, right? But once I've opened the game for the day, usually I just keep it open. So if I do a react halfway through the stream, the game's usually open in the background. Um, and then usually I'll leave myself kind of standing around wherever we finish the stream on any given day. So if we finish at a quest hub, I'll just like kind of leave my character logged in there and then I'll go make food. Sometimes I accidentally have a nap. Uh, sometimes I go and like chill in the bedroom with my girlfriend for a bit. Um, so yeah, like I'll leave my character there and then I'll come back in like two hours. So. It's definitely racked up a good amount of AFK time. Let's see. Slash playtime.
You guys are going to be really mad. Twenty four days, five hours, sixteen minutes. Lazy, easy points. I believed. No, well, this was the one time. No, this is when you gotta believe it's under that I've been playing. You know, not a ridiculous about. Wait, no. Yeah, believing would be. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Twenty days of stalling, four days of playing. Honestly, that's probably about right. <laughs> Started at the same time. 83 days, 9 hours, 55. Yes, me and Sil started playing the game on the same day, actually. That's actually 100% true lore. 90, 960 hours. 40 days. Well, this is 24, right? That's not too bad. Scammer. Sorry, guys. I mean, I thought it was probably going to be under. I, I thought it was somewhere between 20 and 30, but I thought it was actually going to be quite close to 30. 285. That's pretty good, truck. That's pretty good. Is that on Eleanor? That's pretty good. How many do you think you got on Tater? Tater. Yeah, it doesn't include Tater. That must be uh, like 10 plus days, maybe? Because you because you did have a... You, you spent quite a lot of time on Tater Tot, right? 320. My WoW playtime is like over 700 days. Which is nuts. <laughs> I can't remember the exact number, but it is really high. It's very, very high. But that's over like all my characters, right? My ult that I made after you finished most of post era has 11 days. I guess, I guess to be fair, you like, you stand, you stand, you, you know, you spend a lot of time logged in it. Like most of the time when I'm streaming, you're logged in that one. 3.49, damn. I think, oh wait, Ravio's on 979. Is that on one character? That's insane. 979, honestly. That is pretty impressive. That is impressive. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah. When will you, uh, will you have a rave when your playtime passes 1,409 days? Of course, dude, that would be a huge milestone. How many, that is what, like, that's like four and a half years or something. 1,409. That's like four. That's like four and a half years logged in real time. That's insane. Me and my grandchildren rave at the 1409 day rave. <laughs> Look, do you really think it's going to take me that long to get to 1409 days? Yeah, honestly, considering it's only 24 now, I'm actually pretty shocked at that now that now that we like put it into the perspective. Like you said, Alice, like you made it in post ARR and 11 days. But I guess I guess you leave it logged in quite a lot. Like you you logged in at the guild because like the thing is though, I'm logged in most of the time that you're logged in, right? Does that mean I took 13 days to get to post ARR? That's five seven six hours. It doesn't seem like that that long, to be fair. That's 24,000 hours. I'm probably over a 1,000 uh, days, including alts. Yeah, I can't remember what my WoW time is, but it's, it's close to 1,000, I'm pretty sure. I think it's at least 700. It might be over 1,000. I'm not 100% sure. But I've played a lot of WoW. But the thing is, though, that is over, like, 18 years. Or, yeah, like, 18, 17, 18 years or something. Thing is that that game logs you out when you're afk too long whereas this game doesn't that's why i find it so easy to rack up afk time on this on this game dr mercs have a great day have a great day 2174 wait holy shit dire wolf <laughs> 2174 days 14 hours seven minutes damn that is impressive. That is impressive. All right, how many hours is that, Hristo? I've been playing RuneScape since 2009. I don't have a thousand days. Yeah, but like, I guess, I guess to be fair, RuneScape is a grindy game. Maybe it is easy to rack up hours on them. 
Um, what, what even is time? Yeah, I mean, look, you can technically you can multitask play uh, in game time, right? You can um, you could be logged in while doing other things in the background and stuff. I guess a lot of people probably rack it up quite quickly doing that, right? Let's say, let's say for example, you log in at like when you wake up, and you just kind of keep it open in the back background all day, logged in, just in case you wanna. <laughs> Quickly jump on for like 20 minutes, jump off, do something else. Maybe maybe then it, it racks up quite quick. Maybe that's what Direwolf Strat is. EU alt running my ruining my AFK time. <laughs> yeah, true. Cause you're logged in EU alt, so you can't rack up the NA the NA mains uh, playtime. Damn. Just play two at the same time. Yeah, right. So just have have FF open on one screen, like Softis, and BDO on the main screen. Uh, hop in when I have free time. Yeah. Wait, so how does how does it actually work? Is that when you work from home, Vosen? Or do you like... You can't have it on like your work PC, right? Or or do you? Do you just have it on your work PC? And you're just... It's fine. You do? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Because I was, I was wondering that. Because like quite often you're in game, right? On your Lalafell. And you're like, yeah, I'm at work. Yeah, I'm watching... Cause I thought you watched. You, I thought you used to watch the vods on your phone at work, where you like worked, right? Oh, you're managing director. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to say in it then. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And then to all everyone, like all your colleagues, no, nope, you're not allowed anything like that. Yeah, fair enough. If if you if you kind of you can make you can call the shots there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 67 is that on uh that's some bumble right we can try that mmo i linked us in discord today I, I for me personally i mean you guys do what you want right for me personally i'm not going to jump in another mmo uh, at the moment because i'm i've got one and i'm enjoying it um However, did you guys see the thing I posted? I don't know if that game is like a joke game or a real thing. Has anyone heard of that? What was it called like Pal, Pal Gang or something? The like Pokemon ripoff, Pal World, yeah. <laughs> Pokemon with guns. Is this a thing that like people are actually excited for? Like I've never heard of it till yesterday, and then I I thought, what the hell? How do they make Pokemon with guns? Surely that's not actually like made by. Is it Nintendo that, that like? Uh, Game Freak that makes Pokemon. It's a real thing. You can make them work in factories or eat them for reasons. It's been in development. Yeah, so there's this. Look, I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll find it. Power World. <coughs> uh. Here. Yeah. Power World. Like, it actually looks like good graphics and stuff. <laughs> Pokemon with guns, baby. Let's go. It does actually look kind of fun. Yeehaw, baby. <laughs> Is that Lapras with the rocket launch? Dual cannon rocket launchers? It looks like kind of like Monster Hunter World or some shit with Pokemon. Pokemon Breath of the Wild guns. <laughs> like, I guess they had to spend a lot to get the rights because it's so obviously like a poke. I don't know if it's a ripoff or it's made like they just ha they had to pay like the studios of Pokemon and be like, can we just literally make Pokemon. No rights. I guess I guess to be fair, they're not actually the Pokemon, but like in the picture I see Meowth. I see like Flareon. At the start I saw Eevee. Like there, look, there's Eevee. 
I saw like Don fan at one point. I don't know who this geezer is. <laughs> But dude, you just put like, you're like, oh, look, little Pokemon dupe. And then just like pulls out a goddamn minigun, Gatlin. Yeah, that's a minigun, baby. <laughs> but it, yeah, I mean, I guess it, it's out on the 19th. So yeah, Friday. It comes out Friday, guys. Early access. I wonder how much it's going to cost. I'm going to add it to my wish list. Oh, I'm not logged in on this. Oh. Uh, Gamba payout. Oh, true, true, true. It was under 30 played. Boom. Gamba payout. Enjoy the points. Enjoy the points. $30. Honestly, it's kind of worth, worth a go. Easiest points of my life. $30 for a, like, firstly, Pokemon is awesome. And then Pokemon with guns in an open world 3D also sounds awesome. I can make war crimes? I'm in. <laughs> no, I don't think that was Electabuzz, but it might be like a some some branch off of, of Electabuzz, yeah. Cross between Raichu and Totoro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was actually a bit Totoro. Yeah, Totoro meets Electabuzz, yep. Um yeah, that's actually I mean it might be it might be kind of funny, but I was thinking the same like Syndra said. Uh Syndra said, like uh it seemed a bit like if they didn't get rights for that, it seemed like a lawsuit kind of territory. Because I'm pretty sure... I guess it's not made by Nintendo Pokemon, right? But it's on their platforms. Like, it's a Nintendo game, right? And I'm pretty sure Nintendo are pretty strict when it comes to uh, copyright stuff, isn't it? Aren't they? Yeah, like, this isn't a Nintendo game, but Pokemon is, right? That's what I mean. That's what I mean, right? So, they might get sued by Nintendo. Yeah, that's 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 like really my only worry. Like this one isn't made by Nintendo, no. It's not, and they can't legally. They sued for less. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? Like, I thought I thought Nintendo were pretty were pretty harsh with like lawsuits and stuff. Like they kind of go in for, for for stuff. Yeah, that is true. So that is true. To be fair, though, I mean, I guess for Nintendo, it wouldn't be flying under the radar. But I never heard of it till yesterday, and I thought I saw the picture, and I was like, no shot. And then, and I posted it in Discord, and you were like, yeah, yeah, this, I can't wait for this. It actually sounds awesome. And I'm like, you guys knew about this? Uh, I can wait for it. You can wait. Wait, you're not gonna play it. I got the idea from you though, Linton. Like, I saw you post it. I was like, that looks hella good. Well, I thought it looked hella funny. But apparently it's going to be good. I'm going to see what the reviews are like. Digimon exists too. That is true. That is true. I guess Digimon kind of just ripped off Pokemon in a sense. Friday stream. Maybe sometime, yeah. Maybe not this Friday because I think it's podcast this Friday. Oh, you don't know the context? Oh, we were talking about Power World. Are you actually going to play that? Listen to him. I'm just hate watching the usual. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's it's a. Uh, I was gonna say your new thing, but honestly, I don't. I don't think it's new. Thirty six dollars. Oh. Uh. They could have done so. Yeah, I reckon. I suppose. I suppose like, they would have like Nintendo for sure would know about it by now. Uh. Yeah. I suppose. I suppose they might wait. Right. To see if it flops or does well before they would sue for something like that because if it flopped they would just be like wasting money on on lawsuits and things wouldn't they watch globe the bottom two globe the bottom two globe the bottom two Music video. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's SpongeBob with guns. Yep. Let's fucking go, baby. Yep. Damn, Power World looking good. 
Oh my god, he just injected Gary. <laughs> Gary hit with the meow, meow, meow. All right. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's do FSQ. Let's do FSQ. Dies of Grinch. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, people make some wild stuff. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Nintendo sues ASAP. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I'll take your word for it. I don't really know the inner workings of uh, Nintendo and the past lawsuits they've done. I've just heard that they uh, they go pretty hard with their lawsuits when they want to. Yeah, you got record sales. Yoink. But I don't know. Maybe they maybe they go in early. Thing is, I, I just feel like they'd be spending money. Like if they don't if they don't have proof that it's going to be something people play, then there's no point shutting it down, right? AI is fun. Wait. That was made by AI? That's pretty nuts, if so. I would have thought someone coded that shit. Morkan seems fretful about the weather. Uh-oh, we're going to have to go to the vape cloud. Hmm, we may have a small problem, Koopo. When the winds are high like this, Trace Valga invariably abandons his lofty perch and heads to the lands below to hunt. If you tried blowing on the horn now, I doubt you'd hear it. I suggest we stop at the clearing up ahead and rest until the wind dies down. Okay, onwards. They're extremely aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> they DM say fan videos. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that like Nintendo goes for you on even on like YouTube if you uh, use their music. But then I also see loads of videos using Nintendo music anyway. Ah, oh, dude, this is the life. Riding my chocobo through the sun. For this tune. Mm, 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 mm. The killed they killed Mario. Wait, Mario is missing. Doo, doo, doo. I don't I don't even know what Mario's missing is. This is a wide vibe. Oh, this zone has the best music, man. So far, out of any zone. Partnering program for people? Really? I didn't know that. Look at these QEs. They've been waiting. This should do nicely, Koopo. The winds will likely have died down by tomorrow. But until then, we might as well make ourselves comfortable on this patch of grass. Oh, we got a nice little scenery to go by, though. Cozy. If we must interrupt our journey so close to its end, I suppose this place is as good as any. And mayhap, a brief respite from the hardships of the road will help to clear our minds in readiness for the coming parlay. Very well then. I believe a campfire is in order. Leave the gathering of fuel to me. I acquired a keen nose for firewood during my time on the frozen wastes of Goethas. Alright, Alfie. Big man. Huh. <laughs> clear our minds. It is Master Alfino who mu whose mind needs clearing. The thought of meeting a great worm in the flesh has befuddled the boy. Did you see him stroll away as if these ruins were not crawling with deadly beasts? Follow him, Russ, and see that the wildlife does not make a meal of our young friend. We will have a camp ready by the time you return. Dude, imagine they're going to build like a cool ass place here. Nice. All right. Alfie off to sniff for some firewood. Yeah, like what? A keen nose for firewood? What do you mean a nose? A nose for firewood. Nintendo versus Disney, who's more evil? Honestly, I, I don't really I don't really pay attention to any of that. Like bigger corporation politics and stuff. And what they get up to, all their war crimes and whatnot. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, one. Shift two, baby. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, he's, he's already dead. He's already dead. Come on in. Oh, big crits right there. 2k. Fang and claw. Dude, I'm actually kind of doing big damn now these days. Boom. Now we, now we cheer these guys on. Go on. You got this. Hell yeah. All right. Animated firewood. <laughs> Stupid Alfie. Getting himself caught up by the trees. Disney by Miles. I would have, my gut would have said Disney, but then it, I, it, it was, it's more just because I don't really know uh, anything that Nintendo's really done. Boom, baby. Get out of here, firewood. You got this, you got this. Hey Alfie, I killed some firewood. Yeah, like what's he doing? Is he chopping it up? Because he don't look like no not lumberjack. Part Pinocchio. <laughs> God, this song jams so hard. Trust me, sir, Sinian, this firewood can walk back to our camp. True, it could get you half it could get you halfway there, actually. Yeah, you just kite the tree back to the camp, then kill it there, and you have an entire tree of firewood. Thing is, though, I feel like, I feel like a freshly cut down tree or killed tree treeman. It's not gonna be that burnable because you have to dry it out, right? Don't you have to dry out firewood? A treeman. <laughs> XDD tree. <clears throat> Hello. Justinian and I have returned. I see. I was right. I see. I was right to worry about the boy's safety. Once Alphano returns with the wood, we can see about supper. The Ice Queen has filled a pot with what looked like stew ingredients, ready for the fire. Oh, dude, it's gonna be cozy as heck. Got a nice little table. Justinian's got some sacks. Dude, he is so miserable. There's no way he cut that tree into. These look. These look like they came from a carpenter's workshop. Camping trip. Yeah. This is kind of cozy though. Wow. Those two massive trees, and he took some twigs. <sighs> Adventure is just chilling. Look at me. So cute. Ah. Few things compare to the simple pleasure of sitting beside a crackling campfire of one's own making. One's own making. <laughs> so speaks the great explorer. Until recently, you wouldn't have recognized firewood if it came up with kindling if it came with kindling and the flint. Tis well you instructed me so patiently then. But yes, left to my own devices, I would have been compelled to signal to your sail with a pile of damp leaves. Poor Alfie. He gets a lot of shit, doesn't he? He takes a lot of shit. <clears throat> I was born the pampered son of a Charlayan dig, uh, dignitary and, alongside my twin, became the youngest student ever to be accepted into the stadium. How proud I was to match wits with scholars and philosophers. How ignorant of mine own shortcomings. That hubris invited manipulation and betrayal and led to the downfall of the scions. Yeah. <sighs> 
We all of us are guilty of similar ignorance. How many men lay down their lives knowing, never knowing what it is that they fight for, never questioning that which they have been taught to believe. It was only upon meeting Harris Volga that I learned the truth hidden within our history. Were it not for that chance encounter, I would never have vowed to tear down the Holy See and expunge the falsehoods with which it fans the flames of conflict. I would have lived and died in ignorance. That the truth has driven me to do terrible things, I cannot deny. But I would rather sin in the pursuit of peace than imagine myself virtuous and perpetu perpetuate... Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh perpetuating a needless war perpetuating sorry if this journey has taught me anything it is the importance and difficulty of holding to one's convictions in the face of failure of striving always to replace one's ignorance with knowledge you are well on your way, Master Alphano. At your age, I was but a fool swinging a spear with scarcely a thought in my head. I mean, he kind of still is. <laughs> Even now, I struggle to acknowledge the misconceptions under which I have labored. Sitting here amongst the grand ruins... How can I deny that man and dragon once lived in peace? Look at the Moogle. Just when like the text box disappears and there's a little Moogle underneath. But for all that such an age existed, we are now in a time of war. Nidhogg killed my family and no quirk of history will exonerate him. Look at the Moogle. I may be ignorant of how the Dragon Song War began, but if we do not put an end to this conflict now, I can say for a certainty that it will only breed more vengeful souls such as mine. Oh, he tossed the stick. He's going to smile. He's going to crack his first smile. He's going to be like... Yeah, a little smirk, isn't he? In my hand, in my hands resides the power to vanquish a great worm. If Ishgard's survival rests on me wielding that power, I will slay Nidhogg myself. Orders or no? Oh, she's pissed. Estinian, you gave your word. My word is contingent upon the success of our parlay. Show me the strength of your conviction, convictions, Lady Iceheart. Convince Trace Volga of the righteousness of your cause. Hmm. She'll try her best. Doubt not, but that I shall, Dragoon. Oh, we're just some, we're just like, we're just like any family. Just a little bit dysfunctional and weird. With a bit of anger, you know. Well, wind's willing. We shall have our answers on the morrow. Let us sleep now and face our fate with the rising of the sun. Oh, I like that they took my helmet off for this cutscene, actually. Because it's on right now. Ouch. Yeah, every family works like that. Fipo happy. <laughs> J Russ happy. What an emote right there. Let's take the... Uh... Guess I'm going to take the... Mm. I'm going to take the machinist stuff. Whoa. Nice family bonding time. Weekly Tuesday init check. Okay. Look at Moghan. So cute. So cute. Bruv. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whoever made this emote is such a cutie. Yeah, Haristo made that emote actually, guys. The J Russ happy. He made it originally as a wide people happy. And then I was like, well, that won't fit. So we just squished it. <laughs> and that's why it looks a little bit fucked up. But I think that's the charm of it. I think that's why I like that emote so much. Because it's just like... It's like, Jaira's happy! Because <laughs> it's just like squished together. <laughs> Aiming is for machine. Yep, yep, yep. Like an ugly, ugly pet you love. Yeah. What's up, Ryan? How's it going? Um, deeply invested in Astinian's mouth. Yeah. I just want to see why everyone loves Astinian so much. So I'm, I'm watching him. I'm watching his character develop. I'm watching everything he does. I'm even mimicking him. Oh. I'm, I'm almost taunting him at this point. Like, really, who's the greater dragoon here, you know? Let's be real. Let's be real here, you know? Obviously, Russ just stolen. Yeah, no thoughts. Only stab. We're so Barack. Welcome, Barack. Welcome back. <laughs> you tune in and see MSQ. It's true. We're actually pumping the MSQ. We've done like uh we've done like a good three quests so far today. Me. Bench is goated as well. Oh, sorry, snow park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh shit! Here we go. That looks like a dragon. That looks like Grace Velvet. Wait, that looks like the dragon from uh, the cutscene. Yo, it's finally happening. Moghan is gazing meaningfully at the path to Zenith. The campfire was so cozy. I must have fallen asleep, Gopo. Oh, you were so cute when you were sleeping, though. Look at the eyes. But do you feel how the winds have shifted? They will have borne Horace Valga back to the skies above Zenith. I'm sure of it. The Pagan arrived. This is your chance to climb to the highest floor of the palace and summon him with a toot of that shiny horn. So, uh, <laughs> I'll be heading back now, if that's all the same to you. Uh, good luck, Kupo. It was nice knowing you. Goodbye, Moghan. What a great tour guide. Why, wait, why did he want to leave, though? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Wait, where's all my mates? Where's all my mates gone? What? Dude, I actually got ditched. Hold on. This is oh, fantastic. All right. Banger. Let's go. Onwards. It's so eerie now. There's the, there's the music finished. We got all the way through. Just the clopping of my hooves. I found the sheet music, so we're gonna learn it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Best song in the game. <coughs> Just the clopping of my hooves. I fucking love the Heaven Sword Zones. We're here in Zenith. Alice has been weighing so patiently that she has gone AFK. <laughs> Just some good classic sword and magic dragon fantasy. Ooh. Have I heard this before? I think I want to maybe like start learning piano or something. Oh, 
Hi, Nathaniel, man. I've heard parts. Yeah, I feel like I heard some in Western Kothas, maybe. I don't know. More pianists. I actually just think that that instrument is like so beautiful and it can be played in so many ways. I never really used to appreciate it. But I think as I've got older, I, I really appreciate pi piano a lot more now. <clears throat> yeah, dude. I don't know if this is specific to this hub right here, Zenith. But like, holy shit, this zone has had like four pieces of music and they all slap so far. Mog home, day, night time, and now this. All right, guys. Could be talking about any zone, but so far, the, the, this one has been my favorite so far. All right, it's time. Yo, Freelancer. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. We done it. We done it. We made it to Zenith, baby. Wow, we went across this whole zone so quick. It's interesting because like one quest basically took me all the way here. And there's like all this I haven't explored yet. Let's go up. Let's go on up. I guess we can just walk straight up this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do we get up? Oh, oh, here we go. Huh! I mutant. Boss fights, ambience, cutscenes. It is good at setting a mood, yeah. This song goes hard. One day we're going to explore that cloud over there. That cloud of lightning vape. It's purple as well. Looks like my armor. I'm going to become that cloud. Okay, I'm coming guys. I'm coming. We go. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Ah, yep, that's a good one. That's a good smelling one right there. Could use some strife. <laughs> Stinky. No, it was a it was a nice smelling one right there. The cloud of dankness. Yeah, that's that one back there. That one. But that one, that one was just pure sniffer. Those are ninety percent methane. Look, methane. Doesn't smell that bad unless it comes out. Actually, I think it just generally smells bad, actually. But it's fine. Maybe my character's lore is that uh, I enjoy the smell of methane, you know? Destination. Right, we might get cutscene here. Oh, shit. Toot the horn. <laughs> this is like a tiny little trumpet. Max volume. Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Mortals, why do you disturb my solitude? That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I can't speak, dragon. There he is! Kind of cool looking dragon. Got like four wings. No! <laughs> you dick. Grace Velga. Grace Velga. Nyx, thank you for the five months. Okay, for Pagon arrived. We didn't miss any voice lines. Thank God. Thank you, Nix. Thank you, thank you for the continued sub. Okay, hold the subs, guys, till after the cutscene now. Hold. I'll click this one manually. Thou speakest. <clears throat> Thou speakest the name of a creature that birth awaiteth the release of oblivion. Leave me. Did that sound anything like it? <laughs> Deeper. Testing. How's this for deep? Tongue heard no difference. Too deep? How about now? Sound like Jotaro. <laughs> Thou speakest the name. Go, I get it. <laughs> this is good? Okay. Why the twelve? My ears hear the tongue of dragons, yet the meaning rings clear within my mind. How can that be? True. He hears dragon, but we understand it. Interesting. Bracevelga, do you not remember me? Twas I whom you found in Dravania. I who glimpsed the truth. The truth about your past. About Shiva. Oh! <laughs> Do not speak her name, mortal. But speak it I must. I have summoned Shiva's soul from the beyond and offered myself as her vessel. She has made her heart known to me. Foolish <laughs> girl. Thinkest thou, my beloved spirit, hath descended from the heavens? That the secrets of her heart are thine to know? I have surrendered mine to her. Do you not see, my love? I am Shiva reborn! Oh, wait, what? Take my wife's name. <laughs> Gullible fool, the light that illuminated the past for thee, it did not grant thee om omniscience, om omniscience. The spirit thou hast summoned belongeth not to Shiva. Tis but a shade conjured by thine own fancy.
In an age long past, mine own kin were guilty of like folly. Beguiled by the Dark One's lies, they attempted to resurrect a king amongst worms, yet the divinity they called forth merely borrowed the semblance of my fallen brood brother. Such gods are not summoned, but created. Phantoms spun from the threads of misplaced faith. Then the spirit he only has comes. one eye. I just saw that now. Was but thy dream of Shiva. Thy soul hath been corrupted but a deity, by a deity of thine own making, child. Oh no. He just ruined our life. He just ruined our life. Everything she believed in. Be that as it may, Lord Tracefelger. Izel's desire to heal the rift between man and dragon is real, and it has borne us this far. We would spare both our kind and yours the ravages of this senseless war. Pray join your voice to ours in a call for peace and forgiveness. The tale of thy kind is one of avarice, treachery and death. And thou would speak to me of peace? Hark thee, mortal, to the naked truth, then tell me thou deservest forgiveness. Ooh, hmm. Yo, dragon, welcome back. Do you want me to keep translating the voice, by the way, or nah? It's, it's easier than reading, right? Twelve hundred years ago, my beloved Shiva's sacrifice served to bring an end to the war twixt man and dragon, paving the way for an age of peace and cooperation. <laughs> Two centuries of harmony were to follow, during which time the Ellison learned much about us. Not least that the eyes of a great worm are the wellspring of his strength. <laughs> It was out of the selfish desire to possess this strength that King Thordin then conspired to undo all that our peoples had achieved together. Fuck Thordin! With the aid of his leal knights, that most Noble of Elizan lured my brood sister Ratatoska into an ambush and took from her that which he craved. strike the image from my mind, yet still the saint the scene doth linger, of my brood sister's tattered corpse, defiled by her Ellison allies, 
they had torn out her eyes and feasted upon them in the manner of wild beasts. Holy shit! That's pretty fucked up. Yeah, pretty fucked up. Yeah. Yet that was not all. For from their bloody banquet, the fiends had gained strength beyond that of mortal men. Even now, I labor to comprehend the enormity of their betrayal. Honestly? Understandable that the dragons are pissed. Nidhogg was the first to learn of the atrocity, and he took to the skies, hungry for vengeance. Come and my thorn in you I'll in later. I'm with Nidhogg now. He slew Thordan. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? I'm on I'm on Nidhogg's side for this. But though he slew Thorin and some few of his knights, their fellow butchers knew only too well where to aim their spears. And with now practiced savagery, they set about my brood brother, sending him flailing from the field. Such is the truth the Holy See would keep hidden. Such was the beginning of the Dragon Song War. Tis a song my kind shall never forget, even should ten thousand years pass and Ishgard crumble into dust. That's pretty fucked up, man. That is pretty fucked up. I wonder what happened to his eye. Your tale bears scant resemblance to the one I was taught. How convenient that it should absolve your kind of all responsibility. But tell me, dragon, why should I believe your version of events? That is true. It is, it is he said, she said. What thou choosest to believe is immaterial. The betrayal that yet haunts mine every waking moment is no less than the truth to my kind. And Nidhogg meaneth for Thordan's people to suffer for the sin till the end of days. No. That which thou imaginest, a war of extinction, extinct, extinction is but a punishment, a siege of the spirit. Hast thou not seen those who tire of the torment, those who abandon their own and side with dragonkind? Ishgard's so-called heretics. Literally, you say, you say, you Ice heart. You sail? That's the name, right? Giga Chad versus Giga Chad. Yeah. True. Actually, true. Yeah, I like Hrace Velga. He's, he's pretty cool. He's just like, yeah, man. Like, I'm not fighting you, but Nidhogg's pissed, and this is why. Know that all the traitors' progeny bear a trace of Ratatoska's essence, but a single sip of our blood is enough to awaken it. Then, 
The seed lies within us. Shit, you got damn fucked up by eating her eyes, didn't you? You got damn fucked up, didn't you? Seed? <laughs> It is for this reason that those who abandon their loyalties are rewarded with a drink, and thus are they transformed to join the ranks of Nidhogg's ever-growing army as newborn dragons. One by one, through death or defection, my brood brother shall account for all of the betrayer's children. Ye gods, I have been such a transformation. Looked on as a heretic assumed the shape of a dragon. I imagined it's some manner of Dravanian enchantment. Oh yeah, in the uh when we when we kicked the asses in the uh, amphitheater. When we kicked their asses. They just flew away. They turned into dragons and they then they flew off. After they fought us as dragons. That's pretty nuts. So they have the seed inside them and they just take a drink and they and they get dragon powers. That's pretty pretty crazy. Yo, Echi. But if any Ishgardian, regardless of allegiance, has such potential within them, twelve forgive us. To think of all the dragons we've slain. <laughs> uh oh. Whoops. Uh oh. <laughs> Shit. What? There will always be some, of course, who choose to fight until the bitter end, like thee, Dragoon. But struggle as thou might, thy youthful vigor will be spent ere thou reachest two score and ten. And Nidhogg shall remain to torment thine offspring. Thumbnail. After oh. I wondered why so that in dragon voice, sorry. Simply raise Ishgard to the ground. Yeah, he wants you to convert. He doesn't want to kill you. Now I have my answer. He has no intention of winning the Dragon Song War, for it is no war at all, but vengeance. An eternal requiem sung for his murdered sister. Thou hast the right of it, Dragon Slayer. Comprehendest thou, now, the futility of thy quest? I have not come this far only to admit defeat. We can still return the eye to Nidhogg and beg forgiveness for our ancestors' crimes. Mayhap our words will sway him. But what about his eye? Did he and Nidhogg share an eye? Who took his eye? Where's Race Velga's eye? Stubborn child, thou thinkest in mortal terms. Our perception of time is too broad for thee to grasp. Tis a simple matter for thee to offer thine apologies. Thou didst not perpetrate the crime. Despite thy visions, the deeds of history seem distant. Distant to thee. Yo, Goldhampson, what's up, Hags? How are we doing? Maybe he just lost it. <laughs> just fell out, mate. Baby boy.
For a worm such as Nidhogg, however, that history is yet part of his present, as fresh as the blood that did gush from Ratus Ratatoska's wounds. How could he not be driven mad? Dude, I really like the idea that they're one and the same, and he's like two-faced. Tis only by the calming embrace of Shiva's soul that mine owner, Fury, hath not consumed me. But let us speak no more of what is done. My faith in your kind is spent, and I would be alone. Hmm. He's off. He's got two glamour plates. I really like the idea that, like, he's, uh, like, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And he's Rose Valga by day and Nidhogg by night. That would be sick. But then, like, I feel like Nidhogg is too pissed to even, like, have a conversation. So it probably couldn't be. Like, there's no way, unless, like, Nidhogg is, like, his, like, shadow, you know? But he talks about him, like, as though they're, as they're, they're too different. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in time, I suppose. Yeah, Nidhogg in the streets, or it's Valga in the sheets. <laughs> the sale. She really does look sad. Oh. Damn. She's just destroyed. She lost her sprout. That's why she's sad. Oh. Talk to her? Good idea. What false god is this Shiva? What manner of phantom have I welcomed into my heart? Oh, fuck. What the hell? Sussy Russie's swing. I always knew you were going to be a Nidhogg supporter. What the hell is- Who is this? <laughs> Can we ride the swing? I don't have a swing. <laughs> I don't have a swing, guys. They friended you? <laughs> Hi, smile. Is this you, Kaffa? <laughs> what, sex cult doesn't have a swing? It's not a sex cult, guys. Look, it's a very clear disclaimer below the stream. The swing is for tier threes only. True, we need to we need to push that up to two to 350 for the final month of partner plus. That is true. That is true. Any tier ones, twos, and three subs greatly appreciated. And any gifted as well. And any primes as well. You know what? I'll just take it all. Give me the world. Yo, what's up, Jail? How's it going? I wasn't informed about a swing. I didn't know either till just now. Yeah. It's really turning into a... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but that, that was cool. That was cool cinematic. Thank you, by the way, Nyx, for the... Uh, for the five months. Sorry, I was like, no. It was just that uh, I thought it was gonna go over a voice line, and it's happened a few times. But it was all good. It only went over music, so we're fine. Thank you, though. Thank you, though. So no WoW yet? Yeah, I've quit retail WoW for now, Goldhampton. Probably next time I play WoW is uh, when the new expansion comes. Hey, bud. Sorry, some dude I don't know killed your sister. Can you stop killing everyone now? Yeah, exactly right. Like it seemed like a reasonable request. But it's like, well, it's like, hey, dude, can you tell your brother to stop killing our entire race because one dude decided to eat your sister's eyes? I feel like it's reasonable. Like, 
yeah, I can understand why Nidhogg is pissed. But that was really long. That was a really long time ago. You know? I am Sussy Rossi. <laughs> this is you, Venra. Sussy Rossi swing. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Hi, Hollow and Tug. Hi, chat and Keecha. Look at, the, look at them. Okay. What have I welcomed into my heart? Man, she is sad. Stinian, what have you got to say? As predicted, Iceheart's faith in the worm has was misplaced, which leaves us with but one recourse. You know I have the right of it, Warrior of Light. Damn, he's smug now. He's going to do the thing. Where he does the smirk. Time to slay! Trace Falgo was every bit as awe-inspiring as I imagined. His voice fairly dripped with power. The will behind his words so undeniable that it transcended my ignorance of the dragon's tongue. But tis but a pity that I misliked what he said. <laughs> ah, so far did we travel even under to the very heavens themselves, only to be dismissed like unruly children and far from mitigating this humiliation. The hidden truths we have learned serve only to prove that our grand mission of peace was destined to fail from the first. Nothing will deter Nidhogg from his course. Guess we gotta fuck him up then, huh? Guess we gotta fuck him up. Yeah, Lance to the face. Or many. Alphano is considering your party's next course of action. Rustinian, dude. Oh, I like that. That's a good ring to it. That's my boy. He is why I joined the Dragoons. I need to, uh, I, yeah, I need to see Rustinian turn it on then. We going voice again? Well, what do you propose we do now? Oh hell yeah! I, for one, am intent on continuing to the east. Hell yeah! Let's go. What is there to be found in the east? Nidhogg's lair, the Airy, is said to lie in that direction, and the eye tells me he is near. You cannot still mean to slay him. Yeah, to be fair, if Race Valgo was Nidhogg, then I feel like Estinian would have felt the eye pulsating, you know, or whatever it does in his jacket pocket. Uh, like when he was close to him. So I guess they have to be separate. You cannot still mean to stop me. Maybe. I have been true to my word and aided you Truth. in this fool's errand with Race Valgo. But your efforts at Pali have come to naught, Lady Iceheart. I would see Ishgard saved. And for that, Nidhogg must die. Damn. With the tale of our ancestors' vile betrayal yet ringing in your ears, you speak of continuing this war? Nay, Lady. I would but pierce its vengeful heart. Oh, when shit. When Nidhogg dies... This war shall die with him. As edgy as hell. A moment, Astinian. You yourself spoke of the Great Worm's strength. That you believed him powerful enough to raise your city to the ground. How then are we few to challenge him? Even behind the stout walls of Ishgard, with an army of knights manning the defenses, our victory would be hard won. Yet you propose to contend with the beast in his own lair. In close combat, this will afford us an advantage. And with two Azure Dragoons working in unison, who can say what might be possible? He finally said it! But such two. speculation is meaningless if we cannot even find the worm. He did the thing. Our first task must be to seek out Nidhogg's lair. The story of this nation grows bloodier by the moment. 
Must death always be answered with more of the same? Why can't we solve it with politics? Such is the way of things, I fear. I shall consider it a miracle if mine armor is not stained crimson ere this conflict is ended. Shit! Let's go. All right, I'll dye my glam red too with you, Astinia. Let's fucking do it. Crimson dye. I'm blinded by my own lies. Everything I believed. Everything I thought I was. Gone. Oh, she's having an existential oh, crisis. Leave her. Your words will not reach her now. Oh. And we have not the time to wait for her to gather up the pieces Get rolled. of faith. Oh, savage. Rip Bozo. Leave her. Leave her behind. Her ice heart is shattered. No time for crying. Jesus. <laughs> fuck, fuck, man. Okay. Now, nah, he's so based, man. <laughs> he is so based. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> is she saying the same thing? Well, it was a pleasure. See ya. You sure you don't want to come? Are you good? You'll be okay, right? All right, bye. Bye, your sail. I hope. I hope. I hope. I see you again. Yeah. She's still up there. She's probably fine. She'll probably be alright. She'll probably be alright. She's a strong woman. She'll probably be alright. I'm an aura again. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. She's back. She is back. Look at the eyes. Look at those eyes. I miss Cat Girl. No, you don't. She was too angry for this world. Binoculars. She's back, baby. Oh, hello. Stone bears a striking resemblance to a chocobo. Oh, shit. There's some more. We have to slay. Immediately slay more dragons. After we just learned that they're all Ishgar. Uh, yeah, Ishgardians. Okay. All right. Well, I guess it is what it is. Alright. Holy moly, I do all the damage. I do all the damage. Oh, day theme now, guys. It's day theme this time. I I need the violin to come in. Limbo ring, so cute. When's that violin coming in? Come on. Handlebar horns. These handlebars. Oh, shit. Ah. These are like wings. They're like face wings. Yeah, the mount was not the best choice for this zone. How are they not aggroing? I have an escort. Triple sprout attack. Necromancer. 
Yeah, another and just another Lala fell necromancer right there. Donk arrive. <laughs> Donk walk, sorry. <laughs> we go. I used to be one of those. A Lala fell? Oh, a sprout. A sprout, yeah. Man, shout out to Bumble's sprout icon. May it rest. May it rest in peace. See, that's why... Th see, this is the perfect thing. Because I'm so slow at progressing MSQ, I'm going to be a sprout for like three years. It's going to be great. For like two years, maybe. RIP the sprout. RIP the sprout. 07. It's always a sad day. I think it was a few days ago, but it doesn't make it any less sad, you know? The necromancer. Yeah, I was thinking like used to be, but then it made more sense with the sprout. Look at the moogles. Hello. Hoopo. God, I look so good. Oh. Never let me switch off aura again, guys. All right, fine. I'll Fantasia for you guys. I have six left. Five left. Wait, how many do I have left? Five. I have five left. The wheel. Spin. Time to spin the wheel of Fantasia. <laughs> wheel of Fanta. Okay, not today. Please, not today. I'm not doing the wheel of Fanta today. All right. Look, I, I, when I, as soon as I say something about gift subs, wheel of Fantasia, it's just gonna come. Everyone's gonna be like, I'll do five. I'll do ten. I'll do five. I'll do twenty. Someone's gonna drop a 50. It'll just it'll just happen. Number of subs for Fantasia really. Yeah, see? Not today. Surely I can be aura for today. Don't you wanna Fanta? At some point I will, but right now I want today I wanna be aura. We hate hype trains. We hate hype trains. <laughs> but Russ. But Russ. The pee pee. The pee pee. Yeah, exactly. We need the Partner Plus. Partner Plus will get secured, hopefully, you know, in the next week or so. Then we can then we can just pump gift subs, guys. Then it's then we're literally free to do all of our heart's desires. You'll hit your PP with a roulette. Yeah. So I maybe people are holding off with like uh gifties till till we get it secured. So it doesn't take like if someone gets a gift sub, that means that they can't tier one, two, or three, right? So Maybe maybe we uh, we open the gates if we confirm. Man, this walk took a while, huh? If we hit PP, we do the Fanta. If we hit PP, we're having a party and a subathon and a bunch of cool shit next in February. I'll wait for these guys to go. Get the PP. Yeah. Hold. I mean, you can still gift. That that's fine. I don't want anyone to ever feel like they can't gift. But like, I know I know it's like a weird, awkward. Uh... Right, is it my turn? It's like a it's like an awkward thing with like how it detracts from the partner plus right oh shit i just fucked up god i'm so zoomed in man i need to get used to pressing a uh, battle litany that thing is nuts i think it's nutty good actually oh shit ah. i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming coming all right i'm here i'm here i've arrived oh sorry <laughs> i meant to these guys i meant to these guys he what i meant to these guys i was running over sorry <laughs> i meant us running over sorry guys <laughs> coming to those guys no like Look, you know what? Let's just say it's a blip, all right? It's a blip. <laughs> Not a sex goal. I was just being innocent. You guys made it weird, okay? You guys, you guys are the ones that like started saying stuff and putting emphasis on it, okay? I was just t saying words. 
You beat it? Nice, Sil. Good job. Did you do all the, like, DLCs and stuff as well? Because I didn't do those on my first completion. I'm actually really looking forward to finishing that save that we made yesterday with the scythe. Because, like, I just got my build, like, maximum turned on, dude. I got the shield. I got the ring. I got the scythe. I actually went back and I did... I went back and just ran back through Sen's Fort Fortress last night before I went to bed and picked up all the treasures. Got four extra demon titanite from the basement. Yesterday I learned there are four titanite demons down there and not two. So I now can make the scythe plus five. My build what? Yeah, like it's just turned on. It's just uh, popped off now. So now I should be able to just one shot everything. And it, it will be super giga Chad, you know? Look where we're heading. Yeah, to the quest, right? Wait, it's in this. <gasps> Wait, it's the vape cloud. Yo, let's go. We're going to find out what's up there. Wait, no, it's the tree with the dangly sludge. It's a sludge tree. Vape wave. Yeah, maybe we're going to the vape soon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cloud. Guys, it's time. <sighs> Get that nose clear. Get that nose ready. Hi, Reeps. What's up? It's time. <sighs> clear the air. Clear the airwaves. Clear the lines. Free your sinuses. <sighs> it's time. <clears throat> Lean in. Hell yeah. How am I doing? Yeah, pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Wait, this thing's moving. Ew, what is this goo? Oh, there's a dragon. Oh shit, this one looks damn cool. Oh wait, never mind. Ah, it looks pretty cool actually. I'm here. Oh shit, I keep forgetting about the goddamn... Oh, he's dead. I keep forgetting about the battle litany, man. I need to pop that like... Oh! Ah! Oh, it's not mine. Where is it? Maybe it is. Oh yeah, it is. Alright, get out of town. Oh! There's another! Wait, I could do two fanging claws there. Is there another? Alright, we're good. We're done. I'm coming. I'm running. I'm sprinting. I'm on my way. There we go. RP walk through the dungeon? Wait, is there a... Oh, I can't even see if there is. The worm's lair. Oh, that would make sense if it is. Wait, where'd the vape cloud go? Oh, there it is. Oh. What the hell is this up there? Ooh, there's more. Whoa, this zone's huge. Oh, this zone is huge. I thought we were almost done for some reason. Eastern eyes. Oh, guys. Yo, that looks tasty AF. Yo, that looks tasty AF up there. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Damn. Ooh, dude. That's absolute black current crystal right there. Hell yeah. Rum raisin. <laughs> Moon eyed Moogle. Oh, look, these guys are all cutscening over here. Go on, Holo. I believe. Nice. Moon. Black currant jam, rum raisin, ribena flavor. And they're in the zone you can't even get to. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, grape. Grape. 
Yeah, purple grape would be a good flavor of uh, crystal. Maybe that's what the vape is. You know? Did you finish DS2? No, not yet. not yet. Not yet. Not just yet. I will hopefully this week finish DS2. Here it is. Wait, that's the lair? Oh, shit. Aye. That would be the airy. I feel Nidhogg's presence through the eye. His caustic hatred gnawing at my soul. Okay. Then I guess that kind of confirms where his father is not his Nidhogg. put him on guard. Mark. How he wards his lair with tempestuous winds. <laughs> Great vape. A similar barrier once barred our entrance to the primal Garuda's domain, until we discovered the means by which it could be penetrated. What, Alfie? Mayhap it is time we called upon Master Garland. It will be just like the good old days, no? Oh, let's get Sid here, baby. Let's go. Sid time, baby. <sighs> Hold on a sec. There's something I have to do. Cozy vibes. You can't really hear it. Is this the wrong one? Hmm. There was a crackling fire, but the music was so loud. Dreams aloft. Oh, maybe it's going to play when we see him. When we see our dad. Dude, that was so good. When we heard dreams aloft and we were standing next to that fireplace. That was one of my favorite points in MSQ just because of how cozy it was. Am I a sound guy? Says so dirty, he's not your dad. He might be. I might be, might I? Uh, let's grab these. You like to sound? No, no, not to be confused with liking to sound or liking, you know, yeah, you know what I mean. But like, enjoy an enjoyer of sounds, you know, not a sounding guy. No, no, like an enjoyer of sounds. I almost said sounding. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're a pretty sound, mate. Oh, thank you, thank you. God, look at my hair blowing in the breeze. The scenes, the scenes, man. A sound enjoyer. That's what I mean. Like not sounding, but like a, an enjoyer of, of sounds, you know? All right, let's talk to Astinian then. What's he going to say? Will it be based or not? Believers? Sounding well goes... <laughs> Classic. Estinian would have you enlist the aid of Sid Garland. All right, let's go. There's different sound equipment. Oh no, you mean you know what I mean? Like for my ears, sounding my ears. No, nope. sounds going into my ears and eardrums. Okay. 
All right, never mind. Hmm. A force of sufficient power to break through a primal's defenses might conceivably grant us a access to the airy. Push buttons. <laughs> I can... And I can offer no better solution. Pray consult this engineer friend of yours. Wait, he hasn't... They haven't met? Dude, Estinian and Sid have to meet. Very well. On the condition that you swear not to lure Nidhogg from his lair in our absence. And steal all the glory for myself, you mean? Nay, I'm not so selfish as that. Contact me by link below when your preparations are complete. And we shall set forth from Ishgard together. Oh, he's going back to Ishgard. All right. I'm just going to go wait there. I suggest we rendezvous back at St. Re uh, uh, Rionette's Forum, Russ. From what I gleaned of the Holy Seas, decidedly ambitious airship project, Sid will still be in Ishgard. All right, perfect. We get a little bit of Ishgard music to mix it up. I like that. Yo, wait, where's it gone? Oh, it's up there. What's all this electromagnetic waves and shit going on? What the hell's? What the heck? All right, we got to get there. We got to go to Kothas Foundation. Oh, check the weather. Umbral static. Yo, that's cool. Okay. Estinian's a sound guy too. Yeah, he likes Link Pearl. <laughs> All right, we're back home temporarily. You ring it like a tuning fork. Dude, tuning forks are so cool. Like, they're so simple and so cool, man. Sydney and Sid meeting. Yeah, Giga Chad, handshake Giga Chad. Hi. Oh. We do like to stall. When last you saw Master Garlon, he was advising the Ishgardians on their ailing airship, correct? In that case, he might still be at Camp Cloudtop. Failing that, we could try the airship landing, or mayhap even the Sky Steel Manufactory. But let us not waste time searching aimlessly. Someone in the city is sure to know where to find him. The question is who? Sir Aymeric would seem the obvious choice, but there is no guaranteeing he will be able to grant us an audience at such short notice. Why don't we just ring him up? I'm sure Sid has a link pearl. In fact, I've been on the phone to Sid many times. I must have his number. Hopping off chat for tonight. All right, truck. Have a great evening. Have a great rest of your evening. Um, yeah, I'm definitely sure that we have him on link pearl. Also, how is... Why would Sir Aymeric know where he is? Are they best buds now? He's busy right now. <laughs> it went to answer. Sidney! <laughs> went to answer, man. Oh, when the plot allows for it. Okay, okay. Ah, I have it. Count Edmund's young son, youngest son prides himself on knowing all of the Holy See's juiciest rumors. Let's return to the manor and see if Lord... Ah, uh, oh, fuck! this twat you see my most recent vod this was the thumbnail this guy sucks <laughs> <laughs> Same shirt. Simple to the point. Based. <laughs> the face. Honestly, that's just that's just one of my many thumbnail faces. But it fits perfectly on that one. Ah, I have it. Oh, we, we read this one. Yeah. Lord Emanelian. God damn it. Eman. All right, back up to the uh, back up to the count's lair. Let's do it. The pillars. Do do do. 
Welcome, Mistress Just Stolen. We're back. Shall I show you inside the manor? Let's do it. Lord Eminem. Hello. Wait, where's the count? He's not home. On a right. No, that kid is a Giga Chad, though. Ah, the hero returns. How goes the fight, old girl? Oh, he used to call me, uh, I was Catboy last time. He used to call me a uh, old boy or like old pal or something. Well, I trust. Hmm. In search of Sid Garland, you say? Then say no more. The taverns are full of talk. And the name of said silver-haired genius has cropped up more often than most. I hear he's been tasked with getting that monstrous airship the Holy See commissioned to actually fly. To have seen the project has been played with mishaps from the first. In any case, Garland Ironworks employees are known to frequent the airship landing. And I'll wager their master does too. The airship landing. Yes, I thought as much. Come, Russ, we must find Sid and trouble him for his expert opinion. All right, let's go. I guess to be fair, like the quests do send you kind of like picking up crumbs. But it makes sense from a narrative point of view because it is like, well, well, where, like, how would we know exactly where Sid is, right, at all times? So I guess it makes sense. Like, seems like an irrelevant step in the quest to come and talk to him, but it makes sense. So I don't, I don't dislike it. Yo, Mordia, what's up? Why would you do me like that? <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Russ. Moria wants to know if you're going to TwitchCon because she's too shy to ask herself. <laughs> Wait, has it been announced where it is and when and stuff? Does it just come out or something? Or you're just saying like for EU? I plan to go to TwitchCon EU. Probably, yeah, probably. Maybe even NA as well next year, to be fair. Uh, providing it's not like super giga expensive. But yeah, hi Mordiel. What's up, Phantasm? Um, I didn't want to just jump in and be like, oh, hi, are you going to TwitchCon? Uh, it's just been Zach Bussy. Zach Bussy announced it. Let's have a look. TwitchCon dates, Rotterdam. June the 29th. Guys, where's Rotterdam? Netherlands. Okay. I'm. Um, God dang it! I'm. I'm in. You son of a gun! I'm in. Let's do it. Mordiel, we're going. And San Diego might be fun too. So I might go to both. But I'll definitely go to EU. See you there. Ease. Where the fuck San Diego? That's uh. That's Cali. Yeah. That's that's Southern California, baby. I think. Am I have to go to TwitchCon now? All right, you son of a gun. I'm in. Uh, Netherlands will host. Oh, right. And 2026. All right. To save, to save. Wait, we'll host TwitchCon through to 2020. All right. So it's going to be San Diego for the next four. And it's going to be Netherlands for this year and next. Oh, for, oh, for, sorry. For the next three years. Oh, you know what? They got it down, man. They just know everyone loves the Netherlands. So, Cal, I have to plan stuff for this year. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, what is it? 29th of June to the 30th. I could, can I book accommodation now? I guess so, right? I can actually get like a good place to stay. Because, like, last time I had the shittest hotel in the whole of fucking Amsterdam, I think. It was so fucking bad. I booked it last minute. It was so far away from everything. It was like a hot room with no windows. <sighs> yeah, that was the worst. Okay. Yeah, looks like looks like we're going. Mordiel, let me know uh, if you find a good hotel as well. You mean an oven? Yeah, it was basically an oven, yeah. Uh, we have to plan stuff. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, feel free to DM me, by the way, uh, Mordial, if you if you need to. And I'll do the same. Uh, gonna be a long train ride. Wait, Netherlands isn't that big, right? It shouldn't be too, too, too long. Yeah, official post, right, right. Oh, is this just like a leak? Right, okay. 
But that's cool. You subscribe for the weekly free newsletter. Oh, it says predictions. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely go to EU. I didn't. I don't know why. I. I did. I just didn't. I just didn't feel like going to Paris last time. But any Netherlands city will probably be a good time. Amsterdam was just so fun. Yeah, he is. He is trustworthy. To be fair, I follow him already. Um, Mr. Bussy. But yeah, I'll definitely go. So you can count me in. You son of a gun, I'm in. The question is, do I go to TwitchCon? Yes, Phantasm, let's go. Finally. Wait, would this be your first time going abroad, Phantasm? You 100% have to do it. What is my MSQ level? Uh, right now, it is level 54. We're about to go find Sid. Good morning, Outlandish. It's a chill place, so many bikes. I actually really like the whole country. Like, I've never had like a negative experience in the ne Netherlands so far. And I've been there like four or five times. I just I just like that country. It's good. The date for this year. Uh, so. The EU one, June the 29th to 30th. NA one, 20 to the 22nd of September. I might just go to both. We'll see. We'll see how the stream is doing. Like, I'll definitely go to, to this one regardless. Uh, and then I'll see like how the stream is doing. Like, if it's financially viable. But I would like to go to... Uh, the US again. So I, I kind of wanted to go this year at some point. TwitchCon is a good a good reason to do that one. Anyone's on the birthday? Damn. If I can persuade Glover to go, so I have to fly by myself. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, Glover will 100% be down. I'm pretty sure he would 100% be down. Fantasm. So yeah, for sure. Get Thomas to come over. Uh, BlizzCon, uh, I think BlizzCon is, uh, yeah, I think, oh yeah, shit, actually, this makes sense, right? Because, oh wait, no, yeah, it's two separate places. I think BlizzCon is always in Anaheim, which is like, uh, not like a bit northern California, I think. Yeah, I don't think it can be comboed because uh, BlizzCon is usually at like early November. So you have to wait the whole of like October. You'd have to be out there for like six weeks. Otherwise, you'd have you'd, it probably makes more sense to fly home and come back. Uh, it kind of sucks. If this was like if it was early October, though, you could probably just go for like two weeks and then you could combo them. Yeah. Eastern LA. Yeah. OK. Still Southern. Oh, OK. What's in Northern California? What's up? What's up there? Because like, I thought LA was like halfway up. And San Diego was like down south. And Paris and London was badly sick for most of London. Yeah, people thought uh, this TwitchCon this year was going to be in London for some reason. But I'm actually, I much prefer the idea of it being in uh, like Rotterdam or something. Yeah. Because like London is just giga expensive and really, really big. Uh, it's not that hard to get around. But yeah, I feel like, uh, dude, like when, when I went to Amsterdam for TwitchCon uh, like the year before last, it's just so easy to like jump on a train or jump on a tram or something and you can just get all around the place so easily and there's so much to do. Silicon Valley and me. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, beginning sorting my passport right now. Let's fucking do it. Get Glover in. Send him a message right now. Yeah, get your passports in day. I think I, I did mine only like a year ago, so we're good. All right, thank you for the heads up, Mordio. That was nice. And Phantasm. All right, there you go, guys. I will be at TwitchCon EU if anyone is going. I will be there in June, end of June. I'm just trying to think of this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Twenty sixth to the thirtieth. I might ditch Glass though. I don't know. 
I wasn't super, super hyped for Glasgow this year. I have a ticket, but I'll have to lose my deposit. Oh, I have to make a... Oh, I have to decide now. Oh, actually, I can just go to Glasgow for like two days and then go to TwitchCon. So I could just go to... A, oh, but I don't want to pay like £400 for, for two days of Glastonbury. Now just Dawn Trail announced on that week? Yeah. <laughs> Surely that wouldn't end badly. Uh, at least... So... My, yeah, at least at least I won't miss my girlfriend's birthday. Because her, her birthday is on the 24th. So I, I at least won't have to dip for that. And usually her birthday is at Glastonbury. But Glastonbury is a bit later this year for some reason. Of course it is. Usually Glastonbury is like the 22nd to the 26th. But this year it's the 26th to the 30th, right? Right when TwitchCon is, huh? Of course, this year. Why wouldn't it be, right? Yeah, it's like a big music festival in Denver. First top story fuck show ever. Uh, wait. Wait, what was the story? Only tickets authorized to. Uh, Oh, for like selling my ticket, you mean? No, so, uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to resell my ticket, but I've paid a deposit for it, right? I haven't paid the whole price. So I've got the ticket like reserved for me. I've paid like £75 deposit or something. So I would lose £75. I would lose my deposit and then my ticket would go up in the resales. So like I could, I could, I could dip from Glastonbury and I would just lose £75, which is not the best, but it's not life changing uh, loss, right? Yeah, I, I think I think I I don't know. I think just because there's only like three or four of us going to Glastonbury this year, I think I'd rather go to TwitchCon. <laughs> but I'll have to see what my girlfriend thinks. She's gonna be she's gonna be pissed. She's gonna be pissed because that's her festival. We have music at home, yeah, but it's like a festival. It is it is a fun time, but that's like her festival. Oh, it's gonna be rough. Marauders Guild rave over Glastonbury. How much are TwitchCon tickets? Oh, they're like uh, 80 pounds, I think. Partners get half price. Keep your girlfriend happy. I mean, she... <laughs> I mean, she will also understand if I want to go to TwitchCon, you know? Like, I'm not going to stop doing anything I want to do to make her happy as well. I still need to do what makes me happy as well. You'll get to see me and she loves that. Yeah, maybe I'll just make her come to TwitchCon. That could be the plan. 80 pounds. Yeah, I think it's like, I think it's either 60 or 80 pounds or something for two days. Um, honestly, the, there'll be more, the more expensive part will be like accommodation, I'd imagine, and like travel and stuff. However, I will say this, TwitchCon is, is fun, but last time I was there, I basically didn't go in the convention. Thanks to at Banana for my sub gift. Alu Russ, hope you are yeah. doing well. Partners yesterday. get half price. Twitch, Twitch would never get give us anything for free. They don't even. They took away our ad free viewing. Partners used to get ad free viewing on all Twitch channels, and they took that away from us as well. Okay, guys, we have six months to get me partnered. All right, let's get fancies and partners in the next six months so he can save forty quid. Easy clap, easy clap. We'll get all of Bumble too. Then, then maybe Bumble can come. Dawn, thank you for the resub, courtesy of Banana. Thank you, and thank you. Alu Russ, hope you're doing well. You too, Don. How are we doing? How are we doing? Hope you're doing great. Bellend Bertie. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Do PPs get uh get 75% off? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Twitch, basically, their motto is uh, they'll do as little as they can to, to help out their creators. They'll be, they'll pay them the bare minimum that they can get away with. Uh, they'll make it as they'll make you jump through as many hoops as, as they as you as they can uh, within reason. Yeah, you ain't getting any freebies uh, being being working for Twitch. You know, Glover is in. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I just need to talk to my girlfriend then. <laughs> I just need to talk to my girlfriend and make sure that she's okay if I ditch the festival. Yeah. But COVID. Oh shit. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope uh, I hope you get better swiftly, Don. COVID is a absolute rough one. 
No Prodigy in Glastonbury this year. So easy skip. I mean, uh, a Prodigy still doing tours and stuff at the moment. Because, I mean, yeah, like, did they, did they have, like, a new uh, hype man going so they can keep touring? I haven't heard anything uh, much about anything that they're doing live shows. I don't want 70% off my PP. Fair enough, fair enough. You know what? M maybe I don't either. Maybe I just want to have 50% off my P. Yo, Ponto, how's it going? Haven't lost taste or smell. Yeah, I've had COVID like two times now. And luckily, I didn't lose those. But I think it's because I had the vaccine. Like, uh, it didn't hit me like nowhere near as bad. But people that got hit before vaccines and stuff, I heard they lost their smell for like six plus months. It's crazy. Hi, Ponty. How are we doing? How are we doing? Okay, where are we going? Speak to Sid at the airship landing. Okay. Let's go over there. They see him on tour. Dude, Prodigy is one of my uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, so I would love to see them live. I'm in bed. Yeah, man. It is cold. That's why I've gone for a, an inside coat today. I've lost this sense of taste for five months. Jeez. Five months. And what, can't taste anything? Jesus. Somehow dodged COVID even while working retail. That is actually pretty impressive, drummer. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at him and his new fucking swagged out drip. Look at this boy. Here he is, my king. What is this? Does he keep a bottle of tears? One week before Christmas. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck me. Russ, Alphano, how fare you both? Not terribly well, judging by your faces. Greetings, Master Garland. I am sure it will come as little surprise when I tell you that we have need of a favor. Look at the oven mitt. <laughs> yeah. Goes all the way up his arm. Another wind barrier. And you say it was conjured by Nidhogg. Hmm. The Enterprise could certainly take you where you need to go. But she would not fare too well against dragons. She's agile for a ship of her size. But not that agile. The Dravanians would fly rings around her. And if they took her into the head's... Uh, if they took it to, into their heads to incinerate the rigging, there would be precious little we could do to avoid them. But there must be something we can do. Some manner of weapon we could employ. Astinian stands vigil at the edge of the churning mists, but we do not know for how much longer. All right, all right, all right. I didn't say it was impossible. I said it was impossible for the Enterprise. We need a smaller boat. He keeps Nero's soul around his neck. Dude, Nero is still around, dude. Nero's just gone to do his own thing for a bit. Um, Biggs, Wedge, it's time we gave that new toy of yours a proper field test. Yes, sir. Look at Wedge. Wedge. It's probably for the best if the lads show you. Come on, the manufactory is not far. Dude, how crazy is it that I started on time today? I can't I can't get behind I can't get my head around like how early it is right now. It's, it's nice. We got so much more stream time left. I should start on time more often. Speak to Biggs outside the Sky Steel Manufactory. Alright. You barely got touched by COVID by the test. I've had uh, the antibodies to like five varieties. That's pretty nice. Yeah, like the the worst thing for me with COVID is the uh, the cough and like my throat, like not being able to sleep because um I have a sore throat and coughing in the night. That's just the worst part for me. Other than that, it wasn't too bad. I just felt a little bit like, uh. but I don't. I definitely didn't get hit by the by the big the big stuff, you know. Great joke, Russ. What did I say? You should start on time at least six more times this year. Oh, I will. 100% I will hit my quota with the six more times. Imagine being on time every stream. All right, let's not get silly, guys. Let's not lose our heads. 
All right. Uh, last time we saw Nero. Yes, yeah, so we did Crystal Tower. We saved him from the Shadow Realm. He was all crystallized and looking cool and shit. And I was like, oh man, he's going to just be a boss. And then he like went normal again. I think I can't remember what exactly what happened, like how he cleared the crystallization thing. And then he was like, I, right, I'm going to head out. And he just wanted to go do his own thing again. So I assume we'll bump into him. Mm -mm. Yeah, he was just chilling. Thank you for the gift, dear tier three. Let's go. Rationation. Tier three gaming, baby. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Fido, thank you for the tier three. Five months as well. Thank you. We are pushing that PP up. That PP plus. Six more PP points for the month, guys. Easy clap. Easy clap. That's a big one. That's a big one. We're at two. Uh, we're probably... Wait, hold. 259 now. We're at 259 out of 350. This is the final Partner Plus month. I'm hella ready. I'm hella ready to stop tracking this. I'm so ready to stop thinking about Partner Plus for, 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 for nine months. I'm so ready for that. PP going up. Big six, sir. Yeah, yeah. Plus six, baby. PP rising. PP standing tall. <laughs> We're getting that Partner Plus. It's happening. We should Airbnb. Uh... Okay, I'm actually down for that. I'd actually be down for um for an Airbnb for sure. For TwitchCon. Because, like, with a, with multiple... Like, if there's a few of us, it will not actually cost that much, I think. I don't know. But it's also fun to, like, be around hotels where there's other people. If you do want to stay out and stuff. So, well, well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But, yeah, if we can get a cheap Airbnb, that would actually be pretty sick. The PP just keeps on growing. Yeah, we're getting the Partner Plus. It's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Someday you want to visit England? Do it for sure. Definitely. It's uh it's nice. I think England is like a nice definitely a nice country to visit on like a holiday for sure. Uh living here, I mean, I like it cuz it's what I know, but I don't think it's generally the best. Is Valley's house like actually in Rotterdam? Cuz surely he could put us up for a couple days. Surely we could stay at Valley's for free, right? Okay, guys, we're, um, I don't mean to alarm you, but we're about to complete another quest. Everyone stay at the same hotel. Yeah, like last time, there was like a ton of people that I kind of went with. Um, like a lot of other WoW streamers at, uh, at the time. And they all stayed in like similar hotel. But like I was I was staying at some shitty hotel miles away. So I had to, I could never like have an after party. Valley Rush, about to. I'm about to. Yeah, I'm about to complete a new quest. Look, there's a little tick marker here, right? Our little project's just inside. Oh, you're going to like this one. Let's have a look then. Mr. Biggs? I refuse to be. Jesus Christ. <laughs> look at me. Feast your eyes upon our latest oh and greatest God. feat of engineering. We call it... A mana cutter. A mana cutter. Jesus, Wedge has a voice. Let's go. Oh, shit. That's more like a mount. After you put down Gaius, Wedge and me struck out on our own for a bit and started work on the successor to the tiny Bronco. The tiny Bronco. Impressive little thing, isn't she? My talent for ship design has plainly rubbed off on them. <laughs> Smug bastard. It's like a mount. Yeah. They've adapted the principles of corrupted crystal technology and constructed a mechanism which converts ether from its surroundings into elemental wind. Said wind is then harnessed by the specially engineered sails, providing the craft with propulsion and lift. That's pretty clever. All a most elegant solution. That's pretty clever. I'm actually a little upset that I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> Poor Chad. It does, however, come with one small flaw. 
one. That's Sir Emmerich's voice for sure. The energy conversion ratio. Same guy. Awful. To generate enough power to get you off the ground, you need to be in an area awash with predominantly wind aspected ether. Ah. In other words, there are a few places you can fly, lots of places you can't. <laughs> Lots of places you can't. The new Guardian airship hasn't left the boys much time for tinkering, meaning it may be a while before this particular project takes off. If you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Oh, here she is! <sighs> Tataru, what's happened? <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. There's been word from Alda. It's about her grace, the Sultana. He's <laughs> a... Tataru, what's happened? <laughs> like, his fucking voice, bro. It seems you're required elsewhere. Leave the mana cutter with us. We'll see that she's airworthy and suitably equipped to slap. Let's do it. Wins. Yeah, I like Tataru's voice. It's nothing like my Tataru. You, meanwhile, should concentrate on providing Raoban and the Sultana whatever help they need. Oh, Raoban. Look at me. Look at me. God. I think you don't understand how much I enjoy being Aura. It's been locked away for so long. New wins, old friends. Haven't a cat girl? I banished her to the Shadow Realm so I could take back my aura. Now go back to Lala. Scatter! Maybe maybe the Lala will come back at some point, you know? Maybe the Wheel of Fantasia will come out at some point. Sussy Russie's swing. My vote is for TwitchCon. <laughs> Whoever is trying to pretend that I have a swing. I do not, okay? Wait, you're enjoying the aura now, Danvar. Nice. Pretend we literally saw it. It is fitness equipment. It's fitness equipment. Right? There ain't nothing. Nothing is swinging on that. Nothing is swinging on that. Okay, look. <sighs> Good way to keep in shape. <sighs> look. Okay. I'll prove it. If there's no seat, how is this allowed on Twitch? It's just exercising, guys. I'm just exercising. You know? Can you do tricep pushdowns? Yeah. Um, yeah, you probably could. Yeah. Streamer, why do you have a naughty swing? I have a fitness equipment. Okay. Can you push your head legs through those holes? I'm not going to do that on stream. Keep going. Band. <laughs> Exercise this. <laughs> Fitness. Fitness. Okay. Okay. God damn. He's swinging. No, I almost did say that. But I was doing workouts, guys. Okay. There's a difference there. Anything can be a swing if you try hard enough. Oh, wow. He's wearing pants. Yes, I don't. Just because I work from home and, and I stream and I play games, I do still wear clothes. Like, like I wear pants. I wear trousers. 
and I wear, you know, stuff on top too. So you guys can't see my nipples. But except for the other day on the cooking stream. <laughs> but that was an accident. That was an accident I didn't realize. <laughs> News flash, rust wears pants. Wait, naked cooking stream? No, but I accidentally had a shirt that was see through. It was a good stream. <laughs> Yo, Black Star, what's up? Yeah, I do have an apron. Maybe I'll wear that next time. Um, work Omega lol. It is work, guys. This is hard work. I have been entertaining you guys all day. Okay. I've been entertaining you guys all day. I've been speaking the whole time, reading chat, cracking amazing jokes. Like I just saw the other, like, you know, five, 10 minutes ago, someone said amazing joke, Russ. Thank you. See, I, I work hard for you guys, you know? Are you not entertained? Exactly. And yet, and yet we've only had one tier three today. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> Kidding. I want my sub money back. Amazing jokes. Well, that's not like in the contract, you know? You have been doing a bang up job. Thank you, Kalazarin. Finally, I have a... See? Nice words. Dance for us. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's the deal here? What's your side of the bargain if I dance? Are you just going to say, Yay! Funny streamer, man. Fine, I'll do it. No, I'm not going to dance for you, okay? I'm not making a TikTok dance live on stream. Onto should take notes. True. True, yeah. We'll clip it and share it. Monkey. <laughs> I know you were being sarcastic. <laughs> More like banging job with that exercise equipment. Look, it is a goddamn uh, multi-gym like strength cables thing that you put on the door frame. I got it in COVID so that I could uh, work out at home, you know, because gyms were closed down and stuff. You cannot swing from it. It would it'd probably break if you swung from it, right? So it's just for like... Like what I do is, is is use it to like uh like uh like work on my chest and stuff, you know? And um and my rear delts to get to get those uh, face pulls in and stuff. And then I have a pull up bar as well, but that's not up at the moment. Looked like you were swinging to me. No, the thing like my arms were swinging cuz I was so strong. That actually felt so light that my arms were just swinging cuz I was just like, wow, this is easy, you know? Recognition at last. <laughs> Work on your rear? No, no, what did I say? My chest. My chest. Alright. It's honestly, guys, it's not any kind of swing, okay? Oh, look at this boy. Look at this goddamn Chad right here. I'll work on your rear. <laughs> God damn it. A general summons. General Oban says he may have uncovered the Sultana's whereabouts. And he wants you. Oh. Well, he, then he can come over, can't he? He can come right over and I'll show him my gym. By which, you, by which I mean both of you. Go to the Waking Sands right away and help with the investigation. Come, Russ. Pressing through Ishgard's plight may be. Our presence here will not serve to hasten the Manakutta's com completion. Let us return to the troubled lands of Thanalan and lend what we aid. What aid we may. Tataru, have our friends at the congregation send a message to Astinian. Tell him we have identified a solution to our problem, but that it will take some time to prepare. Wonder how your sail's doing now. Is she just still stuck at the top of that mountain? As you wish, Master Alphano. To the waking sands, warrior of light. His past time, Alda was delivered from its darkness. All right. Alda quest chain, let's go. Raoban quest chain, let's go. I'm down. I'm ready. I'm absolutely ready. We must pray return. Once again. To the waking sands. Yeah, me and Raban can hit a chess workout together on my multi-gym cables. 
Okay, I'm not sh showing him any swing. The camera's curse has evolved. Wait, what's wrong with it? It looks fine to me. What happened? Ross grabbed uh, his camera, my entire connection. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Bumble. My camera broke Bumble's internet. <laughs> Man, that's rough. That's a rough one. Okay, you know what we haven't heard in a little while here? The Choco Bro music. It's time. It's time. Oh no! Bum 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 bum. Yeah! Please be no fate on the way. I think we missed that one. I think we dodged that one. Yo, Levy, how we doing? Man, I do like these MSQ days when we pump it out, but we take we take like five, ten minute breaks in between to break it up a little bit, talk some random shit, do some exercises. You know, good for your health, your body and everything and the mind and the mind too. 10 minutes. Yeah, that was like 10. TwitchCon one was like 10, 15 to be fair. But that was big news. You know, that was that was Twi that was like news slash semi an announcement maybe because I still need to decide if I'm going to go last or not in that case. <laughs> Man, what are the chances they're on the same fucking day? God damn. Semi an announcement, maybe. Sounds solid. <laughs> well, like, I'll probably go, you know. Oh, hello. My chair. Oh, look. Lala in the lap. I'll look, I'll look after Keecha. How about that? Oh. Uh. Wait, how are you sitting so much further back than me? Maybe this works. Yeah, this this works. Just use the public choker instead of flying. Yes, yes, I did because I wanted to listen to the absolute peppy jam song that comes with it. See pose again. Ah, there we go. There we go. We got it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 10 out of 10. See, pose this. Yo, Jarek. What's up, man? All right. Fine, I will. Fine, I will. Okay. Let's go. Into the waking sands. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, shit. Straight into a cutscene. Thank you for coming. Yeah! Dude, so much Good budget time, today. I trust your recuperation continues apace. So much budget today. I cannot complain. Thanks <laughs> to Higiri and her ministrations, I've regained much of the strength I lost during my imprisonment. Higiri, good job. You, Gary, good job. I gather you have made progress in the search for her grace. Aye, some good fortune at last. A few days past, Dulala informed us that a sizable shipment of alchemical supplies had been delivered to the palace. <sighs> Pippin! With Papa Shan's assistance, I set out to ascertain the source and nature of the shipment. My inquiries led me to Frondale's frontistry. Here's a cute yeah, Lala fell. Order had been placed for a curious substance designed to sustain patients trapped in death-like slumber. An invention of the former head alchemist, apparently. Papa Shan. Like slumber. 
This cannot be a coincidence. It lends some weight to Dulala's claims, aye. Her grace is likely somewhere within the palace, a bed but alive. Before making any attempt to extricate the Sultana, however, it seemed prudent to learn what manner of substance was used to induce her torpor. To that end, I made inquiries as to the whereabouts of the one... That's a good-looking aura. ...to have administered it. The lady in waiting, Meriel. How does she have so many it's scales on her as cheeks? As we learned of her location, all that remains is to apprehend the woman. Hmm. We shall find our cat's paw in the silver bazaar. So magnificent with his remaining arm. Carefully. The market is not the bustling place it once was, and someone is sure to mark our coming. Should they inform the monetarists, we'll have a fight on our hands. We must be prepared for the worst, and being short. You armor, need to well, shut up the fuck up. Don't say you, warrior of light. Don't say that to Robot. Then I pity the bastard that stands in our way. Come, my friend. For <laughs> Nanamo and for Ulda. For Nanamo! Not so much for Ulda. Let's fucking go, boys. For Nanamo! Oh, what a legend. Delpy, thank you for the resub. <laughs> I don't remember that part, yeah. Where, uh, where Roban got told to shut the fuck up. Banana mo! Right, what was that line that we kind of semi missed? Uh, must be prepared for the worst. Oh, there we go. And being short an arm, I thought it wise to take another in its stead. What say you, Warrior of Light? Will you lend me yours? Hell fucking yeah, I will. Hell fucking yeah. Delpy, thank you for the three months prime. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. We now is a raid with the fart noise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Right, Yugiri. What a badass, dude. Yeah, lend him your third arm. Huh? Uh. Well then. Well then. I don't have a third arm. You know? Huh? <laughs> What's wrong with Alda? It's, uh. You know. It's super capitalists. And they're, they're very mean to people. But it looks nice in there, you know? If you can afford to get in. Hello, Ross and Chat Dross Slide. God, that's loud. Lord Calf, thank you for the five months. Thank you. Welcome back. Yo, now the subs are coming in. Now the subs are coming in. Thank you, Lord Calf. Alu, how are we doing today? Um, the older ghetto. Yeah. PP growth is coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we had a bit of the sub subpocalypse. So, uh, I guess people have got their opportunity to, uh, resub Arena now, which is nice. Like, the subpocalypse happened. We went down, uh, 650. But, we're still in a pretty healthy place, so we're, we're chilling. Um, is Lollarito really that bad? think he is i think i mean lolorito played teleji and teleji got fucking rolled so in one way lolorito gets points back for that right i mean the gifts are still in my favor i think i think like i think the pp is okay so i'm i'm still like you know it's fine but yeah by all means once that number gets hit baby let the good times roll to ate absolute shit 100 percent. he got fucking slapped <laughs> lolorito is an upstanding citizen yeah uh yeah uh i don't know i don't know i'm i still i can't remember exactly because it's been quite a bit now it's been like a, a week or two now since we've like touched on lolorito's story i'm i'm struggling to like remember like exactly where i'm at with lolorito and this quest line as far as i know he he got the handmaiden of nanamo to put the poison in the chalice but it was just temporary poison 
So everyone, including Teleji, would think that she was dead. And me. Although I didn't feel her neck for pulse. She was just pronounced dead. But he was pulling all the strings. So, but, but I thought the whole thing with Teleji was something about um, Omega. But now am I like, does that mean Lollarito is wanting to do something with Omega? I'm not sure. Obviously, don't ruin any, anything. Teleji made me bust. <laughs> that is a real quote. That is genuinely a real quote, yes. Yep, yep. Um, does he, though? He's also, he's so sus. Yeah. He's super sus. I mean, he's definitely not a good La Lafell, let's be honest. But I just don't know exactly what his plan is at this, at this current point in time. Every quote is a real quote. Yeah, yeah. The, uh... Um, I think every quote is a real quote in some capacity. Yes, yes. Like, th there's not just made up ones. But some of them I get conned into saying. You know what I mean? Like, chat says something sus. I read it out and they're like, Ah! Look what Russ said! And then it gets quoted. And I'm like, come on, man. But, m but they are all technically real quotes, yes. Yeah, Lolo is evil and smart. True. Got him. <laughs> Classic flaming chat. It's true, I swear. Now, most of the old ones, a hundred percent, are uh, just me being un like uh, absolutely uh, unhinged. I mean, that was a uh, you know, it was the days I, I was a full time streamer. I was a uh, twenty, I don't know, twenty eight years old, single lad. I said some unhinged stuff, okay? It is what it is. It is what it is. Now I have been tamed by both Twitch and myself. <laughs> I was young, dumb, and full of <laughs> God damn it. I'm not saying that one. That one will get that one will get ya. Yeah. Alright, anyway, let's talk to Yagiri. Don't believe him, chat. He's still unhinged. Shh. I'm trying to keep up this facade facade of uh, being a, a nice civilized video game enjoyer. I'm the Final Fantasy uh, Heaven's Angel. Okay? Uh, it's different to Heaven's Ward. I'm the Heaven's Angel. I am fully pure and not unhinged in any way. <sighs> Alright. Our target is Meriel, the Sultana's former lady-in-waiting. A woman of Midlander heritage. I am told the two of you have met. Our sources indicate that she left the palace shortly before the incident and quietly rejoined the dwindling population of the Silver Bazaar. I suggest we be begin by questioning the market's residents and confirm that Mariel is still hiding there. All right. Let's go then. This streamer is not cute and breedable. He is wholesome. Wait, why can't I be both? Can I not be wholesome and cute and breedable? Surely that makes sense. Like, surely that's fine. Wait, where the heck are we going? All right. Pure degen. <laughs> Depends. I guess you can be the purest of degeneracy, right? Okay, guys. It's time for another throwback. I need to go on the boat. Wait, do I? How do I? Ah, down there. <laughs> Seriously though, what happened to the Isle of Val? <laughs> Wait, I can't even talk to these guys. Oh, here we go. He's a skipper. If you like, I can take you to the Silver Bazaar for 40 gil. All right, that seems fair. When's Isle? Gamer tunes. What Isle? The Isle of Val? What's that? 
Dude, imagine they just said that and it's like Dawn Trail content. Literally, you guys don't even know what the Isle of Val is. They've been stalling the Isle of Val for so long. They just drop it. They name drop it at the in post era and they still haven't addressed it. It's like what sword? It's like the whole what sword meme for WoW. Isle of Val. What island? All right. Danielle. Mariel. Aye, she's here. Left the city for good, she says. Barely leaves her house, though. Hmm. It's the one closest to the market entrance. Oh, that was really useful information to get from the first person. Who's Val? Shrewsh. <laughs> Kiki Poo. Oh, what a cute name. And what brings you to our lonely little hamlet? I believe the arrival of your entourage just doubled our population. Looking for Mario, you say? If you're hoping to lure her back to old R, you may as well give up now. The girl is done with city life. Oh, no shit. She she pretended to murder the, the, the literal queen, you know? Well, how is that and how would you get it? The mount is called Shishioji, and I believe it has something to do with... um. Criterions or something. And I think you can buy it on the market board, though. V and C dungeon. Whatever that means. Yes. Tiger Mount comes from the second Criterion dungeon. There you go. So I guess it's like farmable in some capacity. Um, Tigeras put the island there. This infinite planning. <laughs> Dude, imagine. He's sinking into the next game. He got killed off in Legion. They were like, alright, let's put the Isle of Valen. How is that a throwback? Because I used to... All, all the time when we would go... Like... When we would go from... Uh, uh, is it called Horizon? We'd go from Horizon... Over to the... To the Vespa Bay. We would ride Shishioji and we would ride Gem. You know? And I just feel like it doesn't shuffle on as much because I have more mounts these days, right? So before, I would just always play either the Chocobo or the Shishioji when I felt like we were gaming it up. But now we have a we have a bunch of different mount theme songs to choose from. So Shishioji gets played less. That's why it's a throwback, in my opinion. All right, Spotted Meadow. Do I know any returning residents? Gods, don't tell me they're starting to come back. My masters will not be pleased to hear this. Search for Muriel. Alright, well, I, I mean, they said uh, it's the first house. So I guess this one. I mean, there's literally one house. <laughs> oh, it could be that one over there. Okay, let's go this one. Hello? Oh, there you go. Hey! Who is this fine young lady? Oh, dude, now I have to do goodbye because it's actually such a good wave on Aura. Hina is here. Plus one Lala fell to the gang. So cute! Let's give it our best shot. Hina means business. 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 Look at that. Hoorah. Reaper gang. Comfy. True. Cozy. Good emote. Chocobos aren't real. They syndicate spies upon uh, on us with them. Chocobos are cute and real. It's all in your head. I've got you cornered. Surely there's more budget today. You are Meriel, the Sultana's former lady-in-waiting? 
We had so much budget today. Uh oh, she's fucked. I am no one of that name. Pray excuse me. Bye bye. She just starts sprinting out the door. <laughs> Look at her. Oh shit. General Alden. Back in Missy. Oh, dude, six v one. Uh, I did nothing. <laughs> we will have the truth from you, girl. Oh, dude, this is like some Game of Thrones shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Mayhap it would be better coming from me. Ooh. Lollarito, you best talk fast. As you know, Telegi Adelegi's Cartano reclamation bill was no more than a facade. A means to get his grubby little hands on that Alagan monstrosity Omega. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. When he learned of Nanamo's intention to abdicate, however, he was forced to amend his plans. Suddenly, assassination seemed the most promising way to further his ambitions. I am told Teleji had discovered a maid in whose veins ran the blood of House Thorn. A new, more pliable puppet to sit the throne. Twould have caused an uproar, of course, but few could have contested her claim. Hmm. Maiden. Twas plain that Teleji's wild machinations had outgrown our ability to control them. So I decided to usurp his scheme. And left the fool to seal his own demise. <laughs> you crafty bastard. And what of Nanamo? Oh, I have no desire to Truge. harm her grace. Twould profit me little to destabilize our government. Thus did I employ young Mariel here to administer a potent sleeping potion in place of a poison. At least he's coming clean. You should know, General, that your dear friend Ilbert was fully aware of my plan. Prick! I had him and... lie about the assassination as a means to prime your rage against Teleji. We weren't entirely sure how you would react, but things went wrong. <laughs> he got played. <gasps> but now he lost his arm, man. I mean, he did fuck Teleji up, but. You conniving little worm. You had your claws in the Crystal Braves before their first recruit had sworn to serve. Damn. Uh, but look of up. course, when a new game begins, it is only prudent to have a piece on the board. Ilbert was mine. Truth be told, a significant proportion of the Braves' initial endowment was also mine. With such large sums moving about, it was a rather trifling matter to disguise my own contribution. Hmm. What a prick. Ah, Ilbert. I secured <laughs> his services with a promise to support his cause once my authority had been solidified. I swear, the man thinks of naught but prizing Alamigo from the grasp of the Empire. He is very focused on that, isn't he? Unlike you, General, the poor fellow seems quite unable to forsake the land of his forefathers. Mayhap, that's why he called you a traitor to your people and a disgrace to your homeland, amongst other things. What was it he always compared you to? Uh, oh, yes, an overgrown lapdog begging for scraps at the Sultana's table. <laughs> oh, <how we> <laughs> I do like I do like Lollarito a little bit though. Birds entertaining little outbursts eventually gave way to wearisome tirades, and the zealous brute became rather unruly. I had 
no wish to see you executed, you understand? But he would not take no for an answer. Rest assured, his employment with me has long since ended. Oh, right, he's gone. Which brings us neatly to the present. What say you, General? Both you and the Sultana are alive. We have one corpse and one fugitive. And preparations have been made to restore your good name. Shall we cry quits and start again with a blank ledger? Hmm? The hells we will! Do you honestly expect <laughs> me to forgive and forget? After all you've done... He tried it. You're guilty of high treason! He tried it. Stay your blade, Master Alden. Dude, I'm actually just you goes down the middle innocent. with Lollarito. You've forgotten your own crime in executing Teleggi Adeleggi without trial. <laughs> Though you acted out of loyalty to the Sultana, it's all such it off. deeds are in violation of both the word and spirit of the law. Just straight up execute him. If you would, Lord Lollarito. Just chop Lollarito down the middle. Teleji horizontally. What's this? What's this up, Jampa? This potion will wake the Sultana from her slumber. Consider it a gesture of conciliation. Oh, she's still asleep. You will find her grace resting comfortably within her private chambers. Should you doubt my word... I shall willingly Induced coma. you to the palace as your hostage. She's begging it. Yeah, she's been begging it for ages. I like not your motives, Lollarito. But you saved the Sultana's life, and for that, you have my gratitude. She's been begging it for ages, man. She's stolen, yeah. Rauban Aldin. You are hereby reinstated as General of the Immortal Flames. The citizens of Uldar shall once to do that? more be united under Nanamo Ulnamo. Who is she? And together we shall usher in a new age of prosperity. Who is this Lala and why does she have so much power? All these Lala Fells, man. Not so fast, Meryl. When are they going to get kneecaps? Damn, that was a good cutscene, that one. I'm in charge. <laughs> That was a good cutscene, that one. Yeah, Lollarito is quite good. He's quite a good character. Like, yeah, he's a little shit, but in like a funny way, you know? Yeah, let's pretend this never happened. Sorry about your arm, though. Yeah. You're now the general again. Teleji's dead. You get off with Teleji being killed, but you lost your arm. Oh shit in a funny way. Classic Lala, yeah. The smaller you are, the more power you hold. It does seem that way a little bit. <laughs> he is a smug little shit. He's he's great. I'm really enjoying I really enjoyed him there. Before I was like, oh what a dick. But right then, he went up in my tier list for sure, right there. Was it by the way, uh Graith and uh Jampot, welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in, new people, welcome. We're MSQing it up. Today's been a nice little day so far. That's why I'm all powerful. Save Nanamo still a pretty yeah, he was he was like, you have my gratitude, you know? So we at least did uh acknowledge it. 
Holy MSQ prog. I know, it's going. It's going today. Be smart about it and oh so smug, yeah. He grows on you like fungus. I mean, already he kind of grew on me just from that little cutscene now. He definitely went up from... Where did I rank him? I think I ranked him at like B. He definitely went A tier now. Or like like high B. I don't remember where I put him in my tier list. But he definitely just moved up. Because he's like pulling some strings. He's pretty smug about it. He made some jokes. She's part of the syndicate. So is the syndicate... Are they like the guards for the for like the royalty in older? Uh, what what is the syndicate? Small Illuminati. Are they all Alavels? The real rulers? Yeah, they're like the they're like the money. They're like the investors of older, right? They're like the high up uh, shareholders. Bunch of richest people. Yeah, and Raban. Right. Oh, he's also in the syndicate. Okay. This is FF. Yes, this is indeed. Who is Dulala? And then having to hold my tongue on that one. Yeah, because like, uh, well, we saw her in the Waking Sands, but she got introduced there. That's only the second time we've seen Dulala, right? But I think so, at least. But yeah, it didn't really explain too much, so. I think he's rich due to the gladiator winnings. Oh, wait, really? So he won a bunch of money fighting? That's pretty cool backstory for Raban. If, if, as if we didn't already know he was a massive uh, Giga Chad. Want to do an explanation for dummies? Yeah, what's up, Inca? Um, I mean... <sighs> There's so there's so much to go through, like in regards to the law. But yeah, we're playing Final Fantasy XIV. It's an MMO, much like uh, much like WoW. And uh, right now we're doing some questing. We're essentially leveling up, but it's a ton of story. So like, the leveling process is like an entirely different game to like the MMO side of it, right? Like the leveling, it's like having a story game, like a single player story game, and then it's also like an MMO, right? So right now we're doing some story stuff. And it's like we just we're just passively leveling up as we go. But that's more of like the afterthought. It's not like we're questing to like because we're rushing up to max level. We're just doing quests to, to do story stuff and like have some cool experiences and stuff. And then we're just getting XP along the way. Ooh, look at these little look at these little lalas. By the twelve, I feared Lord Lolarito's arrival would herald another bloodbath. Little did I suspect that he of all people would gift us the means to rouse the Sultana. Yep. Yep. We're going to go up and wake up Nanamo. Last you played was seven. Honestly, give it a go. Uh, I highly recommend this game. Yeah. Uh, like, um, like I remember you from uh, my WoW streams, Inca. I, I quit retail WoW. I'm having much more fun in FF, so I recommend it. If you're looking for something to play. Don't be fooled by their cuteness. They probably run in run the black market. Yeah. Dude, what can't Lala Fells do? I honestly I honestly don't know like what Lala's are not capable of at this point. Yeah, and you can play the free trial up to level 70 as well, so you don't even have to drop money on it. Got kids now. Damn, congrats. Good shit, good shit. Hope that's all going well. Reach the top shelf. <laughs> Madge. <laughs> True. Where's Mini Itty Bitty? That's why Mini has to have at least one mum around at all times. It's great for parents. Very casual. Yeah, I actually agree with that. Yeah, if you're looking for a game to get invested in, Inca, um, and you don't have too much time, like on WoW, maybe you'd be falling behind. Like, the thing with WoW is you always... Every all the time you're not logged in, you feel like you're falling behind, right? That's just that's just not really the same on FF. So it's a really good game for like pick up and put down and pick up and put down whenever you have time. So I do recommend it on multiple levels. Awakening in Alda. Oh, we're gonna go wake her up now. Alvano would like to see this dark chapter in Alda's history brought to a close. 
Shall we make our way to Olda? I should imagine Bartholomew has been instructed to admit, admit us. Bartholomew can confirm as a parent. There you go. But we have multiple parents in the chat. We actually have a... Pr I think we actually have like a really diverse chat in this stream. Oh, we've got... We've got some Zoomers. Zoom, zoom, zooming about. We've got some... Uh, We've got some people uh, my age and like 25 as well. And then we've got like a, a bunch of uh, parents, married couples and things. Yeah, we got a pretty diverse chat going on, I reckon. It's nice. It means we can have like good discussions of a bunch of stuff. Right, uh, let's see. Where am I going then? Sid aged people. <laughs> Gen Xer. Russ is at 576 hours and isn't out of the free trial. Yeah, but, okay. But, like, how long do you think someone could get to the point I'm at? Maybe in, like, 50 hours. One thing we do have in common. True apple pie. One thing we all have in common, chat. Well, you guys at least. You're all a bunch of cuties. Yep. Yep. All a bunch of cuties. To all the... Boop. Cat kiss. I'm just a little fella. <laughs> I'm just a little fella over here. Ooh, good tune to come into here. <laughs> Why are you sludge piano? This surely is a sludge happy piano. <laughs> surely I know my way around Alda by now. All right, I do not know my way around. <laughs> All right. Damn it. <laughs> Where am I trying to go here? Damn, I really thought I got something there. Hint teleport? Yeah, I know. But sometimes I like to walk around, you know? Surely through here. Surely we're making it this time. Classic Pugilists Guild. Kamolman. Oh, hello. <gasps> you shouldn't be here. If they find you, I'll, they'll arrest you. Look, I didn't see you, all right? Okay. Shh, 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 shh. All right, where are we going? Okay, I know, I know. It's left, in the lift. It's up here. There we go. I'm learning. Here we go, we made it. This is just another way to stall. No, it's immersive. It's like immersive. I'm running around the city. I'm enjoying the vibe, you know? It's not just stalling for the sake of it. I'm chilling. I'm having a good time. Easy third try, baby. Volps. The Queen's Guard. Queen's God. I have returned as an aura. We get wiggles. We get wiggles for that. Yeah, it's immersive stalling. Yeah, that is a bit of a gamer glam. That's a nice glam. Is that the PvP one? That's a, that's a hella nice one. Ops has been pumping out PvP. 
What clock? What what job do you do PVP as? Uh... Oops. Nathaniel man. Wans Wiggles. <laughs> I think you're a samurai boy in PVP, right? Samurai enjoyer. Oh, DK. Nice. Mm -mm. At least in Balmung, it would be all kinds of busy. Yeah, we'll go to Balmung one day. One day we shall. It got nerfed today. Wait, Dark Knight got nerfed in PvP? Huh. Flame General Robban mentioned you might be coming. Please. This way, if you will. Hold. More voice acting. No way that but there's this much budget today. That's crazy. It's gonna be the waking of Nanamo. Oh look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Can see her breathing. Administer the potion. Sleeping cutie. I didn't want to animate him like going <laughs> with the potion. Please wake up. Let's <sighs> sleep. <sighs> She's alive. Yay. Today's been a good day of background music. I was having the longest dream. Yippee. Eepy girl in a wakey world. <laughs> Time to wake up, your grace. Another day begins in Thunderland, and the sun blazes bright upon the sands. Yes. Where's your arm? Oh, she's gonna be like, where the fuck is your arm? <laughs> she's been asleep this whole time. <gasps> yeah. Why is Teleji in two pieces downstairs? Oh, there's two Lala. Pippin! And I'm at the table now. Here she comes. Wait, her where... grace is awoken. The palace physician assures me she's none the worse for her slumber. Let's go. Dude, imagine having to sleep that long. How good you'd feel. Look how happy I am! It's me in real life. Pimpin. <laughs> I believe her grace will soon resume her plans to place the government of Uldar into the hands of its citizens. She's still going to abolish Whatever the monarchy. she chooses to take, I shall walk it with her. And we shall tread slowly, lest the nation be unsettled in our wake. Hmph. <laughs> Her grace's compassion is a shining beacon to us all. But what our city truly thrives upon is competition. Tis in the struggle against our rivals that opportunities are seized and fortunes made. And with the Empire on the offensive once more, now would hardly seem the time to turn our system of government upon its head. Ooh, what's all this then, huh? Are you privy to new intelligence, my lord? Music stops. I would hardly call it new. Remind me, what was the name of that enormous Imperial warship which met its end in Mordona? Oh, wait, I have it. The Agrius. Yes, well, it would appear that the Galeans have been hard at work on another such vessel. Stop the music, Lolorito's talking. How close are they to completing this? And the happiness. Is it operational? Oh god, Pippin. Its maiden flight was a success, I hear. 
I should imagine Emperor Varus is eager to see how it performs in battle. Rock row. My lords and ladies, I move that it is time to repair the damage caused by Telegi Adelegi and prepare our great nation to repel the Empire once more. Hmm. Back to Empire Slaying it is then. Flipping close up. <laughs> this is operational. Well then. It is well that the Sultana has awoken. The Syndicate yet needs to put its house in order, but would seem the worst of the confusion has passed. Uldar has taken control of its future, and I must do the same. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to fuck up this time? Huh? That belly, I dude. have decided to disband the Crystal Braves. Okay. Among the recruits, That's a good call. There were those who supported our order's goals and convictions with all sincerity. It is my hope that these loyal men and women will choose to remain our allies in the battles to come. That's a good call, uh, As Alfie. for those who sided with the traitor, Ilbird, they shall be hunted down and held to account for their crimes. It is my earnest hope that they will surrender themselves peaceably when the time comes, though I think it unlikely. Gotta kill them. Oh, oh, can we go Hitman? Conquering Crystal Braves. The model army meant to pave the way for a single unified grand company of Eorzea. That so high an ideal should be brought so low. That's life. I need not tell you how deeply the betrayal stung me. Yet I see now that it was mine own naivety and pride which allowed the Braves to fall prey to corruption. Imagine thinking everyone can get on. As ever, how arrogant it is to your own shining example that I turn for inspiration. Like you, I mean to stand firm in the face of hardship and give mine all for the cause. Let us resume the search for our missing comrades. That we God, I look good. Together to shine the light of dawn across the realm once more. The role of Crystal Brave Commander suited me ill. And I shall play it no longer. Henceforth, I shall be no more or less than Alfino, proud member of the Scions. Alfino. I mean, that, that fits him better. He is no commander of a of a apparent army of all nations working together. There's no way he was ever right for that role. He can't be the commander. He could be like a uh, you know. He can be a director. Speak with Alphano. Alright then. Once more, we go again. I blush to speak thus of mine inner turmoil. But the fact remains, there is no woman alive in whom I would rather confide. Were it not for your shining example, I might never have emerged from beneath the pall of my despair. Just another day as Russ just stolen. It is what it is. The trustworthy. Oh, look at my earrings. They look pretty good. Look at that gold. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we continue. Dude, it's crazy starting stream early. I have so much, like, I'm like, this would be a good point to end the stream. But it's not even been like a full stream time. So we got more time to do more stuff. It's crazy. It's nuts. Or like, it's not just starting early. It's like that we didn't do like two hours and a half in the guild, you know? Pog. <laughs> My friend started uh, the game a month ago and she's almost caught up to rust. Look, Hazard. It's not a race, okay? It is not a race, right? Don't XFFing that. I right? ain't no race. I'm enjoying my time. Hopefully, she's also enjoying her time. Hopefully, equally, or if not more, you know? Rip plates. Plates died for this. 
Don't worry, plates will be back, guys. <laughs> Don't you worry, plates will be back. Plates will be back. Stormblood 2024 looking possible. Look, Stormblood 2024 was always going to happen. I am a giga pumper of the MSQ kind, you know? Time, man. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> it's not a race, but you already lost it. What? There's no need for that. So many slices missed. You mean like slices right? Is it gold saucer time? I did check the new weapons. Yeah, I even did react. I did react. We went to the guild. I opened a couple plates, but not all. Gate is up. Hold. <laughs> yeah, the new weapons were nice, actually. I'll probably just chuck that one up on YouTube. It should be super quick to, to make. More react. Right, give me give me something to react to. Let's see. Let's see. What have I got in this channel here? Kuma Chama is born. <laughs> Man mode. Looks so funny with the cat ears on his bald head. <laughs> it's like it looks like a beanie or something. I don't know. Oh, bat ears. Sorry, bat ears. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lamal. He doesn't even remember. Yeah, that was good though. Dude, one day that'll be me going, saying saying those things. You guys will one day pressure me into doing that, won't you? Please don't. Please don't make me do that. I already did a meow for you guys. That was bad enough. I will laugh. <laughs> All right. I won't. All right, good. So we have one that will laugh, one that won't laugh, another that will laugh. Say nya into the microphone. You think you think I'm stupid? You need cat or bunny ears first. Speaking of which, we still need to do the cosplay. You guys need to decide on a cosplay for me. And if I have time to arrange it before the subathon, if, if that's going ahead, which let's let's be real. Hopefully we're getting the partner plus, right, guys? Uh or I might do it as like part of part like just do it on the subathon, right? I still owe you guys that though. A Volps cosplay. Dude, I can't get a whole set of armor. You know? Make you serve in the maid cafe. Catboy maid. Yeah, it looks like Catboy maid is looking. Ritteran loincloth cosplay. <laughs> yeah, it's looking more like it's going to be a Catboy slash Bunboy kind of situation. Potentially in a maid dress, you know. Aura horns. Dude, I would look great with aura horns. I would look great with aura horns, you know. What is that? Please don't or please don't winky face. No, that was like a straight up pure. Please don't make me say the that word into the mic, you know. You know how it is. Uh, this catboy made talk made me stand up and SMH. <laughs> Why do you need to stand up to shake your head? Aura horns and a see-through shirt cosplay. Like this? Something like something like like this? Could wear this armor, huh? Get a see-through belly belly part of some kind of costume. You know what? I'm not doing that, okay guys. I, I don't have the belly for that. I don't have abs. I don't have a flat stomach. You know? 
You already did. Yeah, but I didn't like do it in a in a voice, right? I, I said meow one time. But I don't think I wait, did I did I do the nya thing? That feeling when no rust tummy. Sorry guys. Could do a backflip. I mean I could, but I only do those on ad breaks. So any non-subs in the chat, you know what to do when the ads come. It's time to sub at tier one for the partner plus. Or you can upgrade and go for tier three. That would help out. That would help out. That would mean that we hit that quicker. And then the gifters can unleash can unleash their load. You know? Once we hit that partner plus, all the gifters. Which is basically every person here right now is going to give five subs, aren't you? Yep. Huh? <laughs> as soon as I figure out how to upgrade. Oh. Uh, wait, how do you upgrade? I think you just click like below the stream where there's a subscribe button. You can, uh, you can, um, click it and it will like say to manage your subscription or something. And then you can choose what plan you would like. Aether aerobics on the hour. Back my PC insisted on firmware. What did you miss? Uh, yeah, we just chatted some shit. We were just chatting. We watched. We watched a little video. Yeah, manage your sub. But if you're too far ahead, it won't let you. Oh, is it? Is that how it does it? Can't do it on the phone app. All right. If you're on PC, then Amatoria. Yeah, because I can do it on my own stream apparently, or at least the button is there, right? Down here somewhere. Uh, manage your sub here, right? So I guess you can like. My sub anniversary is in 27 days. Enjoy free lifetime subs to your own channel. You've been a subscriber for 71 months. So apparently that's how long I've had my sub button, I guess. There you go. I've been streaking for two months. Streaking for two months. Time to put some clothes on, mutant. Time to put some clothes on. Thank you for that. Thank you for the... Uh, Thank you for those two months, though. Appreciate it. PP oil. PP oil. We do have the PP oil. We're going. We're going with only resubs and subs this week. It seems. Yeah, we've got. We got a lot. We got a lot going. We're gonna hit it. Surely we hit it this week. To get from Twitch to you to be subbed. Yeah, like they're like enjoy free lifetime subs. Oh, you can. I can use my own emotes. Am I allowed to use my own emotes? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um. Maybe. Did you or oh, did you do a multi month amatoria? In which case, yeah, it might not let you for a while. I can't remember. Did you do a six month in advance one, potentially? Yeah, you did, yeah. Then it probably won't let you for a while. But that's okay. That's okay. You're all good. Alright. Alfie. He would like to know how things stand at the rising stones. Ooh, we're gonna go see Thankred. Hmm. Still no word from Master Garland. I hope this mana cutter of theirs is nearing completion. We did quite a lot as a little side bit. It like went off. Yugeri, I am assured that her grace will make a full recovery. Aye. And Older too. Shall flourish once more. General Robban and his colleagues have matters well in hand, I believe. Lady Yugiri, a question if I may. I believe your people have been keeping a close watch on the Crystal Braves. Might you know how things stand at the Rising Stones? Ah, yes, of course. You will be pleased to know that the third unit Braves abandoned Revenant's Toll when they learned of Captain Ilbert's defeat. The only blue uniforms to be seen here, there now, are those worn by soldiers loyal to you, Master Elphenome. Ah, yeah, it was just one unit, wasn't it? Um, I was thinking, like, there was that guard that we walked past who was like, shh, get out of here. I'll have to arrest you, right? But, like, we're walking through the town as refugees and the Crystal Braves are still about. They haven't been disbanded. But I guess if Ilbert's gone and those guys, then... Yeah, it's, it's kind of okay. It's kind of nice that Ilbert is still going to be a villain that's kind of out there. We have to encounter again. To me, I see... I am grateful to hear that at least some of our members were true to their oaths. Ere we return to Ishgard, I must go to the Rising Stones and thank these stalwarts for their service. It shall be my final act as Crystal Brave Commander. Will you join me, Russ? You were there at the company's inception. It is only fitting that you'd be present at its end. 
and I would appreciate the support. Okay. Ilbert. Good guy Twitch, laying off a thousand employees. Yeah, but we can still use emojis. Oh, I'm still allowed to use my own emojis in my own channel. Thanks. Thanks, Twitch. Legendary. Right, we gotta go to the Rising Stones, baby. It's time. Savages, get ready on the piano. I bet he's waiting on the Isle of Val. <laughs> Come on. We don't talk about the Isle of Val. Wait, where the... Dude, I haven't been here in so long, I'm getting disoriented. Here we are. Back of the old faithful. Blow zone. What's this? Simply to die for. Hmm. Wait, sing me another song. Hmm. Do 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 do. Here we are. C Commander, you're alive. Oh, dude. What's that guy called? Raul. Riol. Yeah, close. And Rust too. I, I thought they were talking about me, to be fair. And Rust too. I knew you'd scrape through. Are we going to get huggies? My splendid crystal braves, I have wronged you, all of you. My promises of glory and salvation have brought you naught but blood and betrayal. Bah! You're not hearing us complaining. T'was a sight messier than expected, aye. But we was fighting for freedom of all, just like we swore. Ain't that right, mates? Aye! You humbled me. I am truly blessed to have such steadfast comrades. It is with the most profound regret that I must... That's enough of that, Commander. We know you've a mind, uh, what you've a mind to say, and we ain't having none of it. We've talked it over, you see, and we are all agreed. We can take our uniforms. You can take your uniforms and strip us of our ranks, but we won't be no less of a company. Ah, shit. But the Crystal Braves. The Crystal Braves may be finished, but the ideals upon which the company was founded live on. They bind us to each other and to you. Commander, Alphano. Our minds are made up, so you may as well get used to it. Let us help the silence. Let us help you find Minfilia and the others. Do that. Th this whole time, what the hell have the Scions been doing? I I almost forgot about them. <laughs> I thought about them for the first time like earlier when I was like, huh, because like we we're talking about Nanamo and stuff. I was like, oh yeah, the Scions. But I didn't say anything. I was just kind of thinking it. It's been quite a long time. I don't know if it's like in game time. Probably hasn't been that long. But in Rust time, it's been a, it's been a few like it's been like a month now. They've just been missing for like a month now. My friends, after all that's happened, I know not what to say. Who? Missing? The Scions? Oh, he's going to cry. Oh, he's fine. Yay. They kind of died. There's no way. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. I hope Minfilia did though. All right, but anyway... Oh, yeah, right. So we can't even go see Thancred because he's not here. Oh, 
I was really hoping there was going to be like an Easter egg in here. Scions? Isles? Ilbert? Who knows? Who knows? Dude, there's so much going on in the world right now. Pray, excuse me. <clears throat> I just had to have a sniff. I thought my tears spent. My grandfather used to say that one could measure a man by the con constancy of his comrades. Mayhap I am the exception which proves the rule. Nay, do not protest. I know that I am not worthy of their loyalty, Russ. But as Thaliak is my witness, I shall do everything in my power to earn it. Back from Fuge. You joined at a good time. We were just uh, getting sniffed by Alfie, apparently. I hope food, Fuge was good. Ugh. Vows on Ilbert of Scion. All right, now that's too confusing for my little brain. Riol is the new Thancred. Riol is the better Thancred. Just an Easter cabbage. Come on, too soon. Come on, man. Too soon. Alpha Noah's maths to attend at the Rising Stones. I must speak of future plans with the remaining Braves. Any information we uncover on the missing Scions will need to be shared with our allies across the realm. Specifically, Urion J in the Waking Sands and Tataru in Ishgard. While we are organizing our various channels of communication, I would ask that you call upon Master Garland at the Manufactory. I will join you in Ishgard as soon as I am able. Ooh, sausage and egg McMuffins. That sounds banger. That sounds good. Oh no. I've run out of uh, my pork schnitzel and pipo popotos au gratin. Yesterday was the last day. It was good though. I ate it for four days in a row. Ooh, baby. baby it was good new cooking stream tragic don't worry i've got chicken i'm gonna make some chicken and i'm gonna make some rice and then i'm gonna eat some skeeters barbecue sauce i'm gonna top it with some skeeters i don't know why it's called that but it tastes pretty good coming up gangbusters yeah it's been good i've still got the uh i've still got cookies left I've been eating like two a day, sometimes three, and I, and and I've been giving them to people. I've been sharing them with my girlfriend. She's been giving them to her friends, and I still have more left. I it made so many freaking cookies. Hot half. Oh, did you make some? Did you make some at the the weekend, uh, Mari? Or did you make some when I was making them? Skeeter's sauce. Yeah, honestly, it's good barbecue sauce. She's had 10. <laughs> yeah, did they come out well then, Mari, when you did them? They're really good. They're really good. Mine mine were like a bit like thick. I think I think I need to make the batter, the cookie dough, dough, I guess, a little bit thinner next time. Like just a little bit thinner so they spread a bit more, I reckon. FF starts in a black screen. Before I go for a little sicky nappy wappy, do you want to play some Lethal Company? I could play some Lethal Company tonight, yeah. What sort of time? Needs more butter. There was so much butter in there. There was so much butter. I think there was a whole pack of butter was in those cookies. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure, Fosspin. I haven't had that. I haven't had that before. Okay, we'll do it, Phantasm. We'll do it a little bit later. I'm down. Cookies use a lot of butter. Yeah, yeah. They they were like mostly butter, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of flour, or quite a lot of flour to be fair. Uh, and then a bunch of chocolate chips, but they came out good. Like, look at these. Where is it? Food section. I mean. For a first try, these are the first cookies I've ever made. I can't believe I've never made cookies. But they came out pretty good.
They were very tasty. I just wish they'd spread a little bit more. I'd eat them. Yeah, they are good. They are good. I go nap now. Uh, use my dulcet tones. All right. Enjoy. I will speak nice and slowly into the mic like this. Get lazy and eat the dough. Yeah, I can't be bothered to wait. Because, like, they took 15 minutes or so in the oven. Mine spread too much. Wait, really? So we yours quite thin? Because mine were just lumps in the end. I wonder what the difference was. Did you do brown butter or did you just do it like it's... Did you do it like exactly how it said in the in the recipe book? Because I changed the recipe a little bit, didn't I? Maybe it's a... How about a laptop desktop? Oh, you tried reinstalling. Oh, rough. The raw flour can get you sick. Don't uh do be careful eating raw dough. Wait, really? Can flour make you sick? That's pr I put raw flour in everything, but I suppose like like I put that in stews, in sauces. I guess then it's had heat applied to it, right? But So I guess that's just enough to cook it. That it doesn't make you sick. That's not raw. But yeah, mm, I guess. Doesn't feel like it's like been cooked through, but I guess it just cooks quick then. Without being cooked down could be bad. Huh. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. So wait, why do people eat cookie dough then? Like, why is that even a thing? I don't know, for some reason I thought it's still raw if it hasn't had like quite a lot of time in heat, but I guess... I guess that doesn't make sense. Because I like it. Because it's fucking delicious. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, does it does it actually, like, you tend to make people sick? Or it's just like, it can. Just like, eating raw eggs can make you sick. But if the eggs are pretty fresh, then I think it's quite low chance, right? You can make it safe. Oh, okay. How, does it, how do you make it safe? Good for the soul, baby. You know what? I might get a cookie. I'm going to get a cookie. Have to be a lot higher. Right. So like eating a pound, like eating a kilo, like an entire pack of flour with a spoon, probably not the best. I feel like I would suffocate before I ate enough flour that it would be like tummy aches, you know? Now I want a cookie. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one. They're definitely like, they're not fresh anymore though. So I need to eat them pretty quick, I reckon. Dent? No way. I do need to fix the back of my hair though. I cut it myself like last week or something. So like you can see the sides are quite short now. And I don't, it's not too bad like going, going here to here. But this part is really difficult to cut. Like this little tough D patch back here, you know. Dent have a look. It's more it's more like there's no dent, it's just a bit scuffed here. But hey. Luckily my headphones hide it. Dent have a. What is our favorite sprout doing? What's up, Falk? We are uh, we are actually doing MSQ today, pretty much entirely. Yeah. Headphone hair. Yeah. There's the cookie, guys. It's a bit misshapen. I think next time I'll make them into like very rough. I've rather put them into balls before I put them in the fridge. Or I will um, put them into like very rough circles so they spread a little bit. 
Five hours straight MSQ, no stalling. Well, I probably wouldn't agree to no stalling, but we have pretty much just been doing MSQ. Yeah. And like chatting like this every now and then. Dench, I cut my own hair. I mean, I, I have the last two times I cut my own hair. Because I'm in this like state of mind at the moment where I'm not sure if I want to grow my hair or I want to cut it. Short hair is just way easier. I kind of want to grow my hair so I can like put it back in like a ponytail or something. Or not like a like a top knot. Or, well, not like a top knot, but like a back knot. I guess that's a ponytail, right? Like a bun at the back or something. But have it short on the sides. I'm not sure yet. But like, uh, short hair is just so much easier, dude. Like, you just be like, wash it. Takes like no shampoo, and then you just go like, and it's done. It's so easy. I also cut my own hair because I am bald. Honestly, being bald sounds hella easy though. Like, I have hair because I prefer it, I suppose. But like, if it, shaving shaving my head, I actually thought about like maybe putting a shave. That's like, I need to decide before the subathon if I want to grow my hair or not. Because I thought about maybe putting a shave head sub goal on that subathon. I'm not sure yet. But like, having a shaved head is hella easy though. What's up, Ridder? I know how are we doing, devious. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really cozy today. I got a new jacket, new little coat. So I uh, thought I put that on. Inside coat. It's my inside coat, and it's very comfy and warm. Pause, champ. <laughs> Everyone in my life says I have to be mad. Yeah, I have hair because I don't know. Makes me look taller. <laughs> Syntax. Just take inspiration from some of the XOV hair so I was trying to mimic it. I I actually think bold bold with like a beard though looks hella cool. Like if I could grow a good beard. Like I feel like a lot of people who go bold or like a balding usually have really good beard beard genetics as well. So like you can just pull off like a nice beard and it looks it looks kind of cool. Yeah, like Zeno, right? Heisenberg. Yeah, I mean, however you want to have your beard, like a goatee. My dad has that. My dad actually has Heisenberg hair. That, well, it's not shaved down to the skin. But he does. Actually, I'm not sure anymore. What does my dad have? I think he does. He has. A, I think he has a goatee. And then he, he shaves his head, but it's like, but it's like got a little bit of hair, right? Like, cause it's very thin on top now. Um, but he still like fades it on the sides and stuff. Like, it's not like, it's not like razor to skin bald. What does my dad look like? Well, I, I'm just trying to think if he has like a, I think he might have, have a full beard now. But there was a point where he, he would shave it into like a goatee, right? Like that. But I think, I think right now, I'm going to check. I think he might have a, uh, a full beard now. Let's see here. Um, hold. Yeah, he has a full beard at the moment. Yeah. What a cutie. <laughs> Dad check. <laughs> but yeah, he has a full beard and a very short amount of hair on top. How's he doing? He's doing well. He's doing well. Him and my mum are uh, touring America at the moment. In a camper van. Cool dad look. Yeah. Everyone really enjoys my dad. Like all my friends, everyone I know in real life, they really enjoy my dad. We used to find him giga cringe, obviously, because he was really embarrassing when we were kids. But 
I suppose like as far as people go, he's like he's just like a very outgoing chatty guy. And, like he would always crack jokes and stuff, which we always thought was like really awkward and like embarrassing when we were kids. But like now when when we're adults, like we're just like, well, he like everyone gets along with him and likes him, so that's like a pretty nice personality trait, isn't it? Yes, yeah, sludge happy dad jokes. <laughs> Plot twist, Russ is a clone of his father. In a couple years, the father's soul will take... What the heck? That's pretty crazy. I do look I do look a lot like my dad, though, interestingly. He is the one who knocks. Yeah, he has a full beard at the moment, though. But he did rock the Heisenberg for a good amount of time. It was an enjoyable... He did look good in it. Like, he rocked it well. Got my hair from my mother's side. He's been balding since, yeah. Honestly, like, to be fair, my dad had hair until he was like 60. But now it's started to dwindle away in the last in the last years. Um, so I'll probably have my hair for a good amount of years. Like I actually have like quite good hair, I think. Like it's it's quite th it's quite thick, but it's very fine, you know. So it'll probably last me a while, like uh. My dad's hair went quite thin, but it stayed. Like, he had much more hair than, like, everyone else his age for quite a while. Although, the only problem with my hair is it's very difficult to, to cut, apparently. Like, it's... Like, barbers hate me. Barbers hate him! Like, they always fuck up my hair the first few times. It's very annoying. It's quite hard to find a good barber. Good hair, but a dent in the skull. Look, there is literally no dent. There is... There is no... Dent. Okay? Yo, Flavius. I just fixed it as well. I can't believe it's back already. Gamer Dent. Stops at the neck, then goes sideways. See, so like I used to grow my hair just like I did nothing with my hair. All through school, I just let it grow and it just grew down and it's really straight. I actually kind of wish I had like the like a little bit of like curliness in my hair. That would be nice. But yeah, my hair's very straight, so. And it's also like very, um, like I said, it's very like thick, so it's it's really like hard to tame it, I, like put like you know to put it. I'm surprised it can stand up like this, honestly. But like I must have found a good wax or something, because like it is quite hard. It usually does like flop down over the course of the day, and then it just looks a bit meh. But I always struggled with uh making it like do what I wanted it to do. The hair whisperer. You don't want curls that are a pain in the ass. I feel like, I feel like, I mean, I think it just adds like texture, right? If you don't plan on ever straightening your hair, uh, are curls really that bad? Or is it just because they like knot up and stuff? They're cute though. Yeah. See, I I'd, I would want like wavy, not like curly curly, but like wavy-ish. I think that would be good just to like add a little bit of texture, you know? Right, we gotta go back to Sid. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Not up in frizz. To be fair, my hair gets a bit knotted, but that's just because I, I like throw it in every which way direction at all times with a bunch of wax and stuff, right? Mega wavy, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's that's kind of like. Where I'd want to be at. Oh, I need to go to the... Ah, we'll just run. We'll just run then. Pain in the ass to manage. I guess, like, with... Especially if you have longer hair. For sure, I can, I can totally get on that. But I think, like, I guess with shorter curly hair, it just looks a bit more like... It's like the classic Zuma haircut. Right, well, let me... What happens if I Google this? Zuma... Haircut. <laughs> that is exactly what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Like, this would be like, this would be like maybe too curly, but you want like a bit of wavy. Wait, what the fuck? Ain't no way. Is that Aaron Paul?
But look, like, how easy would it be, though? Like, you don't have to do anything with it, you know? That's shocked. Thank God. I was like, there ain't no way he pwned his hair to do this for some reason. But, like, imagine you just wake up and it just looks like this. And you can just be like, cool, let's go around my day. Dude, look at that. Look at the beard line. That'll last three days. Getting your beard done at the barber is always, like, suits so nice. But then you realize in, like, three days, you get the neck. Dude, if I could, if I could laser, like, one part of my, uh, like, if I could laser one part of my body with, uh, the hair laser thing, I would just get the fucking neck, like, the perfect neckline done. Because, like, I see BA keeping my neck shaved. God, it's the worst. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I could, but it's expensive, isn't it? I, I, I mean, I can just, I can just trim it. Like, it, it's, it, it's just fucking annoying. I just wish it didn't grow there, you know? Yeah. How in the seven hells do you do it? I was just about to send for you. We have, but this moment completed the Man Manicutter's first successful test flight. Let's go. This exact moment. Let the neck beard out. I hate the neck beard, man. I hate the neck beard. I think it just looks so bad. I don't know. Maybe it's on me personally, but... Wax my neck? I mean, it's not too bad. All I do is I... I should maybe just get one of those um, proper, like, blade razor things. You know, the Sweeney Todd ones. And do, uh, and just like do that because it will last longer. But right now, what I do is like I have my electric razor and I just go down and make a neckline and, and do that. And then I, then I get a different, um, razor thing to like go even closer to the skin. But obviously, it's like never pulling out the hair. So it just comes back in like three days. Looks bad on most people. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's much better to have like, to have like a, a well defined like beard line personally. But I think I think if you're growing a long beard, actually I still think even then like a neck beard is probably not that great. Like I still think it's cool to have like a long beard that starts on your chin and not on your neck, you know. But I guess it's easier to hide it. Like if I grew my beard long, firstly I can't, but I probably would just ignore my neck beard at that point because it would be hidden. You just sort, uh, sort of trim underneath roughly every now and then. Right, it gets itchy. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could grow a long beard, honestly. Uh, I have to have this stubbly, patchy mess. Still better than clean shaven, though, I think. A few minor adjustments and she'll be ready to go. While we see to the finishing touches, you might want to pay a visit to Four Tom's Manor. A dragoon by the name of Astinian was looking for you. All right. Don't you gun me down. Ah, shit. Always. The plate is always on point. In character. So what is this thing? It's hanging from ropes on on hooks. It does look a bit more like a small mount, huh? Maybe we're gonna get like a vehicle mission. Kitty with a gun. Estinian? I hardly know her. <laughs> leg beard. Dude, I actually waxed my legs. Um, well, I, I waxed I waxed a couple patches on my legs. Uh, over a year ago and like but it took at least six months to grow back so i i could actually maybe wax my neck it might keep it away for a bit but it probably that uh, probably wouldn't be that painful actually you did what why a couple patches are oh, you know streamer things it was a sub goal it was a sub goal so i waxed some uh, spots on my leg and uh yeah i i, I don't know it was gonna take too long to wax my whole legs 
Yeah, face hair will grow back. Wax this. You want me to wax your butt, Ponto? Honestly, I wonder what it would be like to have a waxed butt. Waxing it? Well, it would be my neck, right? I feel like I could deal with that. Do it. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't like a check pattern. I just did like one right down my shin. But it, I just had this like completely baby smooth. Because I have like, my legs are decently hairy, I suppose. They're like, they're not like super giga hairy, but they're not like bold, right? Um, So I had this like massive patch of like the complete just like rectangle of like baby smooth soft skin. And it didn't even like start growing back for like three to four months or something. Show proof. Of what? Ponto's butt or my leg? Do it on stream? Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, oh, you mean Ponto? No, I'm not going to wax Ponto's butt on stream, guys. Both. <laughs> Ponto says he... Uh, Russ says he wants an escort into Balmung. I, uh, I, said, I said I'll probably go one day. I didn't say anything about an escort. How much for that dono goal? Yeah, that would be an expensive one, right, Ponto? We have to do it on a different cam site. <laughs> New sub goal. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Uh, right, where we gotta go? Four thumbs. Oh, my neck. I don't know if, if really you guys want to see me wax my neck, right? Or do you just want to see me in pain? If you can wax your entire neck, I'll give ten subs. Humming, 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 humming. Do I hear 20? Do I hear 20 subs? Humming, humming, humming. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'll match. All right. Do I hear 30? <laughs> humming, humming, humming. <laughs> I've seen a show years ago where people try waxing beard hair. The problem is that most, most of the roots are different. From leg hair thicker and deeper. Uh, thicker and deeper? Oh, leg hair is thicker and deeper. Right. Yeah. Because, like, I feel like I pick out, like, I, this is a bad habit, actually. I think you're not supposed to do this. But sometimes I, like, accidentally pick my beard. Like, just when I'm, like, kind of sitting there and doing this. And then I'm like, oh, that, like, I don't know. Guys, I guess, well, no. Like, if you feel like a really coarse hair, like, it's a really, like, coarse, thick hair. And I just like, I'm like, oh, that's weird. It like sticks out. It feels like wire, you know, compared to like the rest. And then I'm like, I just find myself like pick that out. And I'm like, oh, whoops. But it, it grows back like instantly anyway. Do it without expressing any pain and I'll match. So you'll match the 20 or the 10 colors are in. Yeah, the weird, the weird plasticky hair. And for me, at least I like it. It's like a, it's like fully, really dark black, uh, straw of like beard hair like i have like you know through my beard i have like brown white and black and then like blonde pieces as well um most of it is like brownie blondie and then uh i have like these like completely like jet black ones and they're like all like wiry and weird the microplastics coming out but it's always in the same like they always it always grows back in the same place right so it's like like around here-ish, I get them, and I and I always, always just automatically like end up picking them passively. I don't think I should though, because I think eventually, if you pick if you pick your beard too much, it will just stop growing back. Is that true? Because I used to do that with my with the uh, the bits. I used to pluck in between my eyebrows, right? And then one day, just stopped growing hair there. The twenty, I doubt. Twenty plus twenty. I mean, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. All right, up to pillars. Yeah, the 10 hair follicles join forces. <laughs> what a banger song this one is. 17 years now, still growing back. Really? Like, I had like a about a year or so where I, I would pick them like as soon as I ever saw anything there. And then... Uh, maybe it was like six months and it just stopped growing back. Yo, Kotomi, how we doing? Welcome in. Hello. Welcome, Mistress Just Stall in. Shall I show you inside the manor? Let's go. 
Wait, did he say thank you for coming and not welcome? Oh, no, he did. He said welcome. Estinian. Ko Tommy Nodders. It's the true way to say the name. Never shaved, only plucked. See, I uh, I shaved my... Uh, I, sh I shaved it like one or two times and I was like, this is hella awkward and difficult. So then I just started. Then I unlocked tweezers and I was like, oh. It's just so so much easier and more precise. But I don't have to do that anymore. I don't think I've done this in like seven years or something. It just doesn't grow back anymore. You have fulfilled your obligations to the old aunts then. Mistress Tataru has been keeping me apprised of the situation. Once I learned that these mana cutters of Master Garlons were nearing completion, I saw no reason to tarry in the mists. For the present, Nidhogg seems content to remain in the airy, plotting his revenge. Estinian. <laughs> Might not this be an apt moment to unfold our plans to Sir Emmerich? I think we have kept him in the dark long enough. All right, let's go talk to hot guy Amerik. The seat of the Lord Commander. Did someone say daddy? I did. I certainly did. My sir. Husbando. <laughs> Why is he called Worm Blood? Uh, he kills worms. He gets stained with their blood, crimson red. Uh, wood. Oh shit! Ads just died, guys. Stare. We're about to go in. I think we're about to go into a cutscene. So. I feel like we'll wait. I feel like we'll wait. There's a cup of dragon blood every morning. Worm blood. A stinyan worm blood. How's the ants going? <laughs> Any subbers? Any subbers? Do we get one? Any subbers? Yeah. We'll wait. We'll wait. Any ad watchers in the chat? I guess not. I guess everyone's ad blocking. Hey, Keecha. Oh, it is a cutscene. Help defeat the ads. Hello again. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. Do we kick the ads asses back in coils? Oh, she gone. She gone too. Oh, she back. That was quick. You skippers! We have two skippers in our midst. I see you guys. <laughs> Blasphemy. All right, welcome back, ad enjoyers. Did you know? You can skip the ads. With a tier one sub, and it will also go directly towards the partner plus goal. It's up right there. We're trying to hit it this month. Month three. 40% increase in my income from Twitch for an entire year if we hit it. Big stakes. Big stakes. If you can afford to and want to and are enjoying the content and channel, consider subbing. Consider it. Last month on partner plus. Help him out. Exactly. We like to hear it. Last month, if we can hit it as early as possible, then that's less stress for me. Man, it is it is rough. Every day I'm checking it. Like I've gone back to like last month. I was like, all right, we're, we're smashing it. And now I'm like back to like actually checking it multiple times a day because I'm stressing about it again. I know we're like halfway through the month and over halfway through. But like I, I, I there's like sometimes I see there's people that like aren't subbed anymore. And I'm like, oh, no, they canceled. That means it's going to be hard. Like how many people canceled? So it does get it, it's a it's a fucking mind game, dude. I hate partner plus, but it's gonna be so good for it to be over and done with. Just rough. Yeah, it's month three. Ah Yeah. The only skippers, we are ad skippers, yeah. If only. 
You guys are all ad skippers if you sub them. The last month is rough, just you keep looking at it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But once it's done, holy shit, man. That's why I just want to hit it ASAP. I'm trying to like... I don't want to like sit here doing sales pitch. But I also want to have like people make sure they're subbed so that I can... That it's like hit and I, I can be done with it, you know? A watch pot never boils. In this case, I mean, yeah, I'm not like looking, I'm not staring it down, you know, but I am checking it now and then. You need to check your pot every now and then, you know. Sell it. I don't want to sit here doing a sales pitch. I feel like I already talked about it a bunch of times today anyway, so we're, we're good. We're good. As long as as long as people hold their tier threes and we, we hold a good amount of tier ones and twos, then uh, we should be okay. We should be okay, but I don't want to sit here like hard selling it. And I'm not going to, I'm not even going to talk about it. For nine months, basically. Unless we're like 10 subs away and it's the end of a month and I check it. And I'm like, well, we could extend the contract a month if 10 people, if we get 10 more points. Then maybe I'll talk about it for a few days. See if we can hit it just because it extends the contract. But um, other than that, I'm going to try and think about it as little as possible. So that everyone can just not worry about it. Everyone can give subs whenever they want and stuff like that. They can prime, they can do this, that, the other. Should be great. I'm going to talk about it. Tier 1 equals 1 point. Tier 2 equals 2 points. And Tier 3 equals 6 points. Help my man out. Ponto is even selling through me in my stream. Honestly, can we give this guy a goddamn raise? He's a great salesman. Mod mode. I will put it in sub... <laughs> Sub only mode. No, I don't think sub only mode, okay? The non look, the non-subs are just as welcome as the subs. However, I do appreciate all the support. Prime, tier one, tier two, tier three, any gifties, okay? Hey, we love the gifters in here. We love the gifters. Pay Ponto in butts. Raise this. Sub only mode sucks. I even think follow only mode sucks. I I hate Hosting people that have follow only mode it actually it actually makes me sad. I tried to do it as little as possible. Yeah, follow only mode is like the worst. It's like you have to like sign a contract just to be part of the stream. I know you can unfollow after, but it's just it's just like I don't see the point in it. it like most people's defense is it's gonna like they're getting harassed or something. But if people are harassing you, they're just gonna follow and then harass you. So it doesn't even make sense. I don't even see it as like a valid uh, reason to use it. Sometimes I follow a follow any channel, turn, turn it off and then unfollow. I've done that before as well. I followed channels, told them, by the way, you're stunting your growth with follow only mode, especially small channels. I, get, I, I like I still don't like it in big channels. I still don't think it's necessary, but um, I, I, don't, I just don't see any logical reason to put follow only mode on, to be honest. But yeah, I've done it before in like small streams and be like, by the way, follow any mode is on. And then they're like, yeah, I know. But I'm trying to get people to follow me, aren't I? I'm like. If you make it a transaction, then they're not going to do it at genuine. Like they're not going to follow genuinely, you know, like it should be a choice, not a requirement to participate in the stream. You know, oh, it makes me it makes me slightly mad thinking about it. Hi, Lucy QQ. How's it going? Verified accounts only. Yeah. See, this is weird. I'm verified on Twitch. And if I go into a verified channel only, like that doesn't mean verified accounts like partners, by the way. That means like you verified your email. Obvious, like, obviously my email is verified. I have two-factor authentication. I have like all my income and stuff going through the account and email and stuff, right? And I go into a verified channel only and it still sometimes says you can't chat because you're not verified. And it's like, dude, why why some days am I verified and not? Like, I don't get this. The mobile number. They have my number because I have two-factor authentication and they need to text me for me to log in to my Twitch. So, like, they def I've definitely given them my number and it's definitely verified. <laughs> But yeah, I still can't talk in verified channels only. I don't even know what that even means. Like, what's the point in that option? Why why would you is it is it because I guess because bot bot accounts they use they just sign up with an email and you don't have to confirm you don't have to confirm verification, right? Yeah. To me, verified accounts makes more sense than follower only, personally. Haven't even followed Russ. Have you not? Have you actually not? <laughs> Wait, yes, you have. 
I can check. I can see these things. It's cool, actually. From my end, I can see loads of stuff. I can see when everyone followed. I can see if you have a gift sub. I can see who gifted you. I can see what tier sub you have. Dragon Fresa just refollow. Rip your follow age, by the way. Yeah, and it doesn't even pop up the second time. You know, the follow notification thing only pops up the first time. So sometimes the sad part is sometimes you see someone follow it and it doesn't make the sound. You're like, well, that's someone who previously followed and unfollowed. <laughs> Thanks, Dragon. Yeah, you can, you can work out a lot from this side of the dashboard, honestly. He can even see when you're awake or you're asleep or whether you've been naughty or you're nice. That is true. Christmas time, Christmas time was was pretty crazy for them. I know which MSQ you stalled. Yeah, you know it. You got the law. Does it show you my true name so you can summon me through dark mnemonic arts? It actually doesn't show your true name though. Like uh, I can see, I can see when your account was made, uh, how long you've been following, what tier of sub you are, whether you're gifted or not, if you're gifted, how uh, who who gifted the sub. And then I can see all your messages, timeouts, bans, or <clears throat> mod comments. What have those mods been saying about you, huh? What have those mods been saying about you? Just re use your real name as your nickname. That's what I do. That's what I do. Hi, mods. Have a look at this. <laughs> Read my mod comments. You have none. Uh, let's see. Does anyone here have a mod comment? Hi, Valley, by the way. How are you doing? Valley has 18 timeouts and he's a mod. <laughs> That's how you get to be a mod, guys. You just got to get timed out a bunch. Oh, it's mostly stream elements timing out Valley for one second. I follow since the yeah. I think you can see each other's follow ages actually. If you click if you click people's names in the chat, you can see. One timeout, please. Oh, I don't want to ruin your clean slate. You know, I can't do that. I can't ruin your clean slate. No way. Remember the pyramids? Oh yeah. <laughs> One timeout, please. No, I'm not gonna ruin your clean slate. You'll have to do something ballsy to get a timeout for me. Can always just vanish. Don't tell. No, don't don't give away the secrets. You're a mean poo poo head. <laughs> Quote fifty. I only shave my cock on. P All right. Anyway, let's talk to Amerit, guys. Classic. Oh god, not the quote bot man. That thing is that thing is unhinged. Time to remove the quote. <laughs> Guys, if you spam it too much, I'm going to have to put a cooldown on it, okay? <laughs> if you spam it too much, I'm going to have to put a cooldown on it, all right? No, no being naughty. Ralph Streamer, can you get the fuck on with the MSQ? All right, that's it. You're timed out. No, I, I can't. You've got a clean shape. A clean shape? You've got a clean slate, uh, C-Trix. I can't do that. All right. Quotes, uh... Your own shit is fine. I confirm I shat myself. <laughs> That's crazy that I actually RNG'd that. All right, here we go. You may proceed. Let's go, guys. Cutscene. Ding dong. Cutscene. Budget's back, baby. Budget's, budget's here. Stands ready, Lord Commander. Uh, the moment Assemble. Have we told him about Pray our plans? Excuse my lateness. I paid a brief visit to the workshop to inquire about the mana cutters. The engineers assure me that they're ready. The mana cutters. The area is now but a short flight away. Yet what a long and winding path we took to reach this point. Were it not for Master Alphino's proposal, we never would have attempted to parlay with the dragons. Though our negotiations yielded little, our expedition with Lady Isa taught us much. Hmm. You took an a mana cutters. 
I could scarce believe the tale Estinian told. But we did kill a primal. Aye. Tis true that many of our countrymen would sooner die than join hands with the heretic's mistress. But twas through that most unlikely of alliances that we came to speak with Reisvelgo. A conversation that went rather poorly, as I recall. In this instance, the journey was more important than the destination. Had we not slain Nidhogg's consort, Tiamun, and put the Great Worm on his guard, the Dravanians would have arrived at Ishgard's walls long ago. Yeah. That's a ch there's oh, a little silver lining. Work. Full grateful am I for every hour of respite your actions have afforded us. Thanks to you, our defenses are much improved. Tis but a pity they won't be enough. Let the machinists do it. Thus, you believe an assault upon the area represents the city's best chance of survival. Is that not so, Astinian? Uh, I am under no illusions. Nidhogg's might is legendary. But with his eye in my possession, I can stifle his strength at the source. Victory will be hard won, even so. Three eyes and versus I shall be one. Glad indeed to have the warrior of light at my side. Oh, say the two is your dragoon thing again. That was cool. You shall have my blade as well. There are more of these mana cutters to be had, yes? Oh, let's go! Lord Commander, no. How can I, a proud knight of Ishgard, stand by and do naught while an outsider risks life and limb for our homeland? I swore an oath to protect this city. You'd call me that. You said it in like a outsider. I leave the slaying of dragons to dragoons, sir knight. Your duty to command the city's defense is no Sit less down. vital. Should we fail and Nidhogg slip through our grasp, who then will hold the walls against him? Will you leave Ishgard in the hands of the Holy See's zealots? There are others. There are others, but I'm the Lord who Commander. Who has the authority and the standing to orchestrate a city-wide defense? I do not. And neither does the warrior of light. That is why it is our place to fight. And yours to remain here, Lord Commander. Yeah! What? You too, Master Alfino. By the fury. You have shown some promise. But this adversary is far beyond your... Oh, he is ruthless. Look how small he is. Sit down, boy. I shall remain then and cheer you from afar. Oh, he sounds so defeated. <laughs> well, okay. my friend, Sir Dragoon. It would seem I have discouraged the last of the volunteers and claimed the task as ours alone. But if any alive can best this worm, tis surely we too. Dude, no way we're just gonna go fucking shit shit on Nidhogg right in his own home. Two of us. Well, plus, plus uh, three more of you guys, I'd imagine. Unless it's a trial. Shit hog. <laughs> Jeez. Stop third wheeling my date, Madge. I have picked Master Alphanor's pride, of, I fear. Oh, pricked. Dude, he sounded so defeated. He was like... Yes, sir, uh, Mr. Stin Drag Dragoon as a... Uh, yes, sir. I'll stay behind. <laughs> I was so defeated, man. I have pricked Master Alphanor's pride, I fear. But I have been less uh, forceful. The boy would have insisted on accompanying us to the airy. Destroyer of hopes and dreams. He is hella based. I'll give him that. I can see why you guys like him. I enjoy a based, a based character. Do not think me blind to his talent. With a few more campaigns under his belt, I have no doubt that Alphano will make a fine field commander. Yeah, to be fair, he at least was like, you have shown promise. But he's like, you're, no, you're nothing like the warrior of light. But one does not practice on an adversary such as Nidhogg. We shall be hard pressed enough without the added worry of carrying a novice. Boom. 
Boom. Level 61. We're going to Stormblood, baby. This is Stormblood territory now. Destroys Alphano's confidence. Russ. Based. <laughs> Am I a bad person? Am I a bad person? Yes. I guess. Man, really? I think I'm not too bad. Alfie's trying. I mean, okay, what he said to Aimerick, though, that was based. He, he, okay, maybe he was a little bit mean to Alfie, to be fair. Because, like, Alfie can't command... Like, his point to, to Aimerick was, was kind of true. It's like, well, you're the Lord Commander. You need to lead the fucking army, bro. But to Alfie, it's just like, shut up. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't his base. You're bad and you should feel bad. Yeah, Alfie wants to do his best. That is true. All right, fair enough. He was based to Aimerick. Not so much to Alfie. I hope Minfilia died. Well, true! That makes me based. Not using Charles soldiers to fight dragons probably doesn't make you a bad person. Yeah, true. But also, like, he is kind of powerful. I don't know. We haven't really seen him do that much, but he hasn't been bad so far. Sometimes the truth hurts. Yep. I mean, Minfilia is fucking useless. That, there I said it. There I said it. Into the airy. Astinian is eager to set forth into the airy. Mana cutter key. Let's go. We have tarried long enough. Let us call upon Master Garlon and take possession of the Mana Cutters. Sorry, the Mana Cutters. Let's go. To the Mana Cutters. Alfie's Dommy Daddy. You go with all your abilities? Good question, actually. I'm 55. I've done the 54 dragon quest, right? So I think I've got all my abilities for the dungeon. Um, there we go. Media tour streamer. What did I do? What did I say this time? Why are you saying her? What, what's the media tour? What did I say? Oh, the dummy. I read that from chat. I literally read it from chat, okay? Open sesame. We've been here the whole time. Hi, guys. We got my pants is here. We have it. We have a. We have MSQ enjoyers assembled. Here he is. Russ, old friends. The cutters are ready when you are. The finer adjustments cost us a few sleepless nights, but we got there in the end. Which means you can get where you need to go, I tell you. These little things, these little beauties, they'll tear through the wind barrier like a sermon drill through cottage cheese. And that, my friends, is a Garland Ironworks guarantee. You have our thanks. Come, warrior of light. The dread worm awaits. Dude, if we kill, if we beat up Midgard Sorma, surely we're gonna beat up uh, Nidhogg. All right, Vape Nation. Hmm. The airy now accessible. Oh, we just queue in right from here. Just queuing in straight from here. Oh, okay. Okay. Who's coming? Who's coming? Let's fucking go. Beat this. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's see. I'm going to take some people that I haven't take, taken for a bit. 
Amatoria? Were you in the last thing we did or no? Or was I meaning to take you in? Oh, I lost Coyote, I think, uh, was due to come in. Beep. Anyone coming here? Or anyone to come to the dungeon, you know? Panic attack. Would you like to come panic attack? I don't know if we've played together much. I'm going to try and take people that I haven't played with in a, in a bit. I can't remember uh, who was in the last dungeon, who was in the last, who was in the, the, uh, the trial. I can't. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. Okay. No worries, Shimantis. Waiting since Hawk Manor so I can go for the 57. Wait, really? You've been waiting since Hawk Manor? All right. I feel like I, I feel like I owe that to you then. Want to come maybe next time? That's okay, Rosie. That's okay. The Dragoon job quest left hanging. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do the Dragoon stuff tomorrow. Managed to swap uh, to EO. Oh, nice. So you finished all the new patch stuff, uh, Coyote? Nice. Good shit. Good shit. All right. Let's take, uh, let's take Forgotten Pants. And uh, we'll take uh, Amatoria this time. Just caught up with me? Okay, perfect. Then we'll go like this. And then I'll try and take some of you guys in the next thing. Whatever we end up doing. I might even do uh I might even do some um low level dungeons tomorrow with my machinist. Because I kinda wanna get it like leveled up to fifty something. Big TV and beer time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beer time wait, what are you gonna go watch on TV, Telfindos? Big TV, dude. And Walker has thus finished, credits rolled. Nice. The game is done until Dawn Trail, guys. Okay, forgot my pants is gonna tank for us. We got Monk Dragoon combo. And uh Astrologian healing. On Forgotten Pants. Oh sorry, on uh Coyote. Oh, I got you, I got you. Yeah, Gratzkeith. Okay. Oh sorry. I'm doting you, Volps. Don't you run from my dope. No. All right, he's still got it. It's still, it homed in on him. Oh, look. Mini, mini, mini. My most screenshotted character, aside from my own. Got you. <laughs> it hit him. It did. It connected. It did. I'll get all the caster cards. Yep. Okay, let's 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 pump it. Uh dungeons. The airy. Minimum eye level. No echo. It's time. It's time. We're going into the vape cloud. <clears throat> Sensing the death of his consort, a wary Nidho has surrounded his lair with a wall of tempestuous winds. After calling upon the assistance of Sid and his ingenious engineers, however, you and Astinian are now ready to breach this howling barrier on the wings of their latest airship prototype, the Mana Cutter. Join the Azur Dragoon on this and the greatest of worm hunts and mount a direct assault upon the airy. Only with the death of Nidhogg can you ensure the preservation of Ishgard and bring an end to the Dragon Song War. There's just no way at level 55 we're about to kill Nidhogg and end the Dragon Song War. He's gonna run off like a little pussy ass bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna scare him away. Yo, Burt Big, how's it going, man? Let's go. In we go. He doesn't know. Gamba. What do you want the Gamba to be if we kill Nidhogg? I already know it's a no. And you guys all know the outcome, so it would, be, it would just be a rigged Gamba. Here we go, we're on the Mana Cutter. 
That him? No shot. Oh shit, he's got one eye. Oh, it's the other eye he's missing. They can't be the, it can't be Harry Svelga the same then. Oh, he blinded him with the eye. Wait, what? He just held it up like a like a volleyball. Wicked mortals, I shall melt your flesh and turn your bones to ash. How ironic. <laughs> yeah, like a Pokeball, yeah. There, go down there. Look at me, look at me pilot this thing. Ooh, is this banger? Banger's a clock. Okay, let's go. Egg. Where's my egg? Egg. I'm on it. Two eggs for me. That's a balanced breakfast right there. Purple equals win. Yeah, I love this dungeon. Nice portrait. <laughs> uh. I can't keep up. Here we go. Boom, big crits. More big crits. Big, huge, huge gaming. Good job, team. Pants, they've, they have been forgotten. They have been forgotten. But mine are on. I will wear the pants for two here. Oh, wait, what? How could I... How could I not use a fang and claw though? What? Oh, I'm, I'm getting hit by that. Ah! Oh, that's the 55. Oh, wait, what? Wait, no, no shot. I thought this was a level 54 ability, though. Oh, yeah, it's blanked out. It's grayed out. Okay. I guess it was the 56 one. Must be. Oh, shit. Here we go. Rangda. Low. A floaty dragon. I'm ready. We go. Electric Catchexia. Okay, that's fine. Electrocution. Must be a tank busty thing. Oh, it's a pushback. Okay, this is AOE. Oh, that's a donut spell. All right, we move. We're making moves. Oh. Oh, shit. There's something going on over here. Add. Okay, that breaks the purple line.
It's weird. I keep thinking that's his face, but it's the tail. on that pillar doesn't add oh we gotta bring it over maybe no wait the pillar despawns i'm gonna do the finishing blow boom 1500 dude that full thrust with the with the with the crit does so much damage Ooh, a ring of healing Ugh. I ain't doing that till 70. Whee! Yeah, I wasn't sure what the, the mechanic was there, really, to be fair. It was like a purple line that we moved out with. Oh, shit. That's a dive bomb. Yeah. Yeah. I recognize those. Jesus. Big crits. Big crits. Huge. Gaming. I must be doing a lot of damn. Maybe. Probably not. I feel like uh, I was like not even targeting something for a bit there. <laughs> Ned Son Gar. Alright. There's like spider webs. Strange as spider webs in a dragon cave. I ain't seen those spiders. Biggest crits of your life. Oh shit, I got hit by that. I kind of like that the once you once the telegraph disappears, you already know if you got hit by it. So you can like pre-pop a self heal or something. I kind of like that. It's like, oh, okay, I, I didn't telegraph it disappeared. The actual damage hasn't gone out yet, but you still have like half a second where you can react and be like, oh shit, well, I can use a second wind or something just to top yourself before the damage goes out. It's quite nice. I feel like it gives you a little bit more room for recovery, I suppose. It's a bit less punishing. Like you still have to deal with taking the damage, but you might not die. Yeah, or like a shield or something, yeah. All right, Gaius Cutus. Gaius Cutus. Dude, Gaius is my boy. He is 100% coming back, dude. I did not see him die. I did not see him fade into the Aether. He is out there somewhere, and he's coming back. No Copium Edition, all right? He's coming, like, he's my fucking Giga Chad boy, okay? For sure, he's still alive. Dude, he, he he could have died like three or four times where we saw him on the floor. And then the one time I'm supposed to believe he died, I didn't see him. I didn't see him actually disappear or die or anything. He just was like, oh yeah, there's some flames now. Copium, how very glib. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. He's out there. He's going to be, he's going to join me and be my chieftain. Surely... Him, Gaius, plus Raoban would make a Giga combo. Such a devastation. Uh, departure, thank you for the follow, by the way. All right, let's do it, team. Let's go. One. Shift two. Shift R, G, E. Do a little backflip real quick. Throw a Q in there. T, five, R, one, two. 
Shift Q3. That's the opener. That's the opener right there. Mwah. Shift kiss. What the hell's going on? Flammable gas. Oh, that does not sound good. All right. Proximity pyre. I want to get, get the hell away from that. Okay, nice. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Big. Deafening blow. That's AoE. All right. We'll heal that back up real quick. Flammable fumes. That's the white swirliest, right? Ah! Okay, we got to get to the safe spot over here. Ashen Ouroboros. Okay, that's the... Woo! All right, we arms length those. We arms length those, baby. Yep. 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 Easy clap. Crippling blow. I'm going to faint that one. Flammable fumes. It is what it is. We look for safe spot here. Uh, there ain't no one. Okay, we can go back in. I send this. I send this real quick. Biggest small limit break of all time. Okay, I'm going to do big damn, big damn. Oh, shit. All right, nice. Oh, shit, I just popped some coolies. Fuck. All right, that was well played. Good job, team. Head. Rogue ninja head. Yo, that looks cool. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. <laughs> Imperial tendency by simping for the Garleans. Like, Gaius was a chad, man. Okay. Press with the pro backflip. Hey, I got it down at this point. I've played a decent bit of Dragoon, and my DH... Honestly, my Demon Hunter skills does actually translate over directly here. Because uh, I have to do basically the exact same backflip on DH. Oh, huh? Nice. An enemy chat? Yeah, we could. I can. I can fix him, guys. I can save Gaius. Yo, how cool is this dungeon, by the way? Like we're going up a fucking broken castle and shit. It's falling on us and stuff. The vape cloud was more than just vape. Yeah, he was a giant enemy, Chad. Like he was an enemy, right? True. But, like, think about it. Who wouldn't want some absolute Chad with good voice lines? in the game who uh who just like never dies surely he's alive there ain't no way he died that fourth time he's like a cat i don't know i, I could just be horribly wrong <laughs> okay treasure bracelets uh aiming yo let <gasps> All right, we take those. We take those. Van Baddy, he were a baddy. More treasure. Woo. Oh God, it's falling. Yo, that was cool. All right, earrings of casting. Screw those. Thaumaturge arm. Get out of here. Okay, we'd go here and then like this. Big, big damn, big damn. Oh, that died so quick.
That was a sick backflip. Not gonna lie. That was right on point right there. DPS me a cheat spot? Oh, do they just infinitely spawn? Oh, we have to do something. I have to go turn it off. Oh no, it's done. They broke out the eggs. Wait, DPS Mia, hold on a second. That's not allowed. Three Lala's in the armor. <laughs> yeah, it's actually just Lollarito at the top. Here he is. Oh, so that's Nidhogg, and that must be the dragon in the trailer. Because Harris Velga was like kind of peaceful. Hmm. Full room. He arrived. He is here. Awaiting patiently for us. There's no way we kill him here. What's this? The dragon's eye is limiting his strength. Oh, that's cool. So we're fighting an unempowered version of him right now. Nice dog. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. I'm good. Yeah, defeat him but not kill, right? Oh. Deafening blow. Alright. Oh, I just pre-healed that one, stupidly. Big damage. Oh, dude, we don't even have a limit break. We pumped this dungeon so hard. Okay, we got out those. Big flames. Oh, God, I want to get out of that. Do, do. Wait, it's like an empowered version of uh, that other song. Oh, shit, okay. He's got a second phase. Can't even think what song this is. Oh. He's an Ixia. Oh, he's back. Oh, yeah, this is the Mount song. <laughs> this part's cool. The Scarlet Price. Oh, oh, we killed that, we killed that. Nice. Okay, air phase. Yo, Neon, what's up? Oh, 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 adds. Okay. Nidhogg's Rancor. Go, 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 go. Shit, I should have saved some AoE. Big. Really shit AoE because I don't have my, my second part yet. Dude, it's crazy how late I get that. Yo, this piano part was cool. Liege Drake, my liege. Okay, I guess it'll do damage depending on how high his bar was. So I think we live this. Yep. Oh, fuck. That was kind of close, though. That was rough. All right, this is easy clap though. Easy clap mode. Cool fight. Oh, oh, we need to be in this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna faint this one. I'm gonna faint this one. Yeah, baby. It's not that great, I guess, but slightly fine. Maybe we do get LB2. Uh, probably not. Probably not. No. Deafening Bolo. Okay. I'm gonna blood, blood heal this one. 
A little bit of self heals going. I'm sending it. Oh no! He, he MC'd me. Oh, it's this thing. It's like a lock. Oh shit. That's a tank buster! Alright, alright. We send this. Killing blow, baby. Twister's dick! Wait, there's no way. Yeah, he flies off. Yeah, I called it. Where's everyone else? Where's the music? I'm so sad about it. There we are. Oh, let's get a little screenshot. So straight through it. See? Too easy. Tank Buster? It was close. It's because, like, uh, I came out the prison, like, right on top of him. Many whelps, you are a god. Oh, it was in Midgard Summer Fight as well, the music? Oh, cool. Okay. GG, boys. All right, let's get a little picture. I bet I'm going to be uh, LBing in this. Oh, yeah, we'll get a Stinian in the picture. Let's let's get me in a Stinian, and then you guys can go either side. Oh, yeah. What's he looking at? Oh, he's looking to where he went. He's pissed. Oh shit, I need to do screenshots first. Uh. Oh yeah. Boom. What does he smell like? I think, honestly, I think he just puts on like uh, that odorless. He puts on that odorless um, deodorant. So it doesn't have like a smell. So he just smells of musk. But like not like stinky musk. Like he doesn't like he, he doesn't smell of like sweaty, stinky BO. He smells of like Estinian man musk, you know, like victory, <laughs> lynx, axia, yeah. Africa. It smells like a main character. He is definitely getting some main character stuff. Uh, I can see, I can see now where that comes from. The top of a baby's head and pheromones. Yeah, both. He hits both of those, uh, of those bins. A stinkian. I mean, he, if anything, he stinks of musk. All right, let me get this real quick. Oh. Oh. Oh, dude, I love the like channeling of the LB. It looks so good. I've got, I've got to get one slashing Estinian though. Oh, he doesn't stop. Dude, look at that pose. All right, let me just do the channeling thing. Come on. Do the thing. There you go. Perfect. 
All right, very nice. Very nice. Good job, team. Oh, wait. I actually need to get one where we're not doing abilities. There we go. Nice. He was looking at me. Yeah, he was looking at me in the sky, actually. That's cool. All right. Good job, everybody. That was nice. That was a fun little dungeon. I like the layout. I like the music. It was it was very purple as well, which is always good. You always know it's a great dungeon room when that happens. Look how purple. We're inside the vape cloud. Like, unironically. Yeah, he was watching Nidhogg fly away. I know, I know, I know. But he's gone now. He can look down. He's like, oh, where is my bestie? Oh, I can actually see his face from his angle. First time seeing his face, I think. Oh, he gets hugs. It's a nice machinist web. Machinist web? Wait, where? Who? Who's a, who's a machinist right now? Oh, in the loot? Oh, in the loot. Oh, yeah, there is. Yoink. Oh, shit. Never mind. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> Try it on. Ooh, that is cool. I just need to get my machinist up to level now. Destiny reference, Gallahorn. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I played Destiny 1, I think, a little bit when it was on free trial or something. Actually, kind of fun game. Looks musky. It's the Gala horn? Yeah, the Gala, Gala horn, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, right. Let's see if there's a cutscene. Surely we'll get a cutscene here. Good job, team. Good job. We're kind of pumping. We're kind of pumping today, guys. I feel like we did a lot of story. Big. Let's see. That's what's so sad. Is it is it like done now? Is it bad? Is that destiny? He's coming back. He's coming back. Get away from the eye. Wait, what if he sucks it back in? Oh, fuck. That thing is powerful. Oh, he's ready for round two. Oh, he's so happy about it. Thou wouldst use mine own eye against me? Time hath done naught to dilute thy kind's depravity. I have not forgotten thee, Dragoon. Mine essence claimed thee once, and shall do so again. There he goes. He's gonna ride him. This ends here. Oh shit, he fucking wants it. Here he is. Giga Chad. Is he gonna go inside him? Oh! Clean through the end, mate. He rode him. Stab him again. Oh! Yeah, like in his mouth. I thought he was going to eat him or like jump inside his mouth or something. Oh my god, the evil in his eyes there. No shot, he actually dies. Oh shit, he is red. He actually went red. What?
You took the other one. You gifted my people a thousand years of suffering. Now I gift you an eternity in darkness. Damn! He even foreshadowed the armor going red. He's so cool. <laughs> Nidhogg ain't shit. Jeez, he fucked him up. And he's managed to steal his other eye. Or is that the same one, maybe? No way he just died. He must come back as a primal then or something. Is he gone? Is he just straight up? I mean, I guess he can't come back as a primal. Surely he's the end boss. Maybe not. Maybe there's a bigger dragon. Maybe there's a bigger fish to fry. Literally, we have a whale fish. Trush. Have to keep playing yeah true don't don't spoil don't spoil don't spoil uh, i know you guys won't but fishing there's always a bigger fish i don't know london <laughs> damn that was crazy now i gift you an eternity in darkness that was kind of a big line right there wait what happened to joel why is that emote not working oh it's no caps maybe Oh, there you go. You got it. Joel. Joel lines. Heaven's Sword's over. Yeah, like what? Is it, we're only on level 55. How can Nidhogg be dead? Jeez, that was so fucking epic though. He yoinked his eye. Yo, Decadence. He yoinked his eye. And just fucking slayed him. He actually did pop, though. He popped into Aether, right? He died. Like, he actually fucking died. Well. I guess he's not the last boss. Maybe Harris Velger is. I mean, we killed his wife. Or his mistress, sorry. We ate his sister's eyes. And then we killed him and yoinked his eye. Wait, do I get another? Do I get an eye now then? Maybe I get his other eye. He's a dragoon. Maybe that's a little, little uh, Easter egg. No way we're killing him. Yeah, dude, I feel so stupid. Like 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, I was like, there's no way we kill him in here. But it just looked like he died. Huh. To the vape below. Let him cook. Right, wait, hold on. Race Valga is is the real Nidhog. I've got it. Race Valga is the real Nidhog. Dude, Asinian kind of fucking beasted it, I'm not gonna lie. That was just a pawn. That was fake. Nah, because he got affected by the eye. Damn it. Cooking? <laughs> <laughs> nice Nidhogg, bro. Damn, that's crazy. There's no way it's Stormblood because we're only on level 55 unless it skips. But then it's all post. Yeah, this can't happen. Okay, well, that was a goddamn epic. I thought he was going to do something weird. Oh, I'm going to get a uh, crack headache. I'm going to get Crystal back. And mid guard, someone's going to be like, hey, hey, hey. Yo, one more, baby. Wait, we skipped one. Green. That's green for sure. It's got to be green. It's goddamn pink. That's a nice pink. That is a nice shade of pink right there. I like that pink. Jesus Christ. Magenta. Hmm. I do like magenta then. Okay, here we go. Asian shit.
Wait, hold on. We're getting law now. Is that him? Or is that... That's him. No. Oh. Wait. He's silver now. Wait, what? No. Oh, one is Frey's Velga's eye. They are ours, Lord Eldrath. The eyes of Nidhogg. Wait, this this is a flashback though, so this happened before. Silver Trail the Zamor. The eyes of Nidhogg. Or well, one is Thrace Valgas and they and they pretended it's both Nidhogs. Okay, hold. He's loving life. Aye. The worm lies broken and my father is avenged. With the wellspring of his vitality thus denied him. Nidhogs shall not linger long in this world. This is the previous Azure Dragon, right? Heldrath. Or am I not supposed to know? Just shrews if I'm not supposed to know. I've definitely heard the name before though. Shrews? Okay. Alright. Yeah, if I'm not supposed to know, then don't worry. Behold the terrible price we have I just can't remember the dragon quest sign as much. My sire is dead. So many brother knights slain. I do know. Yeah, the first, yeah. Yeah, I thought I knew it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's the first, sorry. For some reason, I, I've only heard about him and Astinian and no one in between, so I just kind of assumed that Astinian was the second Azure Dragoon. So, he's the first. Yeah, okay. We traded our honor for the strength which now courses in our veins, and still we are forced to make such sacrifice. Do, 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 do. But not in vain, my lord. Kreis Felger is the only great worm left in Dravania, and he dares not leave his lair. So Nidhogg has With died Nidhogg's before. In your possession, who now can challenge the might of Ishgard, ascend the throne, and take your rightful place as the ruler of our people? He's died before, which means he just died again, which means he might have to die again. Nay, my friend. I must forsake the mantle of king. Though Nidhogg be defeated, his wormling horde yet darkens the skies with wings beyond counting. Why did he put the eyes? <laughs> As one who partook of Ratatoska's strength, it shall be my penance to bear a knight's arms until death grants me leave to retire. When that day comes, no prince shall perish, but a hell's bound hunter of dragons. But Lord Haldreth, what then shall become of the royal line? Think of your people, my lord. Without a king, who will the common man turn to Flavian. in the hour of need? How will he find his way without your benevolent hand to guide him? Let Thorden do it. And then he went mental. No, maybe not. Because he's. I before. thank you, Sir Flavian and Sir Silvertrill, for dispelling my remaining doubts. With men of such wisdom and compassion in service to the realm, it is plain that Ishgard has no need of a king. Ooh. But if you must bow to the demands of tradition, you need look no further than yourselves for one worthy to wear the crown. Damn. I like the silver armor set. Looks cool. I might make mine silver. Fare thee well, my brother knights, my loyal friends. On these shoulders shall I bear the weight of my father's sins. With this lance shall I repay the debt accrued through our misdeeds. Okay. So, his dad is king, was King Thordran. 
and he's the son was due to be on the throne but turned it down because he what became the Azure Dragoon. Jest has okay. Fate played upon us. Have we seized this desperate victory? Yeah, he's sold on the only first, to right? Lose a king. We can but act as our lord has bid. We few who remain must divide between us the rulership of Ishgard and her people. Not I. My oath was to Lord Haldrath and he alone. If he is not to be king, then I would hang up my shield as well. Well. Will you abandon us too, sir? Yep. I would wash my hands of blood and betrayal and take up an honest trade. Mayhap I shall serve ale instead of sharpened steel. <laughs> it's a simple life. Not I. This is getting good now. We four then. Well, Fortan, Highlander. Here and there. Oh, that's where the houses came from. But four houses to rule all of Ishgard. And what of the throne? We keep it empty. Until the day a king rises once more, we must assume the role of stewards. We shall shape our nation anew with a history of our own making and let the truth of this dark day die here upon the battlefield. Why do you have two eyes? Hmm. Red Dragoon Boy now. What ails you, friend? Are you wounded? Damn, he looks cool. I'm just in awe. Born witness to history. What to a cool scene. Of the first battle with Nidhogg. The legend of Ishgard's founding tells that our ancestors were led to the land of Kurthus by the valiant King Thordon. In the midst of their journey, they came to a wide chasm where they were set upon by a great worm, Nidhogg. A furious battle then ensued with Thordon leading the van. Though the brave king was slain defending his people, his son, Haldrath, the first Azure Dragoon, fought on undaunted. Got him. And yeah. with a mighty thrust of his lance, he gouged out Nidhogg's eye, forcing the wicked creature into retreat. Thus, Different. did this eldritch orb become a sacred treasure of Ishgard, lending its power to every knight deemed worthy to bear the title of Azure Dragoon. A rousing tale, is it not? Would that I could still believe it. But your vision, which we must accept as immutable truth, leaves no room for doubt. Oh. Save on one point. I could have just made it up. If Haldrath took both of Nidhogg's eyes, then how came this eye to be lodged in the worm's skull? That's Harry's Valga's eye. Oh. It, yeah, he had yellow eyes. Oh. Beneath every answer we unearth, another question lies buried. Come on, I got it, Justinian. Now you can get it too. He took out, took out his own eye and gave it. Wait, how does that work? Wait, so Race Valga just watched us kill his brother. What the fuck? It was a fierce battle. But one I knew we would win. One I knew. Your fame is well deserved, warrior of light. 
Full proud am I to have fought at your side. I would fain return with all swiftness to Ishgard to inform the Lord Commander of our triumph. But we must first have words with Hreisvelga. There are parts of this tale that the worm has kept from us. Let's give it back to him. I would know wherefore. Oh, I kind of want to do the next part too. You know, I ever going to be able to... I'm just going to be MSQing till till 8 a.m. I need to see the next part now. Can't stop now. Yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> We're hooked in, boys. Dude, they, they keep leaving it on cliffhangers. Just one more. <laughs> Subathonage. <laughs> He finally gets it. I get it now, guys. I get it now. <laughs> okay, maybe we maybe just one more. Maybe just one more. Though Nidhogg is fallen, my heart is yet heavy. It definitely helps with all the voice acting. Hi Saint Justice. How are we doing? Welcome in anyone who's new today. Hope you're enjoying the show. This is getting good, man. Hook, line, and sinker. And this stain of corruption pleases me not. When all has been put to rest, I must need forge my armor anew. Oh, he's going to reforge his whole armor. But Harris Velga might have just left because he literally saw us kill him. Like, it was through his eye. So, like, that means Nidhogg was fucking blind that whole fight. Yeah, we get Mount now. Manic. Manic. Manicutter. Okay. Let me, let me use this up. We got him hooked. Heaven's Word is over. You killed Nidhogg. Stormblood in five. There's no way. Ain't no way. Wait. Oh, it's still up there. It's still up there. I thought it despawned. What's the Moogle quest? What are you guys doing over here? <gasps> what a bunch of QEs. What's this? Race Velga Attire Coffer. Wait, what? How can I have this? Look at that aura, by the way. Alright, well, I can't turn that down. That sounds cool. But is that going to be any spoiler on a... Uh, pretty eyes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, she winked at me too. Oh, I didn't know you watched the dope come at you. That's cool. You like watch the dope come towards you. Huh. I never noticed that before. Wait, do it again? Did I, did I look up at Mario? Is it only when I'm targeting? Oh, is it because now I'm targeting, right? Maybe it was just a coincidence. Maybe it was just the body actions or something. Just a themed outfit? Okay, let's use it. Brace Velga boots, trousers. Oh, wait, are they going to be silver? <gasps> wait, where'd it go? Brace Velga hat. Oops. How is this anything? Dude, this is like a modified version of the Mog Home music up here. 
Wait, no. It's not. It, it's a mod modified version of the daytime music and nighttime music. Wait, what? There's three theme tunes in this zone. Wait, try on. Uh, wait. Oh, how do I keep, uh... How do I keep, uh... So I can put multi... Oh, save, delete. Ah. This is pretty cute. I'm a sucker for this zone, man. This is, I think, my favorite zone in the whole game so far. Mainly because of the music. It's like dragon scales. Oh, yeah. Got a little crest. A dragon wearing a dragon armor. That's me. My house is the best zone. They're G posing. Moon eyed Moogle. Oh, we got to fetch the Moogle some food. See, I'm not sure if I go do a MSQ now. Or is that a good place to stop for today and then we start again tomorrow? What do you guys think? Like, I really want to know what 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 Harry's Velga is going to say, but I feel like there's going to be other quests in between. Good place? Like, it was kind of a big moment, I suppose. Do the next quest. The one after this one or the one after? All right, we'll do the one after. Do the, We'll do the next. Estinian would like to know the origin of Nidhogg's mysterious eye. Me too. And I have an inkling I know. With Nidhogg fallen, none save for his vulgar remains to answer our questions. Let us trouble the worm again. Wait, is he the only one left? And if Iceheart yet lingers at Zenith, all the better. I would have her hear the truth from the dragon's maw. Uno mas. MSQ. <laughs> All right, speak with your sail. All right, we're going to Zenith, guys. You're all cute. I'll see you at Zenith. Or later. Why don't I see Sludge Happy MSQ? I don't know. I see it. Try refresh. Oh, it's the sad music. The sad one now. Let's go speak with Thrace Valga. We gotta toot the horn. I wonder if your sail's still up there. Oh yeah, I guess so, right? Speak with yourself. She's just been there the whole time, like Why Shiva? Why you lie to me? Oh I thought I turned that off. Sorry. I broke the immersion. Apologies. Did I see a Lala fell behind me a second like ago? Huh. Do you share Asmongold's opinion on Hrace Velga? I don't know Asmongold's opinion and probably don't say it because it might, it might spoil something for me. Refreshing didn't help. Uh, I don't know then. Maybe um, check your browser plugin is up to date or something, potentially. See it, but not this channel. Weird. I'm not sure then, I'm, I'm afraid. You guys are so quick. Wait. It's just Keecher that moved. Okay, your sail. 
And look, he's all red. Oh, dude, we're going to get another cutscene. Fish bash bosh. Twas you, was it not? The furious screams of the dragons carried far. You have slain Nidhogg. What more could you desire from this place? Will you now, will you not allow Hrisvalga to mourn the death of his kin in peace? Spare us your sanctimonious judgment, Ice Maiden. We have a gift for the Great Worm. And a mystery that can no longer lie buried. Gift. Lady Iceheart, the Dragonsong War has all but consumed your life and claimed many of your followers. It is time you learn the truth of its beginning, the whole truth, that we may at last bring this bitter conflict to an end. Sound the horn, Warrior of Light. It sounds like it should be like a, but it's like, it's like a Moogle horn. Here we go. Toot. He's going to come down. Or will he be too pissed? He's coming. Koopo! <laughs> See? Yellow eye. Nidhogg has red eyes. Impotent mortals. Ever seeking to bury old wrongs under new. I did sense the moment of Nidhogg's demise. You mean the moment I prized your eye from his head? He fucking knows it. Let him cook. Has It would seem thou hast uncovered my secret. I, unto the blinded Nidhogg, I did yield half of my strength. That is fucking massive. <laughs> Give it back. Grace Velga, my boy. Yeah, Dragon Eye is pretty big. Oh! No way, again? Another one. Where was I keeping it? Yeah, I might just jacket pocket. No fucking way. <laughs> How? How? Yo, Baz, thank you for the follow, man. What's up? Uh, oh my god. How, dude? Actually disrespectful. What's up, hey, chat? Yo, Hazabella, thank you for the raid, man. How was your stream? What's up? What's up? The fucking timing, dude. How? How does that happen? We're just, uh, we're he we're actually MSQing. We're Heaven Sword MSQing. We just killed, apparently. Don't spoil anything, of course. We just beat Nidhogg. He apparently died and we stole his eye, which actually turned out to be Hiris Vulgar's. It is what it is. Yeah, we're actually MSQing. 
Back and forwards and back and forwards. What's up, guys? Welcome in. I'm Russ. If you're new here, welcome or uh, welcome in. If you've been here before, welcome back. Yeah, we're MSQ today. It's a good time. Yo, Shinksy. Who could expect uh, you're actually doing MSQ? I'm, I do quite a bit of MSQ, you know, now and then, now and then. Uh, Melia Later, nice name. And uh, also, hello, welcome in, welcome in. Who else came in there that I didn't see? Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of you guys, welcome. I hope you had a great stream. I hope you had a great stream. MSQ and Law, yeah. And I, I was cooking. I was cooking after the dungeon a little bit. Should we make an omelet? Oh hell yeah, that was a big ass eye, man. <sighs> right. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. What did you get up to today, Hazabella? He's gassed. Get gassed. No, I thought it was him. Like, his face appeared on screen and then the fart sound came in. That was fucking hilarious, though. I couldn't hold back there. Dude, that's that's the beauty of having those kind of, of like, alerts for, like, raids and things. It always just seems to happen at a hilarious time, you know? Now you're later. Thank you for the follow. We did so much MSQ today. I started my stream on time. Then I didn't check adventure plates for two hours. We've just been pumping MSQ. And chatting. We've been pumping MSQ and chatting shit. It's been really cozy and nice. Pro streamer. I know, I know, I know. Sometimes, sometimes we make it happen. Sometimes I also feel like it's important to like bond and interact with like my community that I'm trying to build and stuff in this channel as well though. So, so that's why I do like the plate stuff sometimes. And a lot of people are like stalling. And, and some people probably get annoyed of like the days when I don't do MSQ. But hey, when I do... I, I fucking do it. You know? It's always cozy no matter what we get up to. Sloth Monster, thank you for the follow as well. Um, are you okay? Shall I call for help? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, guys. Okay? Right? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> now that dungeons were mentioned, have you delved into deep dungeons? I have not done any deep dungeons yet. Yeah. Yeah, no adventure plate. Well, I did. I picked like five plates today instead of uh, about like 40. So it saved a bit of time. We had more time for playing and, and stuff. With that super hot vest on. Dude, this is my this is my new gilet. I think it's pretty good. It's nice and cozy and warm. It means I don't have to like I'm not cold in a jumper. I don't have to put the heating up super high. Yeah, it's super cozy. I'm 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 happy with it. Hot AF. Honestly, it's it's kind of fine. Like other Either I have to turn the heating up really high, or I just wear this. So, so much space for activities. Yeah, we actually have. I started on time. I know, I started on time at 2 p.m. Usually it's somewhere between 2 and 3. Don't count on it for tomorrow, though. But I'll try and two days in a row on time would be nuts. Ads? Uh Oh, are you back from ads now, though? Not, uh, not still? Wait. Oh. Wait, why don't you just... Why don't you just log in on your main account in two places. You know you can do that, right? <clears throat> I, I'm, lo I'm logged in on my laptop and my PC and my phone. All on my main account for Twitch. Um, economics degree. <laughs> oh, you forgot. Oh, okay. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, you could reset the password, I suppose. Yeah. As long as you have the email access to the email address, you should be good. Uh, I need to cook some food, so I'll leave you um, minus four on my way to work. Jesus. Yeah, that's rough. For me, it was uh, 19 degrees on my way for work because that's what my heating's set up uh, in the morning before I get up. Yep. Uh, and then when I got to my desk, uh, 21. Yeah, 21 now. And then I put this on anyway. More because I just didn't take it off. Like, I put it on to try it on and then boom. Back seating, not sales, Twitch login, SMH. We're just offering friendly advice, you know? Classic timing. <laughs> Dude, it's like right as he came on screen, man. <laughs> All right, let's continue with the cuts, dude. Great clip, great clip. Oh shit, I didn't I didn't do the dragon voice on that one. I'm 
I'm going to read two lines here, okay? Nidhogg, what hath befallen thee? We are undone by covetous mortals. They did take bracket, uh, wait. We are undone by covetous mortals. They did take Ratatoska's eyes and glut their appetites oh, upon her essence. I remember who Ratatoska is now. It's um the sister, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Wait, that was Nidhogg talking. Wait, that was Nidhogg talking. Wait, hold on a sec. She is She is slain then. What madness hath unmade our peaceful accord? Wait, did we just kill Ratatoska? Oh, that wasn't even Nidhogg. Good night, Rosie. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Wait, okay, 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 okay. So, see me uh, uncover my secret. A blinded Nidhogg, did I yield half my strength? Nidhogg, what hath befallen thee? And he answered, We are undone by covetous mortals. They did take Rastatoska's eyes and got the appetites upon her essence. She is slain then. What man has hath... Oh, wait, this is a flashback. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, this is a flashback. Okay, this is a flashback. It's because of the fucking fart sound raid and stuff. Okay. It threw me off. It threw me off. Sorry. Did I not warn thee, brood brother? They have ever been untrustworthy creatures. He short lived Ellison. Sorry, guys. Okay, it was a flashback, but it's because, like, it transitioned as the fart thing, haven't it? Threw me off. Oh, man, look at him. He's actually. Oh, Shiva's fault. Well, it's Race Velga's fault for, for eating Shiva. But thou wert enchanted by thy mortal maid. Thy folly hath cost Ratatoska her life and me mine eyes. Oh, my beloved Shiva, how swiftly are thy kin made bestial by their appetites. Keep my wife out your fucking mouth. Race Velga, t'was thy blindness that did invite disaster into our lands. Surrender thee and I to me, and let that be thy penance. Ah. Uh. Nidhogg. They bested me once, but I was reckless. I shall need but a single eye to inflict enduring torment upon these traitors and every child of their line. How did that go for you, huh, punk? How did that go for you? I think you just got your fucking ass kicked. Also, he's a goddamn cool ass looking Drake. He is a cool ass looking dragon right there. Way cooler than... I mean, they both look cool, but he looks more like a bird dragon. He looks like a true drake, you know? Yield to me thy strength, brood brother. Goodbye, I. Think don't. Dude, how can they just transfer eyes like that? It's crazy.
Bonk. My vengeance is begun. And he's fucking out. He's off. He did for a thousand years. Oh, I, I mean, I guess, yeah. It it did it did kind of work for a while. But then all it took was two Curse Azure Dragoons. Thou hast borne witness to a scene from my past. She's sleepy. Eepy girl in it a wakey yours. world. Your strength that sustained Nidhogg all these years. It's pretty fucked up. He's to blame. Would that Haldreth had dealt the worm a killing blow. Where's Alfie? When my brood brother did appear before me, bloody and blinded, his life was all but spent. He demanded half my vigor, that he might exact his revenge upon the mortals who had wronged us. And so you acquiesced. You surrendered your eye to Nidhogg, knowing full well the suffering he would inflict. Get him, boys. Rattle him, boys. This The peace my beloved so dearly desired had been shattered by her own kin. That's true. He didn't say that that is true, but... Their treachery claimed my brood sister's life, and my brood brother's reason. Thinkest thou thy fits of ind indignation will move, will move me to remorse? Go, mortals, take your unruly passions and leave this place. Your presence here spelleth naught but misery. Well, that's it. Were it not for Shiva's soothing embrace, I would slay you where you stand. Woe betide you should be the bond we share ever awaken. He's out. At least he spared us, I guess. Or would we slay him? Fuck it out. There's a lot of shit going down, man. Okay. Another one. I'll be honest. It's getting pretty good now. It's getting pretty good now. It all just kind of meshed together. Just one more. Getting award winning. Did Heaven Sword win awards? That's pretty cool. The FF slow burn. I mean, I already thought it was good, but it's getting good now. Yeah, I'm feeling very hooked after today. Only wafer thin. 
What do I think? ARR versus Heaven Sword? Uh, yeah, so far, I definitely uh, think Heaven Sword is like more of a like ongoing story. Like the the way I the way I see uh, ARR was like it was very like peaks and troughs, right? Like the like every time you hit a primal, you're doing something. All this time in between, you're doing nothing. But Heaven Sword, I feel like it's just like it's just like going up, right? Uh, like maybe maybe there's gonna be like little peaks and then you keep going and stuff it's like more of a it's got its direction second nft of the day yeah it's got like a it's got more of it's like cohesive direction all going setting everything up right and like ARR set up a lot of stuff but it definitely felt there was a lot of stuff in between where it was like okay well i'm not doing anything for like substantial periods of time i don't mind not doing much but it was like quite substantial things. Also, it wasn't bad at all, right? Sixteen is like era, really. I mean, I mean to be fair, I still enjoyed era, but I can see why people prefer Heaven's Ward, you know. Like, just has... Because all the characters are built, right? They couldn't do this in Heavensward without doing ARR. That's the point. It's like season one, Breaking Bad. And season two, even. Like, the first two seasons. It's like setting the whole tone. And then, like, hit season three. And, ev like, every episode, this is like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? Holy shit. What the fuck? You know so yeah it's like same shit yeah it felt cozy yeah i i think ARR was still fine like it was still good in itself i just thought like some of it could have been executed a little bit better like some of the scion stuff i guess like i don't know i just felt like a lot of the scions did nothing until the, the very last cutscenes, you know? Like, we went into that last day, and this is like not just AR, but post as well. And we went to that last day, and I was like, Minfilia fucking sucks. Yastrola fucking sucks. Thancred, he did, did like one thing in the whole story. Like, like Melwib did more than most of the scions. Raban did more than most of the scions. Uh... Ida had done a couple things. Papalino, Papalino did jack shit until he like gave Ida an LB. You know? To do with reinforcing? Yeah. Circling a Sinian on the screen the same way he circles him in his diary. <laughs> my king. My king. No wonder he's the main character. Astinian just stole it. He did the legwork off stream. Yeah, like they didn't really do much. But I mean, it doesn't mean that the story was bad. Like I still liked the whole setting up of like how primals work, how the land, like it was more world building than character building, I think. It was like telling you about like ether, the echo, you know, the history, the war is like the, the, uh, the calamity. You know, it was building, it was building like every character except the science, really. You know, it was building up Alfie really well. Um, you know, if we, when we did coils, it built up Louis Soir. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, yeah, like the only people that didn't really get much credit was the science, but then again, they didn't really do that much. But all of their storylines were like intertwined with bigger characters, which is what the focus was on. Like, the Scions was like a little band of people following around everyone, and their whole purpose was like to build everyone else around them. So I just feel like the Scions, which is like the clique that you're involved in, never really got built up itself. It was like everyone around it. Like, Uriane J is probably the only one that got built up, I think. Gaius was. Gaius, my king. Yeah. Yeah, post ARR, they definitely built with Scions a little bit more. I, I get that. But then the only Scion they built up was Moonbreeder, who fucking died anyway. <laughs> so it's like, oh. 
I guess I guess they put a lot of emphasis on like yeah they were like building up like Asians, primals, the world, Aether, like all of the systems, right? Which have like the like the ways of life. Oh, got cut as well. Yeah, true. I would like to see what was cut one day. Maybe like I would like to hear like the story what what story was actually cut or died by an action. Stupid Minfilia. It should have been her. John Heavensward. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like the primal threat, why they're not allowed to exist because it's like draining the world of like its power and, and life and stuff. Yeah, like all of that got touched on. And like, I wouldn't understand any of that now if, if it didn't, right? So that's why like ARR is required. It was necessary, right? I keep seeing this head pop up in various places. Like, I swear it was over there a second ago somewhere. It was like hiding out, poking out behind this rock. <laughs> yeah, filler. Right. Yeah, so if they left like the actual story and then I suppose that's fine. The goddamn giraffe. It's a stinian over the wall. Thing that stands out most to me i believe him uh easily missable dialogue about who's taking a quick breather oh really <laughs> well, but what was he doing i mean the only thing i mean thancred technically did the most like thancred did the most in era because he fucking became lahabrea like he was doing a lot of work just not for the right side obviously he was possessed but you know his physical body did the most. Like, he was out and about the most. He did too much. Yeah, he did too much. <laughs> uh. Okay, so that's tomorrow. Unrest in Ishgard. Yeah, he does more if you start in older. That is true. That's why I think, with like people told me, if I'd have started in uh, Lenosia as well, like I would have known Yastola more. I would have under like I would have seen much more of Yastola. But the crazy thing is, right? Like, I started in Gridania, and I still don't think Papa Lima or, or Ida did anything really. The only time I actually saw them do anything was like they were always coming around following me around and being like oh thank god you did that thing they were never there for a fight or anything or there to to finish anything or stop anything they were just like yeah oh yeah we were handling some beef drive stuff huh <laughs> like they taught me about them i suppose but the only time i ever saw them do anything was in cutscenes that everyone would have got to watch anyway so i just kind of expect that thankred and yashola had the same kind of fate right yeah, Ida's great. I love Ida. She's she's fantastic. She just punches stuff. You still don't? Yeah, okay. Wait, like one day I'll probably have to do uh, a Limsa run and a and an older run just to see, like just do the starting the first fifteen levels to see like how their character is, because then everything converges at fifteen, right? <clears throat> Plot McGuffins, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be fair though, they served their purpose and there's nothing wrong with that. So now, you know, once we eventually come to find them in Heavensward, maybe, <laughs> like we're like halfway through Heavensward and we still haven't done anything with the Scions. So like, are we not seeing them till, st <laughs> uh, maybe in post, maybe in post, like, are we not seeing them till Stormblood or post? I don't fucking know, obviously don't say, but yeah, it's like, you know, I, I don't really know. But we still haven't heard anything about them. So I'm like, are they even coming back this expansion? Are they coming back? I guess that it's supposed to make you think they're dead and stuff. But of course, they're not going to kill them off, right? Surely. That's a, like, is it just me and Alfie and a uh, hoary boulder? The fucking bosses? The, the goddamn boys? You watch them die 
I didn't know. Same as I didn't watch Gaius die, okay? Look. All I saw was, uh... They went like... Like, Yastola caved in a cave. Papalimo and Ida did an LB. Like, she did an LB3. There's no way she that killed her, you know? Uh... I think there's a quest in the black shower with a bucket. I need to get the bucket full of water and some steps. Right. Yeah, a lot of a lot of ARR was like, go here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then there. Like, get my coat. And they were like, but you have to build the coat first. It was like, go get my coat. I left seven buttons over here. The uh, zipper's over there. The padding's over there. And this rather than just like, here's your coat, you know? You had to, you had to do all this stuff. And I assume that's the kind of thing they cut, right? Guys, is dead for us. Let him go. He might be dead. I don't know. Yeah, that's like the padding. Yeah, that's the padding. The, the padding of the coat is 11 pixels. <laughs> the padding of the coat, unironically, is the padding of the quest line. Everyone's dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, the company of heroes bit dragged a bit, but I think they know what they were doing there, right? They were... <laughs> they were... Uh, Oh, look at these guys. Like, they even played it. They were like, oh, yeah, go do this. Oh, I'm just kidding, by the way. I know you're probably pissed off at me by now. You know? I'm with the coolest mom I've ever... Oh. Livia beat us. <laughs> A fucking guy, man. Yo, Chitalane, thank you for the... Uh, your show is shit. Oh, yeah, your sales shit is blown around. Yep. Your sales shit is... It's going nuts. Windy day up top. Thank you for the three months, by the way. Welcome back. Welcome back. Winch. Oh, sorry. It's Ice Fart. My bad. But did you kill Titus? I uh, I haven't seen Titus yet in this game. Yeah. Must eat. All right. Kappa, sleep well. Quest where you haul the corpse from the waking sands. Uh... All heavy and slowed you down, except Naraxia. Oh, that is nice little attention to detail, though. I'll give them that. There's also a part before Ramu where Sylphs pretended to be Scions. Oh, that's cool. I really like the Sylph stuff. I feel like if there was... Why would they cut Sylph stuff? Dude, all the, like, voice lines and dialogue and stuff with the Sylph thing, uh, like, any of those quests are really nice. I love the whole, like, walking one, dancing one, stuff like that. Just, like, how they speak. It's, it's well written, I think. Because there was no flying. Right. So what, they removed it with that? Dog. Dog. They go Bork. As soon as you see Beast Tribe. Uh, oh, yes. I'm going to do that then. It was awful without it. Right, right. Oh, so they removed it before they added flying. Surely they could just add it back in there. Now there's flying, right? Pet the dog. Look how tiny this dog is. How do you make them bork? Oh, you can pet your own dog? Wait, that's crazy. Or did you pet Ryuno? Wait, how do you pet your own dog? How do you make them bork? Where's the big dog? Bring back the big dog. Oh, cute. They added nothing. Yeah, I suppose. I guess they could put it in as optional side content, maybe. Oh, I'm just petting uh, Nudsboo here. Whoa! That's the biggest dog. <laughs> Clifford? This one ain't red. Look at their little tails. Oh my god, I need that mount. That's so cute. Ninipo. This is a new Lala fell. Hi. No? Oh, 
I do funny loud noises. <laughs> that is true. You do them well. Yeah, that mountain is so cool. Oh, there's a store mount. Ah, shit. Okay. Maid raid. Look at these guys. Oh, Alice, you changed hair. I like that one. I don't remember if I... I meant to open your plate earlier to change, but I didn't think I actually forgot to, so sorry. But it looks like you changed anyway, so good shit. Good shit. No pink hair anymore. We got blue with a little bit of a uh, little bit of red. That's what real manliness, manliness looks like. Maid raid. Oh, the teeth sparkle. Just tops it off, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, the channel time is based on it. Yeah, that is true. That's still in the game, right, Rando? Yeah, that quest was pretty rough, though. That was, like, the first, like, really, like... <laughs> shit's, shit happens. Like, there's no plot armor in this game, you know? For, like, the good guys. <laughs> Have you been at a funeral, Mini? Is this my funeral? Am I about to get jumped? Mini's attending my funeral right now. I'm about to get jumped by the maid gang. I want that ammo... I want the flex and hold a moat. Smile. <laughs> Oi! Oi! I can't even play dead. You did this, mini itty bitty. Get his ass! <laughs> Imagine rocking up to a funeral with a giant cat. Giant cat, but look, she's in like a little black dress and a little hat. And this was when he was punched to death. <laughs> uh, Kale, thank you for the follow. Corpse by corpse a little much, even if it felt waiting meaningful. Yeah, because it's quite a long walk. Like, you had to walk them all the way down the road to the, uh... Uh, to the, like, camp caravan at the end, right? Lala gang. Look at the Lala's bonding. It's honestly like, it's a good like science experiment. Watching Lala's in their natural habitat. I, the thing, my favorite thing about Lala's as a race is like how emotive, how like good emotes they have. They're so, they're so, they're so, well done. Like, how emotive they are? Is that right? Giraffes in the distance? Wait, where? Oh. That's a big ship. I see. I see a little giraffe face right down there. And a little cocktail. Oh, yeah. Your cocktail is also on a giraffe. Yeah, very expressive. That's what I mean to say. Yo, Kyoto, how are we doing? Welcome, welcome. I can watch streams again. <laughs> there you go. Also, I was not going to be doing any of the new MSQ. <laughs> What'd you come back to? I'm just getting pounded right now. But I'm just getting fucking pounded right here. Punched, punched, punched. I meant punched, like pounded, like punched to death. Oh, I'm pounding rocks. I meant like punch. Look. Fucking three ways as well. You did this. <laughs> I'm sorry. In front of the Lalas. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Wait. No, there can't be a cameraman here. No, 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 no. 
Yeah, see? The Lala's disapprove of this. Oh, look. Keep just watching. I'm going to pulverize three ways. I'm just making it worse. Yeah. Add quote, I'm just getting pounded right now. Why did it not work? I'm actually not sure, Bumble. Is it, uh, is add quote the thing? Yeah, you normally use? Oh, there you go. It works. It works. Nightbot was just having a, having a moment. I'm just getting pounded right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we pounding? <laughs> no. 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 All right. Good times, man. Uh, I'm slightly disappointed there's only 84 quotes from the gold mine that is this stream. So, basically, uh, it was like a couple years ago now. It was it, So, it was like 2020 to 2022, I think. The quotes were just going bang, bang, bang. Quotes just fucking out the wazoo, you know? Uh, and then, uh, the, the main mod who used to add the quotes... Uh, it didn't work out with that mod, should it? Should we say? And that doesn't sound as dark as it. I mean, that isn't as dark as it sounds. Just didn't didn't work out, you know. Had to unmod them eventually. Then they left the stream because they were angry about it. And uh, the mod, the the quote bot kind of died. In fact, I just didn't have mods for like two years at that point. Uh, so the quotes kind of just stopped being documented. The oh, the wild shit was still being said. But the quotes were not being documented, you know? Um, but now, you guys found the quote bot. And now, we actually have mods in this stream, which is nice. And uh, now it lives on. It didn't work out. Mod check? Mod drama? Nah, it was just like... Uh, it was just like... The person turned out to be a bit strange, should I say. So I didn't feel comfortable with having them kind of represent me in my community. So I kind of gave them some warnings, gave them some chances, told them what I wanted, what, what I didn't want. And uh, they wouldn't listen. So in the end, I was basically forced to unmod them, right? And then they were like, well, fuck you. And then they left. That was pretty much it. Yeah, a poor fit for the position, basically. Like, obviously, that developed over time. Like, originally, they were a great mod, and then they just kind of went downhill. When saving grace again? I'm not going to be rejoining saving grace. Apologies in advance. But yeah, I actually have zero interest in mythic grading in well. Like probably ever again. But uh, yeah, unless something huge changed. Like if, if something absolutely massive or probably a lot of massive things happened to retail WoW, I'd maybe consider it. But even then. Don't know. I just don't feel like it's uh I get more enjoyment out of other uh spending other ways of spending my time now. Like I rather play Dark Souls for three hours twice a week than to Mythic Grade. You know. Or some other game. Whichever I would be currently playing. Look up. Wait, Volps, wait, are you flashing us? Oh shit, we made like a long sofa here. And me and Ninipo in the middle. And I don't have the dance moves for you. Why can't I turn my character? There we go. Yeah. She approves. Power World team. Power World instead of Mythic Rating. Dude, Power World. <laughs> uh, I haven't used my Prime last month, and yet I need to wait. Uh, oh. Don't know. You sure you didn't use it on, like, a castle or something? Power World real. Dude, apparently we have some Power World enjoyers in my Discord. So, 
yeah, maybe if you're planning on playing Power World on Friday, join my make sure you join my Discord so that you guys could could fucking party up, you know. Buying that the day. Yeah, I think it comes out Friday. I really want to see someone play it. I want to see that shit. Forget them to use it. <laughs> I'm gonna poke your gun so hard, dude. When's Power World sponsored stream? Should I send them an email? Should I be like, hi? I heard about Power World. I'm kind of interested. You seem to have the budget to buy the rights to Pokemon, so uh, <laughs> how about it? Wait, people are playing it today? All right, I have to look at that. I'm going to have to like look up on YouTube something about it. When's BG3? So, for variety stuff, uh, I kind of want to do... How long does Final Fantasy X take to play through, do you think? Like, how many streams, roughly, do you reckon? I, I want to do Final Fantasy X at some point. Uh, but I also wouldn't mind finishing that Dark Souls run that we started yesterday, actually, at some point. Because I feel like we were just getting powerful. Uh, and then I wouldn't mind doing, like, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll do, like, Elden Ring. But I think it's a really long game. I want to start with some, like, shorter variety games. And then eventually BG3. Kind of similar era to Elden Ring, I'd imagine. With your soling three weeks. <laughs> 100 streams. Well, it would be like one... I, I want to do variety, like one stream every two weeks. So like every other Friday, you know? So it's not like the channel just goes variety mode for like two weeks straight. It's more like we we'll do just like a stream here and there. And just like slowly play through some games. How much Blitzball? Oh, true. When's Blitzball in 14? It just becomes a Blitzball channel. Seven streams. Okay. That's not too bad. 15 streams. But surely I'd not be getting distracted as much in that game, right? Because there's not like you guys to distract me. Like we can't have these kind of moments happening because it's single player, right? FF14 Blitzball, let's go. <laughs> 20 to 30. Did I start DS3 yet? No, I, I need to finish DS2. I'm probably going to try and finish DS2 uh, this week. Probably tomorrow. I might do DS2 tomorrow night. Bonus stream on my second channel. And I might do it on one of the weekend days. We'll see. Uh, and, then, uh, and then I'll probably start DS3 soon. It's our fault. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing, right? It's not a bad thing. Um, Bowls Gate 3, Russell never part, fake it part. Dude, it'll be a long character creation, yeah. It will be. Right. Just let me cope. Surely Blitzball will come out one day. Right. Ah, uh, Sag. <sighs> I, I'm trying to think of what uh, what another stream I watch says when they're ending stream. It's like, okay, boys, or something. Uh, something like that. <laughs> it's so funny, but it sounds like something balls. Uh, back to studying. Good night, Reaps. Have a good have a good study sesh. 56 minutes, rust time, five hours. Honestly, that's not bad because it took me four hours on FF, so. Because there's some weird stuff. Right, right, I got you. Just end the stream without saying anything. No, no, no. I will do my goodbyes and stuff. Guys, today was really fun. We did a lot of cool shit. We did a lot of MSQ. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was it was chill. Honestly, I'm very hooked on the uh, on the Heaven Sword MSQ now. I actually am like kind of like I I'm gonna oh look Sanguine Dragoon. Like I'm gonna do uh job quest tomorrow probably and then jump back on that but we might do a little bit we might do a few plates at the start tomorrow we'll see it's award winning for a reason yeah it's good it's good have a good night all right takunin enjoy work there at the camera and leave the room with the stream still going and then have like a little remote to log it off a 
that's when yeah yeah so it just it just keeps going up from here right syntax awesome okay guys it's that time i'm gonna i'm gonna raid you over to uh to my little ponty okay looks like he's doing a similar thing to what we did at start of stream looking at the uh, new relic weapons and whatnot he'll probably be chatting some shit he'll probably be having a good time um but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck it over to him and uh you should hopefully enjoy the rest of your night it's that time it's that time it is this is a long stream today though this was a big one dude and yesterday I think I streamed for like eight hours yesterday as well long streams this week um good stream yeah it was very powerful very powerful stream yeah all right we're gonna we're gonna raid Ponto okay MSQ progress was made uno mass we'll do uno mass tomorrow all right thank you guys for hanging out follow if you're new thank you hasabella for the raid as well appreciate you um yeah have a great rest of your evening and whatnot go say hi to ponto even if you're gonna be off gonna make some food gonna watch a different stream gonna go do some else dump someone else go play some of the games or whatever even if you're gonna go do that or even better hang around and chat with ponto for a bit enjoy his stream and whatnot um yeah, go and uh, go and say yo to him, all right? Uh, put a little alu in the chat. Put a little emote in the chat or something, even if you're heading off, okay? I would appreciate that very, very much. Thank you guys for hanging out today. It was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, good night if you're going to bed. And uh, yeah, I will be back tomorrow. We'll see if we start on time. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, I will see you guys then. Okay, thank you for the stream. Thank you for today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending your time here. Surely we'll be on time tomorrow. All right. I'll see you guys then. And uh, have a great rest of your evening, as always. Peace.